Shutting you off for some time now, but I'm still hearing your voice in my head. Oh, I wish I was more than your fan now, and that your voice came from here in my bed. You're in my headphones, baby, in my headphones, baby, in my headphones, singing to me. You're in my headphones, baby. All righty, royal family, how is it going tonight? It is Thirsty Thursday, we are live once again, and today we did get in the Unagaba, Unagaba uh, Evolution promo packs, so that's really cool, we got 30 of them in, and these are actually pretty cool, they came out a couple months ago, I wish I kind of jumped on them sooner, but we got them now, that's pretty nice, so it has 9 of the different evolutions in it, now, I was hearing originally that these are searchable. I don't know. I don't know. If anyone knows more about that, feel free to let me know. But I tried to go look at one in the bath, in a, you know, in my bathroom with the lights off on my iPhone flashlight, and I could not see anything inside the pack. So I don't think these... I mean, they, I'm hearing they're searchable. I just don't see how they are. I don't know. Maybe they are. But we got 30 of these suckers, and they're, they're in stock. What's in the promo packs? Wow, man. If you guys have not seen the Unagabo cards yet, man, you're going to be in for a surprise when you open up one of these. Yeah, they're really nice. So there's nine Evolutions in total, and you can basically get... I think Umbreon's actually the most expensive one. I think Umbreon in a 10 goes for like 150, so it's not bad. The other ones go for around like 75 or so in a 10. So definitely want the Umbreon, but there's nine different Evolutions that can be found in one of the promo packs. So that's what's new in stock. Another cool thing that I did is I finally took some advice from you guys and uh, I made the gauntlets like digital. <laughs> so I printed out a little sheet. Took me like 30 minutes yesterday getting this together, but I finally did. So I converted all the gauntlets over now to these nicer uh, printouts. So that's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Kind of cool, right? Kind of nifty? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe not. So for the gauntlets, though, we do have the old Dart Rayquaza out of 30 spots. Seeming like there's probably like half the spots left for the PSA 10 old Dart Rayquaza. The heavy basic gauntlet already went last night. We do have the triple vintage gauntlet, a newer one for Fossil Neogen Rocket. And that's out of 34. Three winners. Kevin E is the only person in that one currently. And uh, the five PSA 10 slabs, which are right here. Hitmonchan, Jumpluff, Magneton, Magnemite, and Steelix. And all of these are PSA 10s, they're pretty cool. So that's kind of all it is with the, with the new stuff. But in the building, we've got Raymond coming in at number one today. Raymond F, 
Lenji, we got six. Mateus, oh, what the pack's in the house? We got my boy Gabriel here as well tonight. Matthew says, yo, yo, we got Jen in the house. Jen, how's it going, dude? Pancakes, Justin, we got Hunter. He says, hope everyone out there is doing all right. How you doing, Hunter? How are you doing, Hunter? Chikaka, Brad, Ben's in the building. We got Boomer, Cody, Cardboard, Seymour in the house. Corgi, Hassad as well. We got Michael Solis. He got any Lorcana? I don't have any Lorcana. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I think Lorcana cards kind of look ugly. I don't know if I'm the only person. Even I think, I think a lot of the Enchanted cards even kind of look ugly too. So I don't know. I thought, honestly, I thought Lorcana was going to be a big pass. Especially considering how expensive they are. Like boxes are like $300 plus. And then there's 24 packs in a box. So just out the gate, you're already buying them for more than 10 bucks. I don't know. Tough for me, to be honest with you. So I didn't pick any up. I had some pre-order. They got canceled on me. And then at that point, I couldn't find any decently priced boxes. So just passed on until I could find some good good stuff. Justin Fisher. Alex in the building. We got my boy Molo here as well. What are those? Yeah, those are the Unagaba promos. The $35. Alex, how's it going? We got Boost. He says, yo, let's go. Pittsburgh, baby. Tamu, what's up, man? Not sure if you got my card in line for grading, but I'll be able to send for that Mula uh, Manana tomorrow. Manana. Yeah, let's take a look. So we've got... These are the current cards of submission. SA has some of the Yokohama deck promos. Justin, here's the Rhydon. Grant's got the Dark Raichu as well. Yeah, that's nice. Sunfan. Alex with the CP6 Zard. Ooh. So tomorrow, tomorrow, we should hopefully be getting in our Japanese Shining Legends. And that's going to be very, very exciting. At least I'm super excited for it. Now, we do also have some of these to give away. So if you guys didn't see, Tommy sent in a bunch of these waifu cards to be given away to you guys. Don't really know what the good idea is to do with these. I'm thinking either we just throw in a bunch for every order tonight, or we just give away all of them at once to somebody. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? We could just do a massive giveaway for one person. They win this whole box full of cards. Or we could just sort of spread them out. I don't know, though. How's the current grade submission? What's up, Alex? The 24-card sub, which the like the earliest submission, is currently in grading. I actually checked yesterday. So it's currently in grading. What up, fam? Are the Naga promos all random or all not available? What's up, Tino? Uh, so, yeah, the Naga promos are available. I've, I've heard from other people that they're searchable, uh, but I got in 30 today from a pretty reputable source, and I tried looking at them with a flashlight in, my, in, a, in a dark room, and I could not see anything. So I don't know if they're actually searchable or not, uh, but the Umbreon one definitely is worth the most. So if it is searchable, we won't see any Umbreons, but I, I don't think so. I got this from a pretty good source. But I can't verify. I cannot go in and see what's in there myself, so I don't know. But people are saying they are searchable. I just can't prove that they are or prove that they're not. So it is what it is, I guess. But it should be at random. Yo, Justin! What the five gifted? Yo, Justin! Yo, thanks so much, broski. Holy buckets, dude, Justin. Thanks so much, man. So, yeah, that's just kind of is what it is. I got this for a pretty reputable source. But, like I said, I was not able to verify that I could, I could not see what's inside of them. So I don't know if anyone else would be able to. Uh, but I'm be not being able to see what's inside of them means I couldn't confirm that there are, in fact, a decent bit of Umbreons in there, which I know are, like, the most expensive ones. So I guess we'll just kind of have to see. But Roberto is in the house tonight. He says, can I get one of each of the U25th? Thank you. My bags are in the ship zone. Roberto, starting us off with a nice Yu-Gi-Oh order. Hey, Masterman, what's up, dude? I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm doing pretty good. Okay, cool. That was the end of that Invasion of Chaos box. Getting some Metal Raytards. Let's put out the anime cards once the order so we can look at all the cards. What edition is the heavy base set? Uh, Ben, unlimited. Yeah, if those were first edition bases that were guaranteed heavy and could possibly have the first edition Charizard in there, uh, you know, those packs would be like tens of thousands of dollars. <laughs> Whereas that one's not even a thousand. So yeah, those are heavy base set unlimiteds. And I got two Charizards, one Blastoise left. And they do come with the money back guarantee, meaning if you don't get a hollow in your pack, you get a full refund for it too. Oh, nice. L end of the LOB box too. 
How much data lab do you got left? I think I have two boxes and one open box one. Two sealed and one open, I believe. Okay, and I think that's what we're just gonna do. So Roberto, we're just gonna grab you, like, I don't know. Maybe we'll do like four or something. Four booba cards per order or something like that, I don't know. There's like the Naga Pika? Yes, right, so there is no Pikachu in this one, per se, right. Just the evolutions in this one. Yunagaba, what's that? Yeah, so Yunagaba is just basically like a promo in Japan, Metal Dragon. I believe you got them by ordering from the Japanese uh, Pokemon Center. And if you like place the big enough order, they gave you promo packs with it. I believe that's the only way you acquired it. Wall Shadow. The new Luffy Signature card is going to be going for four grand. Rumored to be one in 40 cases. No way. <laughs> no way. Damn, that's that, that's tough. One in 40 cases? Who's saying that? Great moth. And free the brave wanderer. He's so brave. Wanderer. All right, so not too bad. <laughs> One hit out of five packs. But we do grab you some of those freebie waifu cards as well for the homie Roberto. Just hold 10k. Well, the thing is, is I'm only getting four cases. So yeah, I'm only getting four cases, which means we have, what, a one in 10% chance of pulling it in our four cases. Yeah, that's a fat yikes. Yeah, that's a big yikes. Corgi is up next. Says, give me the Eevee promo. So Corgi, I'll let you choose which pack you want, Corgi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So Corgi. You got a Unagaba promo coming up, and I'll let you choose a number one to ten. And let's grab you four of the uh, freebie waifu cards too. Yeah, Roberto, thanks for the order, bro. Thank you for the order, man. Rare, and another rare. So we got one. At, actually, got four rares in there. All rares. Four. What's up, Boost? They're 35. 35. Okay, so that's number four for you, Corey. Alright, this is actually my first time ever opening up one of these. So let's just see it. Now, let's see. Hopefully, 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 we'll look at the back of the card first. With this. Okay, first Unagaba promo, Corgi. So best one is the Umbreon price-wise, but I know you said you want the Eevee. Oh, it's the Eevee! Corgi, that was too easy. <laughs> that was too easy. Very, very nice. Wow. All right, Corgi on the first freaking pack. That's a one out of nine chance, basically. Very nice. Look at that thing. It's got a unibrow. <laughs> it's got a unibrow. So these are really cool. So these are the Unagaba Evolution promos. For those that have not seen these, they've been around for a couple months now. Uh, but they're really cool. And they got nine of them. What are you? Nice. It's always great when you get you the one that you want. So that's nice. Bleezy says, ask and you shall receive. I've seen 30 packs open before and only got one Umbi. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know if they're seeded equally or if they're seeded like more rare, depending on what it is, but. Whoa, Ben placed a huge order. Yo. Oh, baby, Ben. I don't know what it is yet in total, but that's a massive order. That's exciting. Andrew's got a huge order as well. He says one Unagaba promo, two. No, sorry, two Unagaba promos. Uh, one in the PSA 10 spot. He says, please let me win. And number 2615 and five for my shipping. Awesome. Okay, Andrew, you got it. So, Andrew, just like I did for Corgi, I'll let you pick two numbers, one out of 10, if you want, for your promos.
I snagged the Umbreon promos. They're $20 each. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I think a PSA 10 of those now are like $150. So that's not bad at all. That's a good price. Two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, Sanji, you let me know. If you got two numbers out of ten, let me know which ones you fancy. And then he wants in on the Slabby Patties. 26 and 15. Okay, or 15. Where did I put my mini Sharpie? There it is. All right, so we got 26. We do. So, did you guys notice that uh, I switched over the list to now be printouts? So, that's kind of nice. We're, we're in the new age, guys. The new age. Five and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep these to the side. That way, I just got to put two more and refresh it. Let's grab you some free waifus. Okay. All right, she got a tail. <laughs> she got a tail. Are we getting more Korean? Hey, what's up, Wavy? I sure am. Uh, for some reason, this this next shipment is just taking forever. Although it's supposed to be here tomorrow, it says. So yeah, I'm hoping that EV Heroes is in stock again tomorrow. Tomorrow is just to get a lot of new stuff. So I bought a lot of stuff. I am very excited uh, to show you guys what is coming in. But just waiting on the mail. All right, so Andrew says five and seven. Andrew, if you could pick one or two evolutions to get out of these packs, which ones do you want to see? Tell me the genie what you want, and I'll try to make it happen. How many of these did you print up? Need a bunch of the amount of gauntlets that we've been running? Oh, dude, chat. I have them ready to print out like whenever I want. So I can just print out another copy of it. Chickaboo! All right. And Eevee and anything but Flareon? Oh, baby. Okay, Andrew, let's see it. He says anything but Flareon. Oh, okay, nice. There we go. We got Vaporeon. Yeah, there is something very, uh, like, what's the word? Cute about these something very very cute about these okay nice so first one's gonna be the vaporeon and oh another one <laughs> all right all right <gasps> damn that kind of stinks okay if anyone else pulls a, another one that they want to trade i mean I'm, I'm speaking for andrew and i probably shouldn't but if you want to trade this to someone else andrew uh, feel free. Let me know if anyone else pulls one you want to trade. I'm happy to make that trade for you guys. No, Andrew. Out of nine. Out of nine. You got back-to-backs. Jesus Christ. But yeah, like I said, if someone else does, um, you know, pull a dupe or something like that or just likes Vaporeon more and, and you want to trade, feel free, all right? Just let me know if you come across one. You know what they say about Vaporeon? What they say about Vaporeon? Chatty Daddy says one Unagaba promo. So Chad, just like everyone else, let you choose one to ten. Let me just add two more in there because now it's at ten. So Chad, if you want to pick, let me know. And this one I'll replace with your next one you choose. But Chad, if you want, give me number one to ten. <laughs> he vapes, bro. Vaporeon vapes, bro. Chats is number five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna take this one, replace it. That way, that's at 10 again. All right, Chad, I'm asking everybody, Chad, what do you wanna see out of here, Chad? Tell the genie. Maybe I'll make it happen. I didn't make it happen for the last order, but maybe we can do it this time. Yeah, I know, Corgi, these are really nice. I, I wish I bought, I wish I got these a lot earlier. I really do. These are really sweet. Flareon or Umbi? Okay, wow. So Chad wants the Flare. Andrew did not want it. Chad wants the Flareon. All right. Chatty Daddy. Oh, nice. That's going to be a Jolteon. Okay, that looks really cool. I like that. Okay, very nice. Chatty Daddy with the Jolteon. All 
All right, so, so far we've seen Eevee, Jolteon, Vaporeon so far. So we're actually at three. Oh, okay. uh, we're actually at three out of nine so far. Shaddy daddy. Ryan H says four of the avatar, five from the shipping bag. I asked for shipping earlier today, but no rush at all. Ooh, okay, cool. Uh, so Ryan, hopefully you're still in the chat, me Ryan. Uh, I only ship usually Wednesdays and Sundays. I know this week was kind of floppy with my schedule, so I kind of did a little bit more. But the next time I'm shipping Ryan is going to be this Sunday. So I plan on being live t uh, today, tomorrow, possibly even Saturday. Then shipping on Sunday. If you like Ryan, I could give you a five dollar pack today instead. Because the stuff you buy today will be shipped with your bag on Sunday. Unless you want to double pay on shipping and we try to remember that for the next round. But if you want, I just get you a $5 pack today for something else. I could just make it another, uh, yeah, another avatar pack if you'd like. Make it five for you on this order if you want. It's a free book. Or we could try to keep track of it for the second round of shipping. But totally up to you. But for the avatar and the shipping, I think we need a new box for avatar. We sure do. Cool, I can just do that. Okay, cool. Ryan, sounds good, man. You guys, we'll make it five avatar for you, okay? And then, oh, I forgot to give Chad the waifu promos, too. So, Chad, let me grab you your four. I forgot about that on your order. So, those are going over to Chatty. I forgot about those. I think, I think Chad, you're the only person I forgot, I think, right? If I do forget about your uh, free waifu card, just let me know. If I do forget, I apologize. Well, they get in from you. Oh, what's up, Christian? They're 35 per pack for the Unagba promos. All right, so Ryan, these four are going to be for you now. And then we'll grab into your avatar as well. Ooh, okay. She got a butterfly. And then the archer. So those are some goddess story cards that were sent in by Tommy. He sent in a bunch of them, so we're just giving them out for free tonight. Just, just a bunch for orders. Crazy. Oh, that's facts. Yeah, Brandon, that's that's already that's confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Crown Zenith ETBs are getting a reprint in a couple of months. So yes, Crown Zenith probably better to hold off on purchasing any Crown Zenith because it's probably gonna get a lot cheaper in like two months when the reprint comes out. Because I feel like Crown Zenith's already kind of lost a little bit of popularity. And now that there's getting a reprint as well, I feel like prices are really going to go down a lot. So if you're looking for some Crown Zenith, probably smart to hold off for like another month or two until the reprint comes. Because they are reprinting the ETBs. Tough. Okay, did I grab you? How many did I grab you? Four? What am I doing here? Yeah, I grabbed you only four. I'm supposed to grab you another one. Sorry about that. Okay, so we got five avatar total. Zenith's the one. Of, I think Crown Zenith's an amazing set. Yeah, I think it's a really awesome set. Pull rates are pretty decent in there. I mean, the gold are supposed to be like one in every 100 packs or something like that. But it seems like you pull them more often than one in 100, it seems. Saka. Your price for One Piece 05? Yeah, One Piece 05 will probably be $5 compared to the usual $4. Yeah. A lot more expensive to acquire that set particularly, but I mean, 5 bucks still isn't that bad. So yeah, most likely end up being 5 bucks per pack for the new One Piece set. I have not have got my tracking yet for it, which kind of stinks, because usually my guy in Japan is super quick with it. But I have not yet got tracking for it, so I'm hoping sometime next week we'll receive it. I'm hoping... Everyone is waiting for 151. Yeah, I hear you on that. Yeah, I mean, we still got like another month for English 151, though. It's, you know, not till basically a whole month. Was that an Avatar rare? No, I don't think so, Ryan. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't think so. Unless that was really on autopilot. <laughs> yeah, no Avatar rare in there, unfortunately. But you do pick up the Katara promo. But man, 1 in 40 cases, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Like, that is kind of crazy. 
But you're right, Len. We did pull the Steamboat Mickey Mouse. So I guess if anything, it's definitely Paul. Oh my God, Ben. Yo. Holy buckets. Jeez Louise, Ben. All right, Ben is spared no expenses tonight. He just went deep. So, Ben, I've got three heavy base sets with the money back guarantee. Let me know if you want left, or yeah, right, middle, or left. Instead of picking pack cards, we got two Charizards. One of the Unagaba promos. We'll just give you one from the middle. Two of the top series one. Two of Metazoochrome. Three of the 151. And then last but not least, the heavy says, I gotta go Charizard in the middle. Okay. So as you know, Ben, with these base sets, if for some reason you do not get a hollow out of it, you'll get a full money refund or a 50% refund and you can keep what came out of your pack. Nonetheless, though, that is super exciting and good luck. I think last pack we opened up, we got a uh, nine tails. So that's pretty good. So hopefully the Charizard's still lurking in there. For the promos, you got to flash it on the corner where the HP is at. Umbreon is 100 HP. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I tried. I did go to the bathroom like 30 minutes ago before I started the stream trying to look for it. And I cannot really figure out. I was assuming you probably see the color of it to get the type, but I was not able to detect it. Wow, Ben, this is crazy, bro. Let's get the number one Mothman. <laughs> I don't know if the number one Mothman's still in here or if it's gone. I know a couple have been pulled. Lizard Man, Babe the Blue Ox. Oh, nice, we got Chaos Crystal, Lake Worth Monster. What's up, Isaiah? Yeah, those promos worth grading you got there? Uh, so most of those uh, Unago promos go for around like $75 in a 10. The Umbreon, however, goes for like 150 in a 10. Some of them might be in between that price point too, but for the most part, you really want the Umbreon. Other than that, it's going to be around like $70-ish, $75 in a 10. Ben's going in. That's what I said, Raymond. Yeah, Ben is going in. Yeah, probably not like at Valley or something like that, but through bulk, which is $15 a card from PSA, yeah, definitely worth it at that point. But then again, you'd also have to end up waiting, you know, a couple months for it to come back, which kind of stinks. Is the game on? It is not on. Brian, thank you for reminding me. Let me turn that game on real quick. Ah, oh, beautiful. The Mewtwo. Man, I love it so much. So this Mewtwo is going to be a promo in the English UPC. Kind of crazy, right? Oh, and a secret! No way! Another one! Yo! Okay, Ben. That is an amazing start to this order, brother. Yes! That is the S-A-R Zapdos. Man, we pulled one of these last night, too. That's amazing. Wow. Beautiful start. Beautiful start. And we got a Charmeleon in there, too. Can't forget about the Charmeleon. Have you always cared more about Umbreon? I would say so. Yeah, I mean, I would say Umbreon definitely is the most popular evolution. And I, I mean, I might be a little biased because I like Umbreon the most, but I feel like that's just kind of like a general sentiment at this point. So I'm going to be, I bought, man, <laughs> I placed a very large order for uh, 151 UPCs and I'm going to open up a shit ton of them. Because I want to send out all the gold Mews to get graded and all the promos to get graded too. So I bought a shit ton of UPCs. Because it's not bad. You get 16 151 packs plus you get the promos. I mean the packs alone at MSRP is like almost 90 bucks. So I bought a bunch. And I'm going to be sending in a ton of them to get graded. Alright, come on. Ben! Oh, nice! Okay, we got another Jolteon in there. Jolteon. 
Let's get into the tops, and then we're gonna wrap it up, Ben, with the dessert, which will be our heavy base. Joshua, what's up, brother? I don't know if it's been said, but there's art for Yunagaba Charizard that hasn't been released in card form. What's up, clams? Ooh, okay, so we got, of course, the hollow on the front. We got Diglett. Man, look how easy that just came off. Whoa, look at that. Yo, there's a foil bleed on it. Interesting. Wow, okay, my boy Diglett got a mole. My guy Diglett's got a mole. All right. That's kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that before, to be honest with you. That's kind of nice. Might be bad for PSA 10, but kind of cool for the... Do this real quick. Yeah, a beauty mark. Yeah, exactly, right? A beauty mark. You can never... If you're having a hard time getting a card in a sleeve, just cut the sleeve just a little bit. And generally, it'll make it easier. Pidgeotto, Audubook, Vulpix, Gloom, Patasect. So they got a little bit of suction to one another, but not sticky. Just kind of like airtight suction on them. Nido King and the Patasect. Can you flash my pass for science? What's up, Boost? I don't know how it'd be possible. I'd have to turn off all the lights, and other than my phone, I don't think I have a flashlight. And my phone's what I'm using to stream. See, so yeah, I don't know if it'd be possible to try it, but it would be cool. So, yeah, they got the gold uh, Mew. The, so, the SAR Mew with the Sunrise that we got in 151 is going to be the promo in the English UPC. So that, the Mewtwo AR, and the Gold, you're getting three promos per UPC. So my plan is to just open up a ton, probably sell the loose packs from the UPC. Because, you know, it doesn't really matter, right? UPC, ETB, bundle, all the same, right? And then just grade all the uh, promos. Like, just grade like 20 of each. <laughs> I'll keep some sealed, but I'll probably open like 20 of them just to grade like 20 of the promos each. All right, so hollows on the front, Ben. So we can take a look at the back here. Once we flip it over, we're gonna see the hollow. Charizard? Oh, okay, that's actually kind of cool. We got the hollow Misty. All right, that's not too shabby, actually. Misty. Wait, we got double Misties in this pack. Wow, back-to-back -back Misty's. Check that out. Geodude. Professor Oak getting a lot of the movie scenes in this pack. Pikachu. Man, it keeps going on. Pattis. Golduck. Machap. Hey, TC, how's it going, dude? Dirtle. <laughs> Jordan, I kind of like that. Dordle. Dirtle. Yeah, you know, I don't know. The, these ones slide in very easily to sleeve. The hollows, however, like, kind of give you a hard time. But these go very easily in. Moon Kitty went down. It's now at a 584 market price. I mean, the thing is, is you got to kind of understand that as, as a set gets older and older, generally it fades away from the hypeness, right? So it kind of goes from hype to less hype as time goes on. And I'm sure when a new set comes out that has something crazy in it, Moonbrion will be, like, forgotten. Always going to be a pricey card, but I don't know, man. I have a hard time believing Moonbrion is going to continuously go up forever. Hey, Dexter, what's up, dude? All right. Ben, we are now on to the heavy base set Charizard. So this is a heavy pack, guaranteed to have a hollow in it. But now the question is, is what do you guys think we're going to get? I'm near the hobby, but is Umbreon a very likable Pokemon? Very. Yeah, any evolution is super, super popular. Any evolution, I'd say Umbreon, Espeon, and like Jolteon and Flareon, 
I feel like not a lot of people like Leafy on Glaceon personally, but that's just kind of like a, a general take I've kind of sussed out throughout the years. Zard for sure. Venusaur is my guess. Elvis is Alakazam. I'm going to guess Blastoise. I'm feeling Blastoise. All right, now, last time I opened up one of these, the pack trick was actually not, like, a different print runs based at different pack uh, tricks. So we're not going to do any tricks. We're just going to go right down the middle. Because last time I tried, and uh, for Anthony B, I totally messed up and had the hollow on the front. So we're not going to do any... Ooh, Squirtle! Nice! All right, this is a great start. That is very nice. All right, Ben, baby. Let's do it. Any any starters we want. Squirtle's great to see. Metapod. Diglett. Ponyta. Gust of Wind. Energy. Okay, it might be two cards. Away. What happened to this energy? Interesting. Look at that. That looks kind of weird. Some sort of print defect. I think there's one more energy. Yep, okay, Ben, I think the hollow is right here, man. Come on. Come on. And it's the Magneton! All right, we were all off. Magneton for the hollow out of the heavy base. Wow, that, that actually looks very clean, though. Let's get a closer look at this. War Turtle in the back, nice. So we had War Turtle, Seal, and Revive for the other commons. Yeah, that's a pretty clean hollow. Might be a small print line, like right there next to the magnet. But all in all, very, very nice. See how the back looks. A little bit off-centered, so a little bit thinner on this side, a little bit thicker there, but man! Might have some print line on the back there too, right at the top perhaps. A little white dot down there. Man, that looks pretty good though overall. Magneton with a pretty nice hollow as well. Coming out of the heavy bite. Yeah, we always forget about Magneton. Yeah, he always sneaks up on us. So, Ben. Thanks so much for the massive, massive word tonight. That was a whole lot of fun. We opened up a lot of everything, pretty much. We'll most quickly go ahead and just individually sleeve all these cards for you as well. Hey, love, how's it going, love? So, so far, we've we had five heavy bases. One is still sealed for Abraham. He did message me yesterday so that he is going to open it eventually. Just he wants some, I don't know, he wants to wait a little bit, he said. So there is still one that already got one by Abraham that's still sealed. But so far, we've got a Nine Tails and a Magneton out of the, we had five. Three are left. So Magneton and Nine Tails so far. So I'm hoping that's a good sign for, you know, Charizard, Blasters, Venusaur to come out of some of these remaining ones. Yeah, yeah, dude, Ben, thanks so much for ordering one, man. It's always a great time seeing one ripped open, brother. So thanks so much for the massive word today, Ben. Got Squirtle, War Turtle, but no Blastoise. That would have been the perfect Blastoise pack. I was close. Because you did get Squirtle, War Turtle, and if you got Blastoise, you had the whole, whole evil line. What's the going rate for a pack for a Zart? Well, to be honest with you, you'd be silly to ever just sell it raw and not grade it right out of the pack, to be quite frank. So I have no idea. I sent you some stuff yesterday. Sagar should get there on Saturday. Oh, okay, cool, Matt. Sounds good. Yeah, no rush on him, brother, but appreciate the update, man. Hell yeah. Benjamin. And then, Ben, did I grab you any waifus? I don't think I did, did I? What Snorlax do I have for sale? Um, not many, love. I don't think so. Not many. Sword, Magician, Sailboater, and Archer, Fire Archer. 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe I have like a CD promo Snorlax laying around somewhere, but I, yeah, maybe like a jungle hollow Snorlax somewhere too. Cassidy says two Unagavas plus shipping. Cassidy, let's grab you some at random here. We do have a lot of people coming up for some promos. So I'm just going to start doing them at random. All right, Cassidy picking up two Unagavas. I want to see an, es you know, I really want to see an Espeon, but I guess I should want to see Umbreon more. But I really want to see an Espeon for some reason. Really, really want to see some Espeons. I'm still looking for the Rainbow Reshizard Raw. I sold my 10 a while ago and I miss it. Espeon and Sylveon. Sylveon would be nice too. I totally forgot about Sylveon. Sylveon would be nice. I totally, totally blanked on Sylveon. All right, anything but Vaporeon. Oh, very nice. That's going to be our first Flareon. Oh, that one looks sick. Why did you not want Flareon, man? This one looks sweet. All right, that's cool. I like that. Man, how could you hate on Flareon like that? That's such a nice art. How do I send you stuff? Are you talking about me, Alex? If you're talking about me, uh, the return address on all the packages you get are the same address you get sent stuff to. Oh, and the Vaporeon! I mean, Vaporeon's not a bad pull. It's just like the most common one we've seen so far. I think that's our third Vaporeon now. All right, so we got fire and water, the yin and the yang. So they say, right? Vaporeon, Flareon, water, fire. Cassidy, Cassidy, thanks for picking up some of the promos tonight. And I need more bats. That's the best arc, in my opinion. Yeah, wait till we see all of them. Right now, we've only pulled, I think, four unique cards so far out of nine. So there's still quite a lot we're missing. So Cassidy, pick it up Vaporeon. And Flareon. I have Flareon, Eevee, Jolteon, and Espeon. Nice. Yeah, I know a couple of content creators that just have so many of them. They just mass graded a ton of them. Rick B says, spot in the multi-slab gauntlet. Four, if four is filled, then I'll take eight. Okay. So Rick B on number four. Awesome. Rick, thanks so much for joining, man. Number four. Yeah, it feels nice to not have to write all the numbers now, so I'm pretty excited about that. Wavy says two promos, because why not? Wavy. Don't forget their... Oh, that's right. Who did I just miss? Oh, man, dude. I'm going to keep forgetting about these. What I'm going to do is let me grab, like, a handful... Just so that way they're like in my face. Who was last that I forgot about? Cassidy. Yes, Cassidy. Sorry about that. Yeah, if I do forget your promos or your free cards, please just let me know. It doesn't really matter when you get them as long as you get them in my books. Because they're all pretty random. These ones are going to be for Cassidy. Is that little girl smoking a pipe? And eating a macaroon? What? <laughs> all right. She's out here smoking a pipe and eating a macaroon. Interesting. All right. Do you send in Italy? Um, I do ship to Italy. Yes, you just got to pay for the shipping. But yeah, I do ship to Italy. All right, now these are going to be for Wavy. Now, Wavy also gets a nice bunch of promos as well for free. Guitar. Sword. Kitten. And Hot Girl. A pipe and a... Is that... Was that a crepe? No way that was a crepe. Am I that out of touch? That was a crepe. She got the munchies. All right, wavy. Two Unagaba promos coming up hot. 
So we're still missing Umbreon. We're missing Espeon, Sylveon. I don't think we've seen a, no, we've seen Jolteon. What else are you missing? Make a go, yeah, dude, they really gotta make more evolutions. I totally agree, yeah. A nice ghost, like a metal evolution. Probably look ugly though. I can't think of a really cool design for like a metal evolution. All right, so Wavy, first promo coming in hot will be... Ah, very nice. All right, I mean, Sylveon kind of looking a little derpy, I will say that, but that's still really cute. Nice, our first Sylveon coming in. Going over to Wavy. It looked like a Macaroon to me. Yeah, me too. That's what I thought. I thought it was a Macaroon as well. And come on, our first Umbreon. It will be a Jolteon. Nice. That is for the homie Wavy. Nice, Wavy. You did actually snag a new one, so that's pretty nice. Naked Misty. Uh, Naked Misty is in Japanese Gym Heroes. Uh, you know, a Ghost Evolution, I, I, I just kind of picturing that, looks like really cool in my head. So I feel like a Ghost Evolution would be pretty nice. Easy to make a really cool version of that. We need a Naked Giovanni card? For who? For six? <laughs> For six? Sean H says one V Star Universe, one Unagaba promo. Sean. So, Sean, let's grab you four freebies as well. Damn, she got her tongue out and everything. All right, so Sean, let's check out your V-Star first, then we'll grab you a Unagaba promo. Oh, what we got? Oh, Secret Rare Energy. All right, still a Secret Rare though, so we'll take it. We need more Gaifus. Man, you know, if I had to pick a Gaifu, I would probably pick someone like Faulkner, man. Back in the day, Faulkner is like, you know, tall, blonde, handsome, you know? Faulkner's got it going on, man. All right, then Sean, let's give you one from the middle here. <laughs> I prefer naked Brock. <laughs> from Sun Lakes. Nice, Truman. How's it going, brother? Hopefully you're enjoying your vacay, man. Come here, Lurkmer. Say Giovanni's definitely a... Really? You think Giovanni's a hottie? What about Blaine? What about my boy Blaine? Blaine, he got that old man swag, you know? All right, Sean. Let's see what you got. Oh, nice. I like this one. All right, that is our first Glaceon coming in Han. Sean, let me see if there's room in your bag for a top layer. Off memory, I don't think there is. Let me just check. Nice. That's our first Glaceon. Hell yeah. He got that old man sag. Hey, bro, we're all going to be there one day, right? We're all going to be there one day. No point on Hayden. Sean, nice, Sean. That is our first Glaceon. Hell yeah. Very nice. Travis says one Unagaba promo. Travis. Sabrina can dominate me if I'm being honest. You know, honestly, Justin, I think I'm with you on that, brother. Maybe. Maybe for the record, I'm joking, but in seriousness, I might be serious. <laughs> Bruno can tenderize this boozy. This boozy. Looks like Larry is coming in the next set. He's about as popular as Iono. Who the hell is Larry? All right, Travis. Ah, okay, nice, Travis. That is going to be the gorgeous Flareon. Yeah, who the hell is Larry? How many promos do I have left? Um, well, let's take a look. Three of us.
Oh shit, so it's just Lerona? Damn, bro. I had to test positive. Couldn't find any in Canada back home. Now, unfortunately, I flew with COVID. I kind of feel bad. Yikes. <laughs> oh no. Yo, Soren, RIP. Oh, Travis, I did not get you the freebie promo cards as well. Yo, rip to the, anyone that was on the uh, flight with you, bro. Rip to the guy who was sitting next to you. Trump is a super spreader. You're an international disaster now. Dude, <laughs> Soren. I mean, it is what it is, right? What are you going to do about it now, I guess? Daniel D says one promo and a broken heart. Dan, I'm not going to bring it up, Dan. But all I can say, brother, is it really does suck. And honestly, man, you just got to... I don't know. Yeah, I guess you just got to say F that hoe and you got to move on, I guess. Daniel. He says, one promo and a broken heart. Dan, let's get you a, a Umbreon to make up for the broken heart, hopefully. Sucker, I'm glad I finally woke up. Live. Yo, Kata, wake, what's up? Good morning, I guess. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, nice. That's going to be a new one. That's going to be the Leafeon. Nice. Man, are we missing any? We're missing Umbreon still. And Espeon. We're missing Umbreon Espeon. I think that's it. Here are your waifu promos. Danny D. I'm not convinced that it's real. Yeah, I don't know, Trumpin. I don't know, man. And I need some more top loaders. Man, I'm out of all my supplies. Yo, Kata! Thanks for the gifted, Kata. Yo! Thanks so much. Kata, that was very kind of you, Kata. Thanks so much. Are the promos sold out? Um, well, let's see. I only had 30. So we have been flying through them quite a bit, but I got a handful left still, so. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Yeah, so only three more in the queue. So I at least have like 10 plus more of these. So yeah, we still got quite a bit. But all I got left now is on the table. Danny D. Leafeon got that Johnny Bravo look to it. Oh man, what does Johnny Bravo say again? Uh -huh. He's like, uh -huh. Hey there, pretty mama. That's Johnny Bravo, right? I used to watch him a lot of Johnny Bravo as a kid. Hey there, pretty mama. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're right, it does kind of look like Johnny Bravo. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Trumpet! Yo, Trumpin! Holy buckets, my guy's on vacay and he's still gifting members. Yo! Dude, Trumpet! Thanks so much, homie. Jesus. Will we be getting Disney Lorcana? I will most likely get Disney Lorcana, but probably at a time when it's a lot more affordable. Because if I was to buy Disney Lorcana right now at the market price for these, you know, I'd be charging like $15 a pack. That's crazy. I mean, you know, speaking of which, but... Daniel G is up next with six Avatar. Yo, Matthew Slab! Yo! Dude, you guys are crazy! Yo, Matthew, bro, thanks so much, dude. Holy buckets. Four, six. Man, you guys are so kind. Maybe I ought to return the favor today. What do you guys think? Maybe I give away one of these promos to one lucky member. Because we got so many gifted members. Maybe I give it back. Pay it forward. Two, four, six. What do you guys think about that? Maybe I pay it back forward and I give away Unago a promo to one lucky member tonight. How's that sound? Danny boy. So Danny, you'll be shocked to hear. You'll be shocked to hear that I have not yet pulled a secret rare out of Avatar. And we're on our second case of it now. So yeah, these are like, those are really hard to pull. These secret rare cards are brutal. And I know the Ang one, I think still goes for around a thousand dollars. But we have just yet to pull a single secret. Not the Ang, not the Zuko. It's kind of nuts. What are the weight packs you have off to the side there? Weight packs? 
Are you talking about the heavy base sets? Sokka, Katana. And then Dan, let's see what you got. I think it's a shell tier over there. You got a, she's brooming something on the roof. And I think that's supposed to be shell tier from Overlord. That's pretty cool. Shell tier. Oh, it's in the two year mark. Yo, Chad, 22 months. Dude, that's just crazy to even. Just thinking about the fact that we've been doing this for over almost four years now is just mind blowing. It really is. So the white packs? Oh, gotcha. Yeah, those white packs are the Unagaba uh, Evolution promo cards. You mean SP? Ah, uh, no, it's a secret rare. Yeah, Cairo, in this set, the best thing you can pull is a secret rare. S. Chatty Daddy says Evolution promo number three. So Chad will grab you to that one. Let's just grab you some booba. Oh, we got a hollow or something in there. And an SR. So those are going for Chatty Daddy for some extra freebies. And let's see what's in your new Nagaba promo. Let's try opening it up like this. Yeah, no, there's only one card in there, so it's kind of risky. I'm just gonna cut it. So, Soren, you lost your taste of, or your, your uh, sense of taste? Or, um, or a little bit. Oh, all right, Chatty. Coming in with the Jolteon. Jolteon. So, yeah, like I said, if you um, have one that you want to trade, I know Andrew E. earlier pulled back-to-back -back Vaporeons. So, if you have a duplicate or you have one that you just don't like or maybe want to trade, maybe hit up Andrew. And see if you might want to trade. Oh, yeah, look at that. Chad, you have two Jolteons. If you want, um, you and... I mean, I, you know, I'm speaking on both your behalf. But if you guys want, you guys can organize a trade one for one, you know? Because you guys both have a dupe now. If you want. If you want. Because I think they are about the same price. Isaiah says one Unagaba promo. All right, Isaiah. Let's grab you four of these first for free. Shaltia. Big old personality and a rice cake. Ghost got that vintage money. My friend's sister lost her sense of smell and taste after she got COVID. Well, that would have crazy side effect. That is pretty wild, dude. Yeah. Like, ugh. If you can't taste anything, I mean... Because the thing is, is, I've heard from people, Matt, that it's not only that you can't taste and smell, it's that when you do eat something, it tastes like poop. Like, it tastes like sewage. That's literally what someone told me. I think a patient once told me that whenever I eat something, it literally tastes like sludge. Like, I'm eating sludge. Oh, our first Espeon! Damn, that's cute. Look at those big old ears. Nice. All right, that's going for Isaiah. That is sick. Wow, okay, so we're only missing one now, and it's the Umbreon. We are missing only one card now, and it is the Umbreon, I think. Other than that, we pulled everything, right? I think we're only missing the Umbi now. And we pulled all nine. Nice, I say it with the brand new one as well. That's sick. Jason O says, ooh, some Demon Slayer. Jason. All right, Jason, let's grab you some freebie waifu cards as well. So for those who are wondering, these waifu cards were donated by the awesome Tommy R. Let's get you a new box as well. We got five in here. I love you, Naga. Unibrow Arts. Yo, Natting, what's up, dude? Yeah, you know, I have a unibrow that I very carefully try not to have. So I definitely sympathize with my unibrow brothers out there, you know? I do. That 
That's chemo patience. My mother was one and said that right there. It don't taste good. Uh, the best of foods. Right, which I think is terrible. Like, it's one thing to not be able to taste food and you can eat whatever you want. Uh, but to not be able to eat food because it just tastes like crap is worse. Because then you don't want to eat, period. Yeah, Demon Slayer. Yeah, I've got Demon Slayer and Hunter Hunter for the Union Arena stuff. Yeah, I do. There's some pretty nice chase cards in the set, too. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Jason. Cake, how's it going? My smell and taste were gone for a few months. Nothing has tasted the same since. Holy shit. Yo, you gotta be careful, guys. Yeah, that that's like scary. Like, it's one thing to, like, get down to, like, the flu, you know, just kind of have sickness because of that, like, being fatigued, whatever. But to lose your smell and all that stuff? Hell no. Yeah, hell no. That's, like, literally going blind. But obviously with your nose. <laughs> obviously with your nose. That looks really old school. Just chat is pre-recorded. Oh, what do we got? Ooh, a Ren Goku! That is a secret rare! No way! <laughs> nice. Yo, that looks sick, Jason. So that is a secret rare. You can tell by the uh, denotion down there. Wow. Man, RIP. Dude, Ren Goku was such a freaking sick character, man. Such a good character. Yo, Ian the Ninja! Damn, son. We got so many gifted today, guys. So yeah, we are definitely giving away a Unagava promo to one lucky member tonight. Appreciate all the support, guys. You guys are awesome. Holy crap. I was born without a uh, taste of smell. It's called an enos enosma. I was going to say insomnia, but I'm probably saying that wrong. En enomasia. Enomesia. That sucks, DJ. That absolutely sucks, man. Ooh. Shinobu? All right, Shinobu. How do you enable uh, gifts for subs? Um, There is a something in the YouTube like settings that you can put it on. Whenever someone does gift it, though, usually there's like a little like, uh, not scroll wheel, but little like enable button, like usually in the chat somewhere. Hey, Ward, how's it going? Oh, another Rengoku. Yeah, these are the Union Arena cars. They're pretty sweet. They're pretty sweet. They got a lot of sets now, too. Tanjiro. Do I really have to walk to the store and put money on the effing card so I don't miss it? <laughs> yeah. Well, Tom, unfortunately, there there is no way for me to let you in on the giveaway if you're not a member. Because I can't, like, whitelist people or anything. So, yeah, there's no way I can let you sneak in somehow. Jason. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. Brandon gave you the answer. Yeah, 35 for the Unagba packs. J -j 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 Jason. Nice hit, Jason. This Ren Goku card is really nice. So that is an SR, a Seeker Rare Star. And I really like the design on him. Kind of holds true to like the design in the show, too. One card shy. Oh, nice. Yeah, Flareon. We've seen quite a few of those today. We're missing one card so far, and it's the uh, Umbreon. So we pulled every card so far except for the Umbreon thus far. Alex B says one spot in the multi slab gauntlet. Uh, the five ruler black flame. He says, I don't forget. <laughs> he said, don't forget my free booba cards. <laughs> Alex, how could I ever forget? I would never forget the booba man. Are you kidding me? So one in the multi slab gauntlet. I don't think Alex cares what number he gets. So Alex, I'm just going to give you number three. So, if you guys didn't notice, I did actually digitize the listing now. So now it's not just my handwriting, it's actually printed out. So that's kind of cool. A little bit of a quality of life change there. Alright, Alex. Yeah, I actually appreciate that, Alex. Thanks for reminding me, brother. You're right. Thanks for reminding me. 
I forget nowadays. I'm getting older, man. Let's also get some nice music going. What should we play tonight, guys? House? Like usual. <laughs> like usual. And five ruler of the black flame. Ah, uh, we someone has double Jolteon and someone also has double Flareon. Don't know if there's oh sorry, double Jolteon, double Vaporeon. I don't think anyone's got a double Flareon yet. Gotta get the funk going, man. Wake everybody up in the chat, man. Gotta get that funk plan. Dude, I haven't seen webcams in a very long time. I hope the guy who's running that website is okay, man. Obviously, it was just bots. Larvitar. Vespa Queen. So, obviously, it was just bots. But, I don't know, man. It feels kind of weird, right? It's like, you know how you hear stories of people? It's like, oh, you know, they get dominoes, like, every single night. And then, you know, after three years straight, there's no more orders. And you, like, wonder, oh, man, is the guy okay? Because we used to get webcam bots in here literally non-stop, all day, every day. Like, mods were on the clock, banning them on site. Oh! And a secret rare ice cube coming in for Alexito. Do we have another pack gauntlet going on? We do. Yes, we do. For a fossil, a Neo, and a rocket. Neo Genesis, fossil, rocket, I believe. Mikaso. Oh, that's a really cool one. I feel like I should know this show. Don't remember the name, though. And we got the bunny girl. Webcams is why I'm a mod? I don't know, Trump. I feel like it would have happened eventually, if not for webcams. Eventually, I would assume. Because you know how we do it, right? We usually just let mods decide who they want the next mod to be. So whenever there's like a mod spot open, we let the mods vote on who they want to be the next mod. Kind of helps keep things a little bit more tighter, I feel. <laughs> Giggity. Scotty is up next with a Unagaba promo. So, Scott, let's get you four of these for free. And let's grab you a promo. If you want to trade a Jolteon for a Vaporeon, I'll be down. Oh, okay, cool. So, Chad has said he's down to trade if you want, Andrew. I think Andrew said he might have bought more. So, I maybe he might want to want to see what he gets in his other packs first. But, in case you want to trade, it seems like Chad is down, Andrew. Open trade on the table if you want to. Nick says, you don't know what you have until it's gone? Rip webcams. That's what I'm saying, dude. We used to hate webcams, be super sad whenever he came in and spanned, but now it's like we kind of miss him. Ooh, cute. We got the Glaceon. Yeah, it's totally true, man. You don't know what you got until it's gone, man. I miss webcams. Hate to say it, but it's true. Oh, this is uh, S-Death. That's kind of nice. All right, S-Death. I don't even remember what show she's from. Is she from... No, she's not from Overlord, right? I don't even remember the show she's from, but I know her name. <laughs> I know her name, though. Hey, sorry, can I give you some feedback? Sure. One in nine shot, and we both pulled dupes. Yeah, I don't know if it is truly, like, one in nine or not, but I would hope so. Mark says one Pokemon Go, one Chili Rain, two Celebrations. So, Mark, I, I think what you're saying, love, is one Cellies, right? Based on your payment amount, I think you mean one Cellies. You didn't get enough Yu Yu promos for us. That's the feedback of today. Well, I have more. Uh, so I bought them from a different different couple of sources. So these might run out tonight, but I will have more in stock, hopefully by like Monday or something. So this will not be the end of them. I have more, more, more coming. Because the thing is, Boost, is even if they stop selling, I will just open them all up and grade them. <laughs> so it was a nice product to pick up. Because even if they stop selling randomly, no one wants to buy them anymore, I will just open them all up and grade them. Can you pull me a Golden Snorlax, please? I'm high. Hi, hi, I'm dad. No Snorlax. Come on, Old Dark Mew? Pikachu. 
But yeah, I got them from a couple different places. Because like I said, if the promos truly are searchable, uh, then getting them from a bunch of different places kind of helps figure out, okay, which place is legit to get more from. Does that make sense? Because you don't want to buy like 100 promos from one place and they're all just searched. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of bad. So you don't want to fall into that trap. Okay, Mark, let's also grab you some freebie waifu promos. One, two, three, four. Drop a like, best luck. Hey, Dustin, how you doing, man? <clears throat> I'm like losing my voice, guys. <clears throat> Holy moly. Sorry about that. Dustin, I hope you're doing well and hope the woman's doing well too tonight. Love. Love, I have let you down, love. I have let you down. I think Inagua has great potential. Yeah, the only thing that might hold it back, Alex, is how much of it was printed. That's the only thing that might be concerning. I haven't gone in and looked at the price trend, like, over the last month. I'd imagine they've been going down in price. They're still, like, decent in price to grade them. But I would imagine that they're just kind of on a downward trajectory, I'd say. If I had to guess. Chikaka! This is five packs of Data Live Volume 2. Ch -ch 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 Chikaka. Oh, uh, it's a Potham. Not many, man. I might have like five or something left. After the Q's done, might have like five or so left. So if you do want it, I would say just order it right now too before it's gone. If you do want it. Chikaka. So Chikaka, let's grab your free boobas because I know you want those. I only need Eevee. Hey, Taylor, what's up? Well, you know, we actually only pulled one Eevee so far and we pulled zero Umbreon so far. Other than that, I mean, they're going pretty okay. Toka. I don't know about loose, but I know the Yaga Prax sealed have gone up in the last month. Oh, yeah, no no doubt about that. Right, no doubt about that. Yeah, I was just talking about loose, I guess, because, you know, ultimately, if you end up opening them to grade, I guess, you know, you got to talk about loose price. But, yeah, the seal packs have been going up. I would be interested to know more about the distribution of them and like how many are rumored to be out there because that's kind of important too. But definitely going to be picking up more of the uh, promo packs for sure. Guess who's back, 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 back again. Ethan's back. Tell a friend. All right, that was kind of lame. Ethan, thanks so much for the eight months, brother. How are you doing today, man? Chicago. Let's check out your free booba. Oh, that's Kumari. Sleepy girl. Got another macaroon with the pipe. Chakaka. I got two. Nice. Yeah, umbies are apparently the best pull right now. I think PSA 10 umbies are going for around $150. So that's really sweet. So $150 for an Umbreon is really nice. Although, if the packs are searchable, well, I mean, we guess we'll find out. We'll see how many Umbreons we do end up pulling out of here. Six is up next with six Obsidian fans. So let's just grab some more booba. That way six has a bunch. One, two, three, four. And a six picking up some obsidian flops. One, two, three, four, five. And six. So tomorrow we should be getting in our Japanese Shining Legends booster box, uh, which is going to be pretty cool. I've been doing a lot of research, watching a lot of box openings for it. And it seems like the boxes are very variable as far as how many hits you can get. Uh, but usually it's been looking like two to three shinings per box, a couple full arts, and possibly like a really nice secret rare like a Mewtube or a full art or a rainbow. Houndoom. So they're not too expensive. They're going to be $85 a pack. So they're not even that expensive. But there is 20 packs in a box. And I would really, really love to sell all the packs in it before we open it. Because unlike CP6, where you're guaranteed to hit in every pack, uh, Shining Legends is not the case. You are guaranteed to hollow in every pack, but, you know, hollow is not really a hit. So, what do you guys think about that? I would love to try to sell all 20 before we crack the seal on it. Oh! Oh, six! That was so close! 
Not the Zord. That will be the Pape. And an Absol Full Art. Oh, yeah, boost. I would probably not through, like, you know, the really expensive tiers, but through bulk all day. Yeah, bulk is $15. So, at that $15 price point plus what you paid, you know, if it gets a 10, you're looking at, like, a $25 increase. If it gets a 9, though, you're shit out of luck. But, you know, they've been looking pretty good so far. So, I would recommend it, but, you know, keep in mind, you got to try to use, like, the cheapest grading you can. That way, your margin stays higher, right? Do you have a Zard in the box? Uh, not sure. I guess we're gonna have to find out if we get a Zard or not. So, yeah, the Japanese Shiny Legend packs are super gorgeous. I wish I had one to show. I'll probably take a pack for myself for my seal collection. Uh, but what would be really cool is the pro- or not really cool. It is cool. The packs for Shiny Legends Japanese have a, like, shiny Mew on the front that has foiling on it. So it looks really nice. Cody is up next with one Unagaba promo. Let's grab you four freebies as well, Cody. Sell the box tonight so we can go about quick tomorrow. I mean, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, I'm happy to do that for sure. I'm just thinking about it because the thing is, is unlike CP6, right? Not it. And speaking of CP6, guys, uh, you'll be very happy to hear that CP6 will be back on the menu probably within a week. So CP6 will be back on the menu within about a week. I did locate another box. So CP6, for those who missed it, will be back with Vengeance. All right, Cody, let's check out your promo. Umbi, Umbi, Umbi. Oh, nice, you got a Flareon. Let's check out your Booba. Shinobu. We just have payments on the packs now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so what? Like I said, though, if you are gonna sign up for it, please just understand that I don't plan on opening it until we sell out at least the majority of the box. So as long as it's okay with you, then that's okay with me. So like, let's just say, like for instance, we only you know, it's gotta at least be like 12, 10 to twelve packs we sell before I'll consider opening it, which I think should be okay at eighty-five a pack. That's more affordable than most stuff. I just wish I had the box here to show you. Love is up next with one Slabby Patty. Love. No, love. That is going to be the star you on the Slabby Patty. Andrew E says 1151, one Unagaba promo. He says, please, no dupe. Gave a friend a Jolteon for watching my kitty. Oh, that's kind of cool. Getting paid in Pokemon. So, yeah, if anyone does want to snag a Shiny Legends pack today, hopefully for tomorrow's stream. Now, it should be here tomorrow according to the tracking. I checked today earlier. But if for some reason it doesn't arrive, then either Saturday or Monday will do it. But yeah, 85 bucks will get you an unweighed, fresh in the box, shiny legends pack, Japanese. And even if you don't want to open it, that is totally cool. I mean, they're they're really nice packs for sealed. If you see what the pack art looks like, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. It's really nice. Mewtwo and Mew on the front, with Mew being a shiny and has foil on it, so it's like holographic. It's really nice. But that will be our next box. Ooh, okay, hell yeah, that's gonna be the Espeon. Nice. Okay, Andrew, I like that one a lot. Nice. And not a dupe. So, Andrew, I guess I'll ask you now, since I'm going to be grabbing your bag, did you want to make the trade with Chad for dupe for dupe or no? Because I am going to grab your bag if you want to. Oh, let me grab your booba too. If you want to trade, totally cool. If you don't, that's also cool, but I'm going to grab your bag right now. So, if you want to, we can. I'm going to have to... Oh, okay, perfect. So, I'm just going to grab the first one I see. And I'll do the same thing for Chad's bag. We'll just grab the first one I see for him. And we'll make the trade. Cool. So, Chad, hopefully you're here, Chad, and see this because you did give me permission earlier. But we're going to make that trade for you guys. Uh, one Jolteon for one Vaporeon. I think that's a pretty fair trade and works out in both your guys' favor, too. 
Cool. There we go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Colby says seven of the overload. All right, Colby. Show me that albedo, baby. Do I get the waifu cards? Yeah, Andrew, I thought I grabbed them for you, didn't I? I thought I just grabbed them for you. Let me know if I forgot, but I thought I just did. Four, six, seven. I thought I did, right? Or am I crazy? Two, four, six, seven. Colby, let's grab you some waifus as well. My Steamboat Willie came back up Beckett 9? Oh man, maybe you should send that into PSA and get a 10. If, if it looks like you get a 10. Because you will probably get a better value for it as a PSA 10 than a Beckett 9. But then again, if it was a Beckett 9.5, I'd say better chances of a 10. But Beckett 9 is kind of rough. Kind of rough. Ah, uh, you want the shell tier? All right, all right, Colby. I kind of like that. You're a man of the niche. You're a man of niche, niche women. <laughs> what am I talking about, man? Niche women. Culture. Hey, how's it going, homie? Pandora's actor. Sucker, what would you open if you had to choose a Japanese pack? Are we talking vintage, Jeff? Or are we talking modern? Because the answer would probably drastically change. Speaking of vintage, if you like Japanese Gym Challenge, uh, well, we'll be getting some Gym Challenge. Some Gym Challenge will be in stock hopefully next week. As well as First Edition Rocket pretty soon. Man, we got a lot of exciting stuff coming up, guys. More? Yes. More, 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 baby. Yup. So, yes. I've been doing a lot of shopping, guys. I've been doing a lot of shopping. Colby. Any update? What's up? Uh, Faded, I don't know exactly which sub you're in. If you know your, which sub you're in, the next one that's coming back is a 24 card sub. And that submission is currently in the grading step. So that 24 card sub will probably still take like another two months. Two, not, sorry, not two months. Like two, three weeks, probably, hopefully. But currently in the grading step. Colby. Colby, I got you the booba. Did I? Yes, I did. Colby. Ian the Ninja says one at Unagaba promo. All right, so Ian, before we get into your promo, let's see what you got for your free waifu cards. Four of them. That's a new one right there. I'm going to Long Beach Clutch Con this weekend. Pretty oh, nice, dude. Yeah, so the first convention I went to, Sonder, was Card Party, but bro, it was awesome. Uh, there is something magical about walking through a whole expo hall and there's just Pokemon shit out the wazoo. Everywhere you go, wall is a Pokemon product. It's like you're walking through like 20 different hoarders apartments all at once. It's pretty sweet. So I'm a big fan of conventions now. Oh, Ian! Let's go, Ian! Hell yeah! Nice, that is our first Umbreon, and that is all nine of the evolutions that have now been pulled. Very nice. So in a 10 Ian, this goes for 150 bucks, bro. That is awesome. And these look pretty good. So I would I would assume they're all gonna get tens. Nice. So that's really great. So that kind of helps confirm that these packs were not surf or anything crazy like that. That's great. Ian the ninja. Nice, Ian. How much are the tickets? Yeah, that's a good question. How much are the tickets? I'm kind of curious. Hey, Ian, go ahead and throw that in my bag. I'll make sure he gets it. <laughs> Nelson! 
says one Yonagaba promo and three of the Spy Family. Awesome, yeah, so Spy Family is currently on clearance. So if you are like a Spy Family, not a bad time to pick it up. Nelson. Yup, so Brandon, we will be carrying Nazarick Volume 2, which I'm pretty excited for. And from what I hear, there are going to be signed cards in it, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to collect a thong. Collect a thong? A convention where you collect panties? Alright, also let's check out some of your free four cards right here. Let's grab you one Unagawa promo, but let's get into your spy family first. How can this work? So, Boost, from what I understand, and don't quote me on this, I might be wrong, I believe you got these promos from the Pokemon Center Japan as, like, a promotional item when you bought stuff. So if you spent, like, X amount of money, you'd get X amount of promo packs, I believe. Up to a limit, I think. So they were acquired, I believe, from Pokemon Center Japan as, like, a promotional thing when you bought stuff from their website. Hey, Exotic, how's it going, man? All right, Nelson, back-to-back -back umbies, baby. Come on. Oh, okay, nice, Nelson. That's going to be the Glaceon. Uh, no, Tone, there's nine different ones. Umbreon is the most expensive one. So there is kind of like a tier to it, but they're... I don't know if they're all weighted or they're all like equal odds or whatnot, but I assume so. So I assume they're all equal but nine different ones oh there he goes Vincent says one promo per a thousand yen which I think a thousand yen is only like 10 bucks right up to 10 of them but you can place multiple orders I got myself 20 nice nice yeah that's pretty nice PETA says one Unagaba promo PETA L PETA let's grab you your four freebies Ooh, that's, uh, from World of Warcraft. Wow. Pita? Man, we are almost sold out of these guys. Yeah, I think these promos may... We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Might be sold out in the queue. What's the MRN go for? In a PSA 10, goes for around $150 in a 10. The other ones go for around, like, 75-ish in a 10. With a little bit of, uh, you know, variance in it. Uh, no, Pikachu is not in this one. Yeah, these are just the evolutions. So Pikachu is a nice one, but that one was a different promo a while back. Can you check the elements? You're a wild art. Hey, Kevin, what's up? Sure, sure. Gl Glaceon. Why is that top loader kind of dirty? I literally just opened a fresh pack. Glaceon. Coming in for the homies, Pikachu. No, great. Yeah, Ronald, no problem, brother. No problem. Pita. Jeff says one Unagaba promo. My name, Jeff. Three, four. So, Jeff, you were asking me about the best modern Japanese pack to open up. Kind of tough. Like, I would say V-Star, but V-Star is pretty damn expensive. Yeah, if not V-Star, I don't know. Probably Clay Burst for Iono, maybe, would be my next bet. Or even Black Flame for the Charizard. But I feel like Iono might be... I don't know, I think I like Charizard more. How are you, man? Hey, DMAC, how's it going, brother? How are you? So, I meant to do a Burning Shadows in my order instead of Champion's Path. Okay, tell her. You got it, homie. All right, my name's Geoff. Ooh, nice. That's going to be... Dude, why are these top... Why are these so freaking dirty, bro? I just opened up a fresh pack. Crazy. I don't like that. The Sylveon is still coming out, though, for the homie Jeff. Jeff. 
Sucker, did you order the smoker yet for the 17 pound brisket? I did, cowboy. I did. But I'll let you know, cowboy, I had to go with a smaller size. It can only fit up to 10 pounds of meat. Only 10 pounds of meat. My name's Jim. What are they doing to the top loaders? I don't know, bro. They're just not built the same, man. Back in my day, I used to open up a pack of top loaders. They'd be all crystal clean. Nowadays, they ruin it. Cody says for the multi-slab gauntlet. Awesome, Cody. Thanks for joining. I'll put you on number five. And then Kevin asked me a little bit earlier, and I kind of want to check on that for it because I'm also curious about the Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, wait, I have, actually, wait, wait a minute. I had some promos that I got left behind. Yeah, two of them. Okay, cool. So I got a little bit more than I thought. Anymore. Okay, cool. Nice, Kevin. I'm glad I went looking because I found some more promos. <laughs> nice. Soccer with a smoker? No, I didn't actually get a smoker. I was just kind of joking them. I don't eat meat. You kidding me, bro? I don't eat meat. Get it? Get it? I don't think I see any scuffing on the back, which usually is kind of an issue with a lot of the promos. It is a little bit off-centered, so it's a little bit thicker on the right, a little bit thinner on the left. But other than that, I mean, it looks really good. A little bit of a wonky edge here. You kind of see that. It's not as sharp right there, but I feel like that's just the way it was cut. And Yu-Gi-Oh cards are very, very fragile. They're super small and super flimsy. I feel like it just has some weird edges, but I mean, you know, might just be how it was made. I mean, it looks really good to me, Kevin. If it gets a nine, I'd say it's mostly probably just due to centering if it ends up getting a nine, because that right border is definitely a, a teeny bit more thicker than the left, in my opinion. Singapore Streams already selling the One Piece set, and it's not even released yet? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's our... Oh, almost forgot these behind, Kevin. Did you by chance keep my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff there? No, Chikaka, I did ship it, my friend. Yes, I did ship it, unfortunately. Tyler says one fusion, two lost origin, one chilly rain, one evolving cries, and one burning shadows. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to get a great Chikaka, I guess it would have been sweeter to have it here, to be honest with you. But at least now you get a chance to look at it. And if you do end up sending me any more cards for, like, another submission round, at least you get included in that one, I guess. Because it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I, I usually always wait for people to request shipping. But at some point, you know, I also just got to be like, all right, you got a lot of stuff I got to ship you to. So it's hard to figure out, like, where to draw that line, you know? One evolving skies, and last but not least, a burner. Oh, baby. Have you been absent for six days? What's up, SMB? No, you've been absent for six days, brother. You're getting an F on your report card. You've been absent for six days. I've been here. I've been here. I went to every class. You've been absent. I spoke to some venison ribs this week. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, that actually sounds really good. Nowadays, I don't really do much cooking, so usually I'm just ordering fast food or something, <laughs> which is not good, but I do. I'd say it's a 10 potential. Yeah, hard to say. I mean, I know Yu-Gi-Oh cards are pretty brutal when it comes to grading. And the fact that it's in a plastic styrofoam, in a plastic card saver, a lot of plastic layers there to really get a good look at it, too. Clefairy, get in, Thina. You gotta go with that slow food? 
I mean, I guess, Matt, slow food would be something like in a slow cooker. You know, like a lot of people make like pulled meat in like uh, crock pots and stuff. I guess that'd be like something considered slow food, I guess. Bagon and Reggie Drago. Burner. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We actually got a hit out of Burning Shadows. No way. That like never happens. Ah, nice. Super scoop up. That might be a really playable card, actually. Take a look at the back there. Nice cut. So most Burning Shadows products, a little white dot there, but most Burning Shadows products have terrible, terrible edge damage. That is pretty nice. Super scoop up. I was like, come on. Yeah, that was brutal up until burners, uh, which is crazy because you would never want to bank the rest of your luck on a Burning Shadows pack. Never. Silo. Cool, Tyler. I think your bag's in the ship zone. It sure is. I grabbed you the booba. I did. No, I mean, before the last of streams, that said stream six days ago. I don't know. I haven't been gone for six days ever since my cruise. Whoa! Matthew Slab with a flash fire, promo, and a spot in the gauntlet. You. So, Matt, I uh, just want to double check with you. Which gauntlet do you want to be in? The PSA slabs, the vintage packs. Wow, no one's in the vintage packs. That's crazy. Those are pretty hot for a long time. Or the old Dart Rayquaza. So, those are the three available gauntlets, Matt, if you want to pick. Let's also grab you one, two, three, four of these. And I'm going to grab you a Flash Fire. And here's the promo. Yeah, Tyler, your bag's in the no ship zone. Correct. Yep. Japanese vintage. Okay, Matt, sounds good. Let's grab your flash fire real quick. Ooh. Now, flash fire is one of those sets that have gotten like extremely expensive over the last decade. But it has a lot of Charizards in it, so a lot of pulling potential. Then, Matt, I'll give you number three. Fish, how's it going, man? All right, so, Matt, I guess we start off. Let's take a look at your waifu promos. Then, let's look at your Unagaba promo, and then we'll get into Flash Fire last. Is it seven? I could have sworn it was nine. Is it really seven? Might be. Uh, what's up, Wavy? That was your... You just got a brand new bag, I'm pretty sure, Wavy. I think that was the only things you bought since your last shipment were the, um, the promos tonight. So, just those, I think. Oh, okay, nice. We do pick up the Leafeon. You nag about Leafeon. I just rewatched. Oh, yes, Ian, you just saw the Umbreon? Yeah, that was nice. You were the only person so far to pull an Umbi. Good, I was busy visiting on an auction. I got her. Oh, nice. Are they hollows fish or just like random cards? That's still pretty nice though for vintage. All right, well, that got went out the window real quick. Trying to open that. Matthew, Binacle, Spiel, Banary, Snorlax. That's actually a really cool one. Reverse Snorlax. And a non hollow rare Scrafty Ultra Ball Fletchinder. Snorlax. That's actually not bad. Reverse rare Snorlax. Matthew Slap. Roll paid actors. The song's actually really nice. I gotta try to um, heart this real quick. There we go. I like that. Hey, Jeff. What's up, brother? Uh, am I late? Any cute? Well, let me take a look. So, Chad's next. Josh got one. Hotham got one. Lionel got one. Tone got two of them. That's five. Emily got one. That's six. Six in the queue. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I got one left. <laughs> I got one left. 
So yeah, Unagra promos are pretty much sold out. Jeff, I got one left if you want it. And then my second last one, I'm going to save for a members only giveaway. So Jeff, you are in just in time for one if you want the last one. Chatty Daddy with a four Booba promos. And a Unagba promo. So yeah, Jeff, I will also be getting a lot more in as well. So this will not be the end of the promos. I got them from a lot of different sources. So just this one happened to get in first. But I will have more again, hopefully sometime early next week. All right, chatty. Ah, okay. Is that another dude? Chad, is your third Jolteon, my guy? Holy moly, Chad. Jesus Christ. I think that's your third Jolteon you pulled tonight. <laughs> Out of nine. Out of nine. Well, luckily, we got to trade one of them for you. But, bro, are you got a Jolteon on every one of your orders, homie? Is that really what it's been? Let me see. Three. So, we traded that one. That was a Jolteon. Yeah, bro, you got three Jolteons, Chad. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, man. You got three Jolteons. Three packs, three Jolteons. Wowza. Okay, cool, Jeff. Thanks for the order, man. You got it. Josh says, one pack Unaga promo, please. What's poppin', fam? Josh, not much, man. Same old, same old, really. Let's grab some more waifus first. That way we can add that to your order for you. One, two, three, four. And Josh, let's get you a Unagaba. Dude, I love these Unagabas. Have the piece stand. Oh, hey, Sam. How you doing, Sam? Yeah, Unagabas are now sold out, but we will be getting more in very, very soon. Just currently sold out for tonight, though. We had only 30, and they're already gone. All right, Josh pushing P is going to get the beautiful Flareon. Very nice. Yeah, I think stocking Unagabas are definitely a safe thing for me because worst case is if they stop selling, I'll just grade them all. So I definitely try to stock a lot of these before they go up in price too much. Ooh, okay. She kind of got it going on. Juice. Doing solid brother game. More of these? I am, Sam. Sold out for tonight, but I already got another really big order. That should be here hopefully this weekend or Monday. And then I'll definitely order more too. So I'll have a lot of these hopefully. Josh pushing me. Josh, thanks for the order, man. Throw in some free booba for you as well. Hotham says Eevee promo. Hotham, let's grab you four freebies for these as well. Let's grab you a promo. I don't think you have any just sitting around. Well, I mean, at some point, you kind of get enough, right? I mean, once you get all nine of them, what's the point to open more? I mean, I guess you could open more to grade, but... I'd say once you get all nine, people probably will stop buying them. So eventually, you know, you might hit your capacity. Hotham. I mean, unless you're Chad and then you buy three packs and they're all the same card, but that shouldn't happen for most people. Number 21. Okay. 21. Ooh, nice Hotham. That's going to be the Espeon. Yeah, I don't know why these top loaders are, like, dirty. I literally just opened up a fresh box. Apologies for that, but cards are all mint. Espeon. And any blemish you see is probably just on the top loader. What is in her... What the heck is that? Oh, Sailor Moon? That's really dope. Okay. Hopping with some Sailor Moon. I have all nine. I don't need any more. Yeah, there you go. Right, exactly. So it's like once you have the whole set, you know, you might not be looking, be in the market for any more. Lionel says one Unaga promo, one spot in the vintage gauntlet, two of the 151, and for my shipping. Awesome, Lionel. Welcome back. So you are going to be on the vintage gauntlet. You want 21. 21. That's going to be up here. 
So, Len, let's start off by grabbing you the four free booba cards. One promo for you. And two, 151. All right, Noah, how's it going? So, Jeff, I'm going to ask you this, Jeff, because you got the last promo coming up. And I was going to, you know, you know, the, you know, the game deal or no deal, Jeff, we're at the end of deal or no deal. They ask you if you want to switch your case with the case that's left. I'm going to let you have that decision too, Jeff. So this Unagawa promo, I already just grabbed to the side. That's going to be the giveaway for members. You're going to get that last promo in the back. Do you want that last promo or do you want to swap that one for the giveaway? Meaning the one you're supposed to get will give away and the one we're going to give away you'll get. If that makes any sense. Hopefully that's not confusing. Marowak. Dragonite, that'd be that'd be a cool master ball for the Dragonite if we got it. Okay, let's check out your Booba first. They get into the Unagaba. Oh, nice, that's a Dragon Maid. And let me quickly just make sure that okay, keep the original. Awesome. Let me just make sure Unagabas or Marcus sold out because they are sold out. It was under the limited time items, and they are now sold out. But they will be back. Twenty-one Savage, twenty-one, twenty-one. Man, I don't know if you washed it acid, but uh, back in my college days, I used to be a, I used to really be into rap. I used to freestyle a little bit, and I used to love watching the XXL ciphers, the freshman ciphers. And nowadays, they don't really make them anymore. Or if they do, they're just terrible. But that one year with 21 Savage, Kodak Black, Little Uzi Vert, that was such a great year for the Cyphers. That was such a great year. And, oh, baby, Lionel with another Umbi. That's our second one. That is amazing. Very, very nice. I rap for style as well. Nice. I mean, I'm not as good as freestyling as I used to be years ago back in college, but I mean, I still got a little bit of it. You guys have heard me freestyle here and there. Some of you guys have. Nice. Lionel, in a 10, that's around $150. That's the best evolution of pull price wise. That's awesome. Alex B says Japanese Shining Legends. Oh, okay. So what I think we're going to do, Alex, is let's get an energy card, and I'm going to write you guys in on energy. So I guess the question would become is, if you guys are signing up for the Japanese Shining Legends, it's $85. I guess let me know if you want me to open it or get it sent to you sealed automatically. I guess that's kind of the question. So, Alex, let me mark you down. Let me get you an energy for the entry and for the break. If anyone wants to sign up for it, this will hopefully happen tomorrow when the box gets here. It's $85 for a pack. Japanese Shining Legends. The, I'm telling you guys, the packs themselves look extremely nice. Uh, they might be weighable, Alex. They might be. So, what I'll do is I'll just put you down, Alex. And well, I guess we'll figure it out tomorrow. Uh, but if they are weighable, we should probably just go through it and just weigh them. But that would require we sell the whole box for us to really do that accurately. So what I'll do is, Alex, I will just keep you down like this. I'll put your card over here, and you'll be 19 packs left. And he says, does that qualify for four more boobas? I think so. Why not? Man, that 21 Savage freestyle was sick. He's like, I ran out of soda like a lawnmower. Dude, I can't even go. I can't even say the whole lyrics, but man, his, his part was And then, and then uh, Little Uzi Vert in the back was doing the ad-libs. Man, that was so great. I don't know. Did I did I hear the... Did Kendrick have a cypher on, on the freshman list? Did he? I don't remember if he did. Hey, Rose. How's it going, Rose? Wait a minute. Wait, huh? Am I dumb? Yo, Jeff. I think I miscounted, Jeff. Oops. Did I do something wrong or did I just miscount? 
Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Jeff? <laughs> so what do you guys think? So, so Jeff was in the queue and he wanted a Unagra promo. I'm just now realizing that I do not have an extra one for him. What do you guys think? Instead of me giving this away to a member, what if I just give away $35 store credit instead? That way Jeff gets his pack and the person who wins can spend the money however they like. What do you guys think? Because I, I think I might have mis miscalibrated here. But Tone is up next with two of the Unagaba promos. I think I might have miscalculated here. Because there are only three left. Tone's got two and Emily's next with one of them. That works. Fair. Cool with that. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. So, Jeff, if you're okay with it, I'll give you that pack that was going to go to a member. And I'll just do a $35 store credit giveaway instead. Sounds good. You're getting more, though, so hook him up. I am going to be getting more, yes. But I don't think Jeff wants to wait till the next shipment arrives to get his pack. He'd rather have it today. And I think getting $35 store credit's not bad. You can use that whenever you want. So if you guys don't remember, Avarice, he won a heavy base up pack yesterday. And I don't see anybody... I don't see anybody trying to talk him into opening his pack. What happened, guys? What happened to all the people that used to egg everybody on to open their heavy packs? What happened? You guys have changed. You guys have gotten soft over the years, man. What's going on? It might have an umbi chat. Who knows? I mean, at this rate, we've gotten two of them, which is pretty nice. All right, Tone. Oh, nice. All right, Tone. First card is going to be the Leafeon. Chat, is you better? Step it up. <laughs> hey, bud, open your heavy pack or I'm going to scream. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, not bad, Tone. Leafeon and Sylveon out of the promos. Oh, that's Konosuba, goth chick, school chick, and another Konosoba, maybe? Yeah. I got two Konosubas, I think. Tone. Acid says they're meant to be opened. Come on, man. It was Kendrick Yellow Wolf. Wow, Yellow Wolf made a list? Mac Miller, Meek Mills, Big Crit were a part of the 2011 Cypher. They separate their freestyle into three parts. Wow, I have to go watch that. I don't think I've actually ever seen that one. But yeah, Kendrick is definitely a GOAT for real. What's the $85 call from my order? Uh, Japanese Shining Legends. Japanese Shining Legends. At least, yeah, at least you didn't get duped up, right? At least you didn't get duped up. That's true. Emily says you Nagaba promo. All right, Emily, let's see what you got. So here's your four freebies. And let's see what's in your promo pack. If I get hit on my pack, the freestyle for us. I mean, give me a topic. I'll try. As long as you don't laugh at me, give me a topic. I'll try. Jay-Z's the best rapper and made me feel poor. I feel like as Jay-Z's gotten older, his music's changed a lot more. Uh, from like women, money, drugs, to like hating Jews and being political in his music. He's definitely changed. Oh, all right. Emily will be snagging the Flareon. Emily, let's see what your promos are. Kitty cat. Freestyle about Pokemon? Man, that's gotta be tough. You know how hard it is to rhyme with Pokemon names? That's gonna be really, really tough. That's what two years will get you? Wait, two years of what? <laughs> two years of what? 
Hey, sorry, can you have my second order, my first one? Uh, what's up, Noah? Uh, first, slab hitbox. Unfortunately, no, I cannot. I cannot let you skip for the slab hitbox, unfortunately. But, Noah, you are next with your original order, which was three Chili Rain and three Lost Origin. See, I hope you understand that. I can't let you skip with the slab hitbox because, you know, it doesn't make sense. Like, if the hit's coming up next, you know, in, in no world should I let you just jump in front of people to get it. You know what I mean? So I got to keep it fair, Noah. So I got to say no, all right? Respectfully, I got to say no to that request because it just wouldn't be fair. Because if you get, like, a really big slab right now and someone is next in the queue for it and you just sniped them because I let you jump in front of them, that's, that's bad. That's real bad. Chandler. Hey, boom. I just realized I have school tomorrow and I'm watching this. Ah, uh, my brain be dead tomorrow. Honestly, Rose, you should go to sleep, bro. One thing that I wish I did more was pay attention in school. Uh, I used to go to school and just sleep. And I wish I didn't do that. Because, you know, there's only a couple things in this world that you really should always focus on. That's keeping your body and your brain healthy. That's really the most important thing in this world is keeping your body healthy, your brain healthy. And I think being smart is never a bad thing. Oh, a full art. Damn, no, that was so close. Zorora, full art. Dragon Maid. And some free booba. Keep the hollows. I don't need any of those except the booba and the full art. Uh, okay, sounds good. So just things in the back. You got it, no. Thanks, man. Talking to his shoulder conch, little angel and devil saugers. I think we all have that, uh, you know, kind of in our, in our soul, really, right? Every time you think of something, you kind of think this way or that way, right? I used to go to school and sleep too during my senior year. I either skip Monday or Friday. Yeah. I mean, we always did. I mean, I, I can't say we all, but I definitely used to do that kind of stuff too. And I wish I didn't because honestly, you know, it's like, I don't know, just a waste of time not to, you know, not to do that. Ryan H says four random Pokemon singles. And also going to give you four of the boobas as well, Ryan. Wrong way. Here we go. I definitely should apply myself back in school, but it all definitely worked out. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, like public school, I guess he really cares, but like college, man, you're paying to be there. It's like you're paying to be there just to sleep. It's kind of silly. Oh, we got an energy. Oh, you got two energies? Holy shit, Ryan. Dude, what? Bro. That is insanity, Ryan. All right, let's see what you got, bro. Two energies. Wow. Now, I think one... Actually, I think the one that was a dud got pulled already. Let's see. Nice! That's gonna be the Lapras. Where did I put the box? There it is. Wow, dude, Ryan. This is massive, brother. You got two energies. So that could be any of the following cards right here. So your first one you pull out is a Japanese Fossil Hollow Lapras. That is really nice. And your second energy is going to be the Gold Tapu Lele. Nice. Sheesh. All right, Ryan. That made that a really nice order. Two energies. And just show you guys some of the big energies that are still left in there. Raikou. Really like PSA 9, PSA 10 quality Arc 9 right there is really nice. Old Dart Zorora, Irida, and the Secret Rare Fire Energy from Burning Shadows. Those are all still available in the box. Plus other cards in there as well can be worth more than five bucks just to pull regularly that aren't top loaded. Wow. All right, Ryan, that turned out really nice, man. And let's check out your booba, and I think I'm going to make you a new bag anyways. We should open up Avarice's pack at Celebration. I don't know, man. Doesn't seem like Abraham's wanting to do it. 
He seems like he's trying to avoid the conversation of his heavy pack. Raya. Man, can you guys believe it? But we've almost given away all of these uh, Booba cards. Eh, I guess we've still got a decent bit left in here, but... Man, we've given away quite a bit of them. Which is great. Up next, we've got Gabe in two spots for the Japanese Vintage. Awesome. So, Gabe, I guess I'll just ask you, Gabe, because I know we shipped your bag last night. Uh, if you want, do you want the Booba cards? If you don't want them, I won't bother making you a bag. But if you want them, let me know. I'll definitely making you a bag. But Gabe got two spots in the Japanese Vintage. Gabe, I'll just give you a four and five. So if anyone is interested in going in for the Japanese Vintage Gauntlet, there's going to be three winners off the list. We got only 34 spots. One winner is going to take a Fossil, one's going to take a Neo Genesis, and one's going to take a Rocket. All three of those packs are guaranteed to have a Hollow in it, which is really nice. <laughs> Freestyle about technology. All right, and then my name, Jeff, got the last Unagaba promo. So, Jeff, let's grab you four of these. And let's try to end with a freaking Umbreon. We got two already out of 30 packs. We get one more. That means we got one out of 10, which I don't know. I mean, that's not bad, right? Because one out of nine is what you'd expect it to be. So come on, Hefe. How Stella? She's doing pretty good. She's getting a lot bigger, man. She's getting big. Then after this order, we're going to go ahead and do our $35 members only store credit. You can keep the others. I don't need them. Okay, Jeff, you don't want the booba? Sounds good. And? Ah, it's going to be Vapor. You know, we didn't see a lot of Vaporeons. At the start, we pulled like two of them. And then we didn't really see many after that. So not bad. Hefe with the Unagaba Vaporeon. So like I said, uh, Unagaba promos are currently sold out right now. Uh, we have a bunch more that will be arriving very soon. So if you are wanting more, they'll be available at the same price. Uh, probably, hopefully, by Monday stream, I'm hoping. Was that the only Espeon? No, we got a couple Espeons. Like, maybe two or three of them. We got a couple of them. You know, I tried, Soren. I tried to see if you can look through these with a flashlight, and there was no avail for me. So I cannot do it. I've heard that they are searchable, but I, I have not been able to confirm it on my end. Yup, yup, we already sold out of them. Yeah, Andrew, they're sold out. Like I said, I will get getting more very soon, though. But all right, so let's go ahead. Let's do our members-only giveaway. We've got a $35 members giveaway tonight that I'm going to be giving away because we got so many gifted members today that I just had to give something back. It was crazy. So if you want to win this, you do have to be a member to the channel. Uh, so just simply make sure that you are, one, subscribed to the channel, two, that you've liked the stream tonight, and then three, put a BR in the chat. If you are a member, you have a solid chance right now to win $35 to the store of RGP. So let's get that set up real quick. Just make sure you're subscribed, you like the stream, put a BR in the chat, and you'll be all set. Hey, Linda, how's it going? Um, we opened up a lot of the Unagaba promos. We actually sold out of them already. Those are pretty sweet. We'll be getting more of those pretty soon. Honestly, we're just doing a lot of the promos. Yeah, <laughs> the whole stream's just been Unagaba promos pretty much. But it makes sense. They're really cool. I should have hopped on the Unagaba promos a lot earlier, I think. Alrighty, guys. Are you ready?
Do you guys shop on eBay? If so, you could be helping out the channel with every purchase that you make. So take a look at the description. There is a eBay affiliate link there. By clicking on that link, it'll bring you over to the eBay homepage. Over here, you can search up whatever it is that you want to purchase. So let's say in this case, I want to get a PSA 10 Charizard. Simply look up the product, check out what that product after clicking our link, and it'll give a small kickback over to the channel at no extra cost to you guys. So it helps with the channel a ton. And if you guys are able to do that for me, I would appreciate it. But thank you guys all so much for watching or listening to this advertisement. And let's get back to your normally scheduled program. Man, that's a long battle. You get through the whole ad. You get through the whole ad. But yeah, for those who never know, uh, I do have an eBay affiliate link. It's all at the bottom of the description. If you're going to be shopping on eBay, all you have to do is just click that link, then make your purchase. And at no extra cost to you, uh, you basically just help me out. So that's pretty sweet. No extra cost to you if you're going to be buying on eBay anyways. Using the affiliate link helps out the channel and helps fund all the giveaways we do. And does it cost you anything extra? Nice. So John picking up the $35 store credit. Nice. So John, congratulations and feel free to use this as you see fit. Justin W says two of the 151 and three obsidian flam. I know. Yeah, Unagaba sold out. Only had 30 of them today, and they're already gone. Yeah, they're already gone. All right. Justin, and let's get you those four free booba cards as well before I forget. What a kind of Suba coming out of these promo cards. Yeah, sorry, EX. Yeah, I'll have them again pretty soon. So if you check back in Monday on my Monday night stream, I'll probably have some more then. I dipped after the coin flip. Yeah, I mean, listen, if you want to be mad about the coin flip, man, you have every right to, but I'll be honest with you. Uh, you know, <laughs> from my end, I see, I see no wrong, you know? I see no wrong. Dragonite. The Palafin. John wins a lot. I don't know, John. Do you win a lot? I don't know if I would say he does, honestly. He just wins as much as the next guy does. I'm trying to think who who wins a lot. I feel like this guy, his name is Bullets. He wins a lot. This guy named Bullets, he wins a lot. Justin W. So let me double check real quick. It's possible we shipped your bag the other day. Nope, I don't think we did. Slab Gauntlet, two packs, 151, Obsidian Flames, Obsidian Flames. Okay, cool, Justin. Your bag's probably just in the no-ship zone then. Yep, here it is. Perfect. Sun wins a lot? Yeah! <laughs> right, yeah, he buys a lot of spots, right. It, it's correlated, right? It's correlated. <laughs> Richard! It says two champions pass. Richard N. Alright, so Rich, let's grab you some free waifu promos as well. Ooh, okay, this one's kind of cute. Konosuba. Alright, Richard! Champions path? Charizard? That's a cool energy. Send a Scorch. Ooh, 
Ooh, what is that? Bead and the Dredna VMAX. Dredna. Soggy, still got my 4th of July Booba Bible. Hey, what's up, Dexter? The Booba Bible is sold out. I have no more Booba Bibles, man. Yeah, the Booba Bible was very popular, though. Very, very popular, I'd say. When I went back to restock on the Booba Bibles, they were sold out. But honestly, honestly, if they have more, definitely pick them up. Do you have the one you showed? Yeah, no, we opened that. We opened that Dexter already. And we sold all the cards in there already, too. Abraham says, two booba lanes and some free booba. Ah, oh, Abraham, I see here in your note, it has no mention. No mention, Abraham, of a heavy base set pack. What's up with that? No mention of it. <laughs> Sounds like Sonic CD set. All right, so at this point, oh shoot, we are coming into a lot of Weiss cards now. And I think what's probably gonna be a good idea is just to shuffle them all up. I could probably even reuse that box, right? Reuse, reduce, recycle. So let's just shuffle this up a little bit. I think now for the free booba, you're gonna be getting a lot more Weiss cards versus Goddess Story stuff, but. It's, it is time. Be gentle with my pack and view the cards of Zard Energy. You gotta display the pack. Oh, Aris, you want to open it? Ooh, okay. All right, so you're ready to open it. One, two, three, plus that one makes it four. Yo, my mommy slab is really nice. People that have no idea who mommy is are like, what'd you just say? Your mama slab? Wow, all right. Avarice, I think he's ready, guy. Oh. And, oh, a nice SR. God damn, how freaking close can you get? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. How close can you get? Without actually being too revealing. Hestia, Ina, Wealth. And another Hestia. All right, so those are going over to Abraham. But we are not done there because Abraham is going to be opening up with us his heavy base set pack. Heavy base set pack, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Avarice, it's your time to shine, homie. He did win on Gauntlet the Heavy Base Set Blastoise Pack. Now, this pack is guaranteed to have a hollow in it. If not, Abraham will be getting a fat, fat check and store credit. But should probably have a hollow in it. Pokemon on a Wise channel. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right, CM. I can't be. I can't argue. You're right. Actually, Abraham, let's make a new bag real quick. So, guaranteed heavy base set. We should be seeing a hollow in here. Our first two packs, we got a Ninetales and we got a Magneton. Uh, the first two packs. Now, we are going to find out what's in this third pack. If you have a guess, let me know. My guess is going to be the Venusaur. I'm gonna guess Venusaur. I know you're saying Zard, but Abraham, I'm gonna guess what I feel in my in my deep in my loins of Venusaur out of this pack. Let me know in the chat what your guess is. Okay, so let me try to open this up as nicely as possible for you, like you asked. It's already ripping a little bit. Alakazam would be nice. I wouldn't be upset by an Alakazam. I wouldn't be. Nice. Okay, from the bottom worked out very well. 
Watch me, you know, Chansey's not bad. Chansey's actually not a bad pull either. Getting very hard to get in a 10, but if you do get a 10 contender, that actually goes for a lot of money. Chansey's a big money card. All right, so Abraham, no Patrick here just in case because last time I messed it up. We're going to go right from the front. And starting us off, we've got the switch. Starmie. Nice, picking up a Bulbasaur. Magnemite. Pidgey. Energy. Energy. <laughs> and here we go. Abraham. Charizard. Oh, and it's going to be the Hitmonchan. I timed that right on the beat drop. Let's take a look at his hollow. Ooh. Very, very clean. Wow, that's a gorgeous hollow, actually, man. Whoa. Not a single print line? Wow, that is nice. God damn. Right, let's get in a sleeve ASAP. Farfetch Arcanine in the back is pretty nice. Damn, that's a really nice hollow here, man. Let's check on how the centering in the back looks. Little white dot right out the pack, right up there in that corner. Wow, bottom corner. Damn, this card looks really nice. Small little white spot right there. Damn, dude. If it didn't have that big white dot on the corner, the centering's a little bit off, too. Yeah, I guess I'm going to say PSA 9, unfortunately. But, man, that hollow is sick. Look at that freaking nice hollow. I recently watched a video about the TCG meta. This thing was OP. Oh, the Hitmonchan? It's got... It's only got... Is it really OP? It's only got a 20 damage move and a 40 damage move. You would assume that's kind of weak. I don't know. What do I know about the old card game? But that seems like a weak card. Only 70 HP as well. So Abraham... Wow, uh, congrats again firstly on winning a heavy base set pack and thanks for opening it live pulling out the hollow hitmonchan So I've only got two of the heavy bases left in stock. So if you did want one only two are left Hey Dan, how's it going man? Um, you didn't really miss too much. We did a bunch of Yunaga promos. Those are now sold out I announced the next box break which is hopefully gonna be happening tomorrow, which is a Japanese shining legends box and they're $85 a pack, if you're interested. Hey, Mason. Hey, Sir Brandon. Have an awesome night, Brandon. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow night, brother. Take care, homie. And for those who missed it, CP6 will be making his return on the menu at some point. Noah says one slab of hit books. Noah R. Noah, I'm sorry, brother. It's the polywag. Ian the Ninja. He says, grade the Umbreon promo. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Ian the freaking Ninja. Pretty cool to see how the meta looked. Uh, I don't play, but I thought I should know more. Yeah, I mean, it's cool to kind of know the history behind the cards. Even on the playable side, too. It's kind of cool to know. I don't know if anybody like still plays with vintage cards. Maybe there's some people, hardcore fans out there that still play by like OG rules for fun or something, but. Bro, CP6 is amazing, bro. I love CP6. Ian the Ninja sending out the Umbi for grading. So, yeah, let me just make sure that I quickly get you in on the spreadsheet. Ah, 
Awesome, cool. So Ian, you are all set. Your markdown is paid and your card is good to go for the next grading round. Thanks, Ian. Whoa, Jeff says Japanese Shining Legend, two of them, one to open and one for sealed. Wow, okay, Jeff, dude, thanks so much. Picking up two Japanese Shining Legends for the stream tomorrow, hell yeah. So we've already got three packs pre-ordered out of 20 packs for the box for tomorrow night. If you do want to grab a Shiny Legends a little bit earlier tomorrow uh, than for tomorrow's stream, 85 bucks for a pack. If anyone wants to hop in. Then we've got two orders left in the queue. We've got Alex, who says Vintage Pack Gauntlet. Random spot on the second column. Okay, Alex, you got it. So Vintage Pack Gauntlet. I'll give you a 28. 28. And then Noah says eight random singles in one slabby patty. Noah. One, two, three, four. And let's grab you eight of these. Man, Justin, how come you know so much about the, the old TCG too, man? One, two, three, four, five. No way you guys actually played back. Or maybe you did actually. I don't know. Maybe you did play back in the day. All right, Noah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, we got a lot of stuff for you now. Let's check it out. Oh, nice. You actually had a slab, dude. Oh, that's sick. All right, cool. So, Noah, you got the PSA 9 fourth print UK edition of the base set Bulbasaur. That is sick. Nice. That's going over to Noah. Hell yeah. Nice hit. That's a sick slab, actually. So, that was a hit on the slab hitbox. We got you some booba. Holy booba. Hestia. Now we're on to the singles. Here we got Zapdos. Sir Farfet. First edition Salamanche. First edition Charmander. Wow, that's in really good shape. Holy buckets. Damn, that's nice, man. First edition Charmander. Is that Italian? That's sick. Espeon, Merrill, Black Star Promo, Double, Toxtricity, and a Houndoom. Nice. Those are cool, cool cards. Damn, all right, no, that was not bad. That was not bad at all. That Salamanche was something else. When would you expect another Grace Next sub that comes back? Uh, honestly, Alex, I have no idea. Just be a guess. Right now, it's currently in grading, which means it could still be upwards of another month. I don't remember when we sent it out exactly, but I mean, I can take a look at it right now, once again. Let's see. Harpy Feather Duster. You'll learn I hit the box eventually. <laughs> yeah, I guess there is like some sort of tactic to it, right? So that is gonna be a 24 value sub, let's see. Probably still in grading. I only checked yesterday, but yeah, it's still in grading. So yeah, I mean, it could still be a while it's in grading uh then assembly so grading right now then it's in assembly next qa1 qa2 and then shipping so there still are like four more steps how much the whole box hunter hunter and wilder servants uh hey what's up chris so hunter hunter has 20 packs in it then dragon ball has six so let's see 24 So I think 264 to get you a full box of both, Chris. Of both. Hey, Shungite, how's it going, man? So yeah, the queue's currently empty. If anyone wants to hop in, feel free. 
But in the meantime, let me quickly grab these. So I have the meeting to look through these that I recently bought, but I've not yet looked at. So I bought a bunch of uh, PSA 10 hollows. That's a sick one. Dark Ampharos from Neo Destiny, Electabuzz. So if people are liking the PSA 10 Japanese uh, vintage gauntlets, we could do a lot of them. We could do a lot of them. Mischievous, that's pretty sweet. You don't really seem mischievous at all, really. Forgot that was even a Pokemon. That was a really cool one, Neo 4. And Neo 4 packs nowadays are freaking crazy. Now, a lot of these aren't like the huge, huge hitters, but still pretty cool. Porygon 2 from Neo 3. Golbat. Ew, Fortress? Ew. Uh, well, Shunk, it depends. What would be the name on your bag? I'm happy to check for you. What's the name on your bag? Slow, bro. Ride on, sneak attack, hypno. I mean, dude, there's like a half mass. This is a sick one, too. It's not a hollow, but this is a Japanese web series nine tails. That's really sweet. Should be Shungite? Oh, Shungite. I don't think so, brother. It would be under the name of your payment. So, whatever you ordered, that name that you ordered under would be what it'd be under. I don't think I ever made a bag name for Shungite. Polyrath. Muck. Oh, that's a really sweet one, too. Light Azumarill from Neo Destiny. Damn. Yanma. Any VS Slabs? I have VS Slabs, John, but those are not for sale. Those are in my collection for sure. For sure. For sure. Then I got a little bit more as well that I picked up as well. The CD Promo Mew in a 9. Shining Celebi. That actually can be coming out of the box that we're going to open up tomorrow. First edition Alakazam, that's really dope. PSA 9. Cynthia. PSA 9 base set Blastoise. And a couple of these really cool poker cards too that I picked up in the collection. Bulbasaur and Mewtwo and a 10. These are really cool. Do you shop on eBay? Do you like Sushi Bag? I really only like PSA. Uh, I would go, I would go PSA, then I'd go. Uh, BGS, then I go CGC dead last. Noah says 10 Korean Legend of Blue Eyes. No, I think we gotta get a brand new box for you. Let's do it. Uh, but yeah, Alex, Spell Ruler would just be 6 times 30 basically for a whole box of Spell Ruler. Or er, not Spell Ruler, we're talking uh, Black Flame Ruler, right? Yeah. I want the Hollow Butterfree from Japan. Yeah, that's a cool one too. How much is the box? I uh, know 40 packs in a box. And actually, what I like to do is shuffle them because sometimes the hits kind of get clumped. So let's just shuffle it, unless you want the whole box. Yay, yeah, hey, Soren, I appreciate that, bro. I really do, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to be buying on eBay anyways and you use my link, it doesn't cost anything extra and it just helps the channel out. Really helps me out. So if you like me, want to help me out at no extra cost to you, then it's just kind of a no-brainer. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Show what you have and not for sale. That'd be pretty interesting. I have a big briefcase that I actually got from Chris when I bought a huge collection off of him that I keep it all in. Noah. Two, four, six, eight, ten. The name of the bag should be Isaac Lurch. Well, Isaac, let's start by looking up your order history. So, Isaac, you ordered almost a year ago. Is a ten dollar order for one lost origin and shipping, and then one lost origin, one battle style. So, Isaac, if it was over a year ago and your bag had nothing worth anything in it, just reverses, and it's been a year probably just got deleted so unless you had something really big in your bag which i probably doubt just for three packs probably no longer here if it was just reverses i would not hold out for a whole year i tried to feel like once and it sent me to p hub <laughs> well you gotta learn someday man 
Oh, nice! Monster Reborn! Alright, that is sick. Monster Reborn. Like five twenty dollar slabs. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have some slabs that I could definitely go back in for the twenty five dollar random slab. But like I said, it's more of a space issue. But I did actually recently buy new boxes to hold the slabs in, so I'll be increasing the space on that, and maybe I will bring those back. Oh, we got something. Ah, the head of Exodia. Nice. Bring webcams back. And a witty phantom. Nice. Okay, not bad, Noah. Some pretty solid hits only for a fourth of the box. Not bad. Let's also check out Yorobuba. So a lot of from, I believe, Dreaming of Bunny Girl Senpai. Whoever buys five random slabs, I'll pay for the shipping tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I haven't looked through them, but I'm sure I probably have some that's, you know, on the lower bracket. Woo! All right, Chris says a box of Hunter Hunter and a box of Wild Resurgence. Ooh, babe. Ooh, babe. All right, Chris, if you'd like to pick, let me know. You can pick your box if you'd like. Is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Uh, according to the show, it is not wrong. No, according to the show, it's not wrong. All right, so Chris, let's also grab you some free waifu boobas. I'm only gonna grab you three, Chris, because I'm gonna throw in one more that I had on the side here for you as well. So we'll, I'll throw in one extra special one. Right on Dragon Ball, okay, so right on that one. We'll take the left box away. And then left on the Hunter Hunter. Okay, I like that. So we're going for a nice zigzag. Is anyone who want a battle? Right now, John is in for a chilling rain battle, but I'm happy to do any battle that you guys would like tonight. Is everyone tapped out on the vintage pack gauntlets? It kind of seems so. There's still quite a lot of spots left on it. Think I should grade the Umbreon promo? I think you definitely should. Uh, the question really becomes though, is should you grade it with me at $50? Probably not. I mean, there still is margin there if it gets a 10. But like, if you graded it through bulk on your own or like through somebody else, like I think Clay in our Discord does it for like, I think 21 bucks or something like that. So you could save some money doing that. However, you also gotta realize that it's gonna take like another month or two or maybe more for it to come back that way. But I don't know. Uh, you definitely should grade it. The question really is, though, should you grade it through value or should you grade it through bulk? That's the real question. Definitely should grade it. Killua. Do I have any sun and moon? I might have, like, some random sun and moon packs. Just, like, randomly, Jeff. I might. I do have, like, a little box of like random packs from different eras finance end of the month to budget their pokemon money absolutely yeah especially at the end of the month absolutely To the garage man i used to actually go to the garage so back at the old house i used to go in the garage that's where i store all my stuff nowadays i just store them in like a little like closet that i have attached to this office so it's not bad actually oh and we got a gone sr uh you know piazu i don't i, I want to say i don't think so these are made by bandai so they're not like some like random knockoff company these are made by a really big company I don't know if there's any plans to bring us to English. 
But to be honest with you, if like Hunter Hunter was to get an English card set, I wish they'd like sell sell their rights or something to Weiss. Cause if Weiss can make a Hunter Hunter set with like some sign cards, bro, that would blow up the earth. The earth would probably blow up. Like imagine One Piece instead of coming out as its own TCG, even though it is doing very well, came out as a Weiss set with sign cards, bro. That would have exploded the internet. I mean, I guess the card game itself is better to be... You're the owner of it, I guess. It's probably better, but... Corona. Oh. Krios. So I believe you get one big hit at least per box. Oh, we got Gon's father. One Piece left sign cards with a new set. Is that true? Manga way cooler. Really? I don't know. I mean, the, don't get me wrong. The manga cards are cool. But maybe I just like the idea that, like, the actor for Nami signed the card. I think that'd be cool. Same thing with Luffy. I think that's a cool idea. I know it's not like a authentic on-card autograph. It's just a... Oh! Nice! SR! Man, I forget his dad's name, but nice. There we go. That's crazy. Yes, yeah, so if that's the case, then Matt, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I'm just a really big fan of sign cards. I don't know why. I just really like sign cards. Okay, not bad, Chris. Not a bad box there. We got the S.A. for Gon's dad. Now, before we get into the Dragon Ball box, Chris, let me show you specifically this card here. I'll show you what you got for the free boobas. And... Oof! <laughs> so, Chris, that is one that I picked out uh, myself for you, so you can have that one. From Sneaker Bunko. And Wild Resurgence for the God Rare? Yes, we have pulled a new God Rare out of our last case. We got one for Jake D. Jake, I think it's still here. No, I think he might have got shipped. Yeah, I think he might have got shipped. But yeah, we pulled one a, uh, like a month ago now. Uneasening Awakened Rage. Very booba. Yeah, Linda, the box of booba that we got in yesterday. This is actually all that's left of it now. Uh, but yeah, every order tonight, I'm just giving like four free booba cards for it. <laughs> it's the battle cardboard. I love how a cardboard's not in the battle, yet people ask him. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> cardboard's like the bookie. We can do smaller battles. Yeah, it doesn't have to be massive. You know, we still have, like, 10 plus Heart Coastal Silver left. Zero Legends so far. Zero. Two Prime, zero Legends. So it's like, all right, something's got to give eventually, right? I sent you a picture of the big card. Wait, that's in the new Japanese set? Oh, wow. You guys want to see it? Yeah, Jeff, give me a second. I have to just double check, see what I have. I don't want to give you a price on, some, on a set that I don't have, you know? What kind of battle do y'all want to do? We can do any budget battle. Boo says, I'm balling on a budget. I respect that. Yeah, so Chris, I got four cases of the new One Piece coming in. Uh, I'm kind of shocked that it's taken this long because I know it comes out tomorrow officially. I have not yet gotten a tracking number from my guy in Japan yet. So generally though, when he does ship it, it usually only takes like two to three days to get here because I pay for express shipping. But I have not gotten the tracking number yet. So I've already put in the order for it, just haven't got it yet, which is kind of sucks. Cause usually I get those One Piece sets really early. So I'll have to send him a message tonight, just make sure it's going to happen tomorrow at least. Son Goku. So yeah, I'm hoping maybe by Monday stream, Tuesday stream at the latest, hopefully. 
but I have not yet got a tracking number, so I can't guarantee it. But when I do get them, they'll be five dollars a pack for the new One Piece set, which I think is pretty nice because I know they're going for a lot right now. Chichi. Ooba. Do a base set card battle, 80 bucks a spot, whoever gets the holo keeps all the cards. Baby. I'll split a box of Azure Lane with someone. Azure Lane's almost gone too. I got a couple boxes left of Azure Lane until we're sold out. Wow, no, no SR, no SPRs yet, Chris. What's going on here? Trunks? Yo, a Stormfront battle would be legendary, bro. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be signing off on that. We haven't opened up a lot of Stormfront, and it's got Charizard, Charmander, Charmeleon, Secret Rares in it. Vegeta. Come on, Chris. Where the hell are the SPRs? Or Secrets. Or God Rares, for that matter. Frieza. All right, Chris, what are the chances that you've got two SPRs in, like, the last six packs? I mean, they should be in here. So, that they've got to be, but that's crazy. Sun Goku. And there's our first SPR, Garlic Jr. Invitation to Eternal Darkness. Baby. And, ah, there we go, our second SPR, Sun Goku versus Golden Frieza. And, come on, Golden Frieza. Damn. So, Chris, nice box on the Hunter, kind of a low box on the Dragon Ball, although this is a brand new case, by the way. So both SPRs should still be live in this brand new case. Just no luck on that box, unfortunately. However, though, Chris, thanks so much for the order tonight, Chris. It was getting pretty slow, so I really appreciate the order, man. Thanks. Chris to the Stormfront or a 151 split? Yeah, I think they're both good options. Personally, Stormfront would be a pleasure to see, but, you know, it's more expensive, obviously. Can you rate Goddess Story cards? Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I don't believe you can, unfortunately. It would be sweet if you could, but I don't think you can at this moment. It's in pack three of your open water surgeon's box? You think so? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, there is an open box, so that you might be right. Pack three, you say, huh? I don't know. I mean, there's only six left in the box. Luis says five packs. I could have the blue eyes, Toon Dragon. I forgot the name. Oh, Luis, what's up? So you want Spell Ruler. And yes, Spell Ruler has a chance to pull you the Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is honestly a very nice pull. So, Luis, thanks for the order. Let's grab your four free booba cards. Let's grab you your five spell ruler. So, yeah, spell ruler has the tune blue eyes, and LOB has the original blue eyes. I don't know, though. I mean, the tune's pretty cool, too, honestly. Peacock. Cyberjar, man, Cyberjar brings back some memories. All the jars were broken in Yu-Gi-Oh. All the jars were broken. Rush recklessly. Come on, Luis. Hero Shadow Scout. I want to see 151, Crown Zenith, or Stormfront. Nimble Momomonga. 
507. Yo, yeah, Sonda, bro. Every jar is broken, bro. Morphing jar, cyber jar, especially. Oh, nice. Giant true name. That's a pretty good hit, actually. I think that's a really nice spell card. Yeah, return all spill and trap cards on the field to the hand. That's a pretty strong card. Slaps brilliant fusion tins? I do. Yes, John, I do. Not enough fusion. I have enough brilliant, though. I don't have enough fusion to probably do a big battle, but I have enough to do a big battle with brilliant, though, not fusion. Seer, Bell, Mikoto, and Rio. Rio. Brilliant battle, Ultar gets free grading. Yeah, exactly, right. Yep, and Ultar would get free grading. AJ! AJ, how's it going, homie? AJ says 10 Obsidian Flames. Let's also grab you those four free cards. All right, AJ, are you feeling a Chewer Zord? Feeling nice about this box. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. He says, I often hope so, dude. Me too. They've been coming out pretty, you know, AJ, they've been coming out like pretty frequently, I'd say. They've been coming out a lot. So we can make it happen, hopefully. Magnemite. Not, we didn't really open up that much Obsidian Flames today. We opened up a lot of the Unagaba promos, but we sold out of those really quick within the first couple hours. So we didn't really get a lot of Obsidian Flames opening tonight. Just a little bit. Togekiss. Are you getting the new Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Charmander. How many spots would 151 battle be? Like, how much? Depends how many players you guys want. I mean, it's 20 packs, so it splits evenly 5 and 4. Or 2. So, 2, 4, or 5. You can do 4 packs each, 5 packs each, 10 packs each, split a box. All right, AJ, come on, homie. What is this? Pidgeotto. Two nine tails in one bundle. That's not bad, though. Actually, nine tails is a pretty nice pull. Like price-wise, that's not a bad pull, actually. I think I have the worst luck here ever now. I'm sorry, AJ. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Usually, I'm saying flames is like really hot. Oh, okay. And nice. That's not bad. That's going to be the Tyranitar. Full art secret. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not really a big fan of the Terrasilize cards. It's just kind of weird. Like, he's just got like a huge light bulb on his head, you know? It's kind of weird. I don't know who signed off on that. <laughs> he says, okay, okay, I'm into that. AJ, you're weird. <laughs> I'm just kidding. AJ, you're a freak. And then, AJ, let's also take a look at your free waifu cards. Oh, that's an SR. Very nice. Shoko SR. That's pretty nice. And you got Shoko. Jesus. And Bell. Wow. All right. Nice. Nice, nice two cards there, AJ. So, AJ, I'm going to make your brand new bag. I think last time we definitely shipped your stuff out, I think. So, make your brand new baggie for this order. Yo, Eduardo! Thanks so much for the $4 super chat, baby! I know nothing about Booba. AJ, you don't need to know anything about Booba, man. It's instinctual. It's just built into your gene. It's built into your DNA, man. You don't need to know about Booba. It comes to you naturally, right? Everybody knows about Booba. Everybody. Jordan E says six random Pokemon singles. Let's grab you four freebie Weiss or Booba cards as well. Jordan. Man, Eduardo, I appreciate that, bro. Thanks for the super chat, homie. Four, five, one more. Make that six. What size be worth more here in two months from a senior flames, Korean or English? 
Wait, John, what do you mean Korean? You mean you mean you mean like actual Korean Obsidian Flames? All right, Jor, let's see what you got. Flinx. Oh, we got Ash's stepdad as a shiny baby. Kabuto. Oh, that's really cool. That is from 2009 Memory Berry. Kind of looks that looks really realistic, like walnuts. Magnazone and a Rockets Machoke. Nice. A lot of these common and common there are pack fresh. Meaning if you wanted to grade them, they would probably get a 10 or a 9. Look at that thing. That is fresh. Then let's check out your booba. My, my hoodie girl. Yo, another one? Eduardo, you're too kind, dude. I appreciate that, Eduardo. Thanks, man. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. I only appreciate you. Just booba, everyone knows the rules. Exactly, Dewey. Everyone knows the rules, man. You just know them. You're born with it. Hotum. This is six of the Avatar. Thank you for letting me send them in to give away to the people. Yeah, no, Tommy, thank you, man. That was really kind of you to send these cards in for giveaways, bro. That was really kind of you. So thank you, if anything. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get your brand new box. Well, Black, and those are all just like freebies. Uh, I mean, that that booba card that you got with the, like, the devil girl on it, that might be worth some money. I don't know the price on top of my head, but that booba, like, succubus lady might be worth a little bit. She's kind of hot. <laughs> She's kind of hot. So she might be worth some good money, but I'm not sure on top of my head. The random singles, they work out to be $5 a, a hit, but you got to at least buy two of them. The reason for that is because of fees and stuff. If you just bought one single one after the paypal fees i'll have like four bucks so that doesn't make sense to just do one got a tough promo one more <laughs> yeah i don't know aj i mean a lot of people have went to the uh, the dark side i guess i'll call it. it it's hard it's hard to stay away i mean it's booba it's booba after all Are the flash fires? Yes, Sam. The flash fires are from a sealed case. Well, not sealed anymore, but I bought a case of flash fire blisters. So yeah, they're all still in their blister. Oh, nice. Triple rare Katara spirit water. Heal and hang up. Nice. <laughs> really? Is she really being sarcastic? Cause you, you wouldn't believe it, AJ, but there's some wives out there that absolutely, they love the booba more than the husbands. It's crazy. Javity focus sets, can never find one place? Um, yeah, generally I just kind of go with whatever website's working the best. I know Pokelector has a pretty decent list on a lot of sets. Azula. Oh, and nice, Hotham. That is going to be the Avatar Stamp Sokka. That's an SP right there. Very nice. Good stuff. Josh, is that a sick card? Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's the Avatar Stamp Sokka. I think there's only one rarity above this in the set, and that's a secret rare. Wow, if you actually look really closely in the back, you can see some more designs in the back there. You see that? Very, very subtle. Almost hard to notice. Nice, how can we take that, brother? SP on the sucker. Did we check out your free booba yet? No, we did not. Let's see what you got for your booba. And Bell. Nope, we have not pulled a single secret yet, and we are we're on our second case. So yeah, the secret rares are very, very, very tough to pull. Daniel R says two Spanish Ruby and Sapphire. Daniel, let's grab those free boobas. Let's check out your Sapphire.
Wow. All right, Daniel, you got my last two of them, man. You know, I like having Spanish Ruby Sapphire on the menu, but I don't know if it's worth picking up another case of them. But I kind of like it. But for now, I'm going to mark these as sold out, Dan. You got my last two packs. Hopefully, a nice, pro or nice EX in here, hopefully. Yeah, I don't know what to think. I don't know if I should restock on another case of Spanish Ruby Sapphire. You got to buy them by the case because they are weighable. But I don't know. Might not be worth it anymore. We'll see. Z Daniel, Skitty, Dorchik, Shroomish, Blaziken for the rare, and Pokenav. Who wants to win vintage packs? Array Quaza for the cheap. I want an art set of the pack box. It's not that bad, honestly. They're pretty cool. Oh my god, no effing way. In our last freaking pack in stock, Daniel, with a Hitmonchan EX. That is sick. Dave, maybe I should pick up more. Wow. Damn, bro. That Dude, this, this is so nice. Wow. Hitmonchan EX out of the Spanish Re Sapphire. Uno Furme, is that Firm Punch? And Gancho Alto, that's big, or tall something, right? Tall Punch, maybe that means Uppercut or something, and that means Firm Punch, I don't know. Focus Punch, maybe? Uh, if you let me know, Dan, you speak Spanish, let me know what those words mean. If I'm I close or am I not? That's very nice, though. Man, I mean, after pulling that, I mean, how can you pass up on picking more of those up? Man, that's so nice. $25 for a chance at a vintage EX. God damn. I mean, I pull that in English. Cost you $100, $500 minimum for one of those packs. Pretty nice. Daniel. That was pretty sweet, Dan. I like that. Let's check out your booba. Firm Fist. Okay, Firm Fist. Daniel, translate, please. Quick. <laughs> I wonder what that bottom one means. Nice. Dan, hell to the yes, man. That's awesome. That was nice, too. Really nice to pull an EX in the last couple packs. That's sick. Kevin E says two spots on the Japanese vintage and two burning shadows. Wow, Kevin, you are going deep on the vintage spots, man. So Kevin picking up another two spots. We'll give you six and seven for Kevin E. And two burning shadows. Jeez. So those who are interested, we do have a triple vintage gauntlet going up right now. There's only 34 spots. There's going to be three winners picked. So your odds are about like 1 in 10 point something. So you have like about a 1 in 10 shot of winning a vintage Japanese pack. You could even win multiple. And these are all guaranteed to have a hollow in it. Fossil, Neo Gen, and Team Rocket. So that's the list right here. All right, Kevin, two burners. We gotta do some more EX stuff. The problem is, bro, is EX stuff is not cheap. So a lot of times, it, you know, the price point is kind of like the barrier to entry for EX stuff. The only, like, affordable ones, like Sandstorm. And that's because Sandstorm is probably, like, the worst one, right? So. Steady Punch and Sky Uppercut. Cool. See, I knew the bottom one had to be Uppercut. That's nice. Meryl. Beware the bear. Ah! Damn. Alright, Kevin. That's exactly what I expect out of Burning Shadows. Let's also grab you the four booba cards. One. Oh, nice. That's a Nezuko. Christmas Nezuko. That's pretty cool. And my in a bra. Kevin. My in a 
is up, bro. Any vintage hollows in my grade bag? Yeah, I think you do. I think I like the Magnemite and so forth. I think you do. Nick B says 10 random singles. Nick? Any good pulls tonight? Yeah, definitely got some good pulls tonight. Open up a lot of the uh, Unagaba stuff. We opened up a heavy base as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, Nick, show me something sexy. Four, six, eight, ten. Got the Mew with its butt out. Fur, or not first edition, that's a Gloom from Jungle. Shiny Baby Choodle. Shiny Baby Malamar. Ooh, Dialga. Diamond and Pearl promo from 2008. Cool. Got a reverse Diglett from Legendary Treasures. Full art fodder fetched. Magnemite first edition Team Rocket. Charizard from Vivid Voltage and Rayquaza. Rayquaza. Nick B. And Nick, I almost forgot about your booba too. How did I forget about the booba? One, two, three, four. All right, Nick, let's see what you got in the booba. Oh, that's nice. You got one from Hololive uh, Premium. That's pretty sweet. SR. SR. And Gale Ryu. Nice. So some of those Weiss cards might be worth like a buck or two too. So maybe look into that as well. Especially the Hololive Premium Exo stuff. Those have gotten pretty pricey over the months. So it might be worth looking in to see if any of those Hololive stuff has some decent value. Because they might. Sam, so it's gonna get two Flash Fire. I need the Pyroar and the Kangars. Okay, cool. Uh, so Sam, just to let you know, uh, with Flash Fire, the actual blister might not match the actual pack inside. So are you okay with that, Sam? I can get you a Pyroar Kanga blister, but they might not be the same pack art inside the blister. And yeah, dude, Nick, thank you for the order, man. I know I want the base. Okay, perfect. Sam, sounds good then. Well, you're just in luck. I mean, I got a ton of them. More than 100 of these still left in stock. So you're all set. Pyroar and Kangaskhan for you sealed. I took a nap. Damn, six, dude. You take the freaking quickest naps ever. I wish I could do that. I'm just not capable. If I, if I go down to nap, I am down. I am down. Awesome, Sam. Thanks for being up to the flash box. And they're they're pretty much as minty as can be. Literally, I own the case that they came from, so they're pretty minty. AJ says 10 more obsidian flames and some more booba. <laughs> AJ's like, you know what? I just want the booba. I gotta place an order so I get some free booba. I just want the booba though. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Let's get your fresh box. Man, I will say this, Obsidian Flames has been doing a lot better than like Scarlet Violet Base and even Paldea. So I'm, I'm a lot happier with Obsidian Flames. Hey, Milo, how's it going? It's 11.30? Dude, Brendan, I got McDonald's yesterday, man, and I absolutely regretted it. I got, this was my order from McDonald's yesterday. I got two spicy McChickens with bacon. I got a large fries, an apple pie, and a large Sprite. <laughs> and when I woke up today, I, I could feel it. I was like, oh yeah, I had I had McDonald's for dinner last night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. AJ! And AJ, before I forget, let's grab you some booba. Man, we're almost out of the booba, guys. Only a little bit left. Was there a flaming lizard in that box? I don't think so. I don't think so, AJ. Fidget.
Obsidian Flames is fun. Hey, Greg. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot better than the other sets. That much I'll say. Yeah, way better. New McDonald's promos look pretty cool. Oh, is it Pokemon stuff? Is it Pokemon cards again? So when I was in Canada, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, back when I was in high school, or like, actually, no, maybe middle school, it was so long ago now, my favorite thing on the McDonald's menu was a snack wrap. Oh, here we go. Oh, very nice, AJ. Second best card in the set. Lovely. I used to love the snack wraps. Those were like my favorite thing at McDonald's. They discontinued them. But when I was in Canada, they had snack wraps at the McDonald's in Canada. So I had a snack wrap after the longest time when I went to Canada last weekend. Pounder. So I am so jealous of all the Canadians, man, because snack wraps are delicious. Wait, so did I get an SR Booba the last time? I don't remember AJ. I can check your bag, though. I don't know if you got the SR or not. Mixes magic gets two because of second box. Reverend. I can't stand it when kids eat fast food all day. Absolutely. I hear you on that. Yeah, I definitely hear you on that, John. I agree. But sometimes, you know, you're like late, late at night. There's no other good options to get something. Fast food's your only option sometimes. So. But I agree with you. I agree with you on that. Fast food is not healthy. What goes get going on? Hey, Logan, how's it going on? Uh... Well, Logan, I'll let you know uh, something cool, and I know it's not going to be as cool for you guys, but I did fi figure out a workaround to get these printed on my thermal labels. So now you'll notice the numbers that we have are not written by me anymore. They're printed out. So we have the 5 PSA 10 gauntlet. That's this list right here. We've got the Ultar Rayquaza on this list right here. And the 3 Japanese Vintage Multi Gauntlet on this list right here. All right, AJ, let's see what you got for Booba this time around. Oh, that's a nice Albedo. That's sick. Another Hollow Live. Two Hollow uh, Oh, man. Nice. All right, got a couple of Hollow Live cards in there. Soccer Super Pro. I really want, bro, because. Oh, you did get the SR. Nice. Yeah, you sure did. AJ, that's not bad, man. Nations has got some fire food for an old nighter. I get their breakfast, Hellfire. AJ. Used to be a dollar. Yeah, I know. It makes you think about it too, right? It's like, dude, if you're getting a chicken sandwich for a dollar, uh, then it's like, bro, you know, how can it really be? Mick says OP POS times two. One piece pillars of strength. Mick, you got it. Took me a while, but I, I understood what you meant. I'll buy it for a dollar. The, the problem is, though, John, is, bro, is how how can you get... Like, just think about it this way. How can a company get you a chicken sandwich, bread, a chicken patty, lettuce, mayo, for a dollar? Then they also got to pay their employees. Like, bro, it just makes no sense. It's flabbergasting to me. How can they get that to you for a dollar and make money? How? It can't be real. It just cannot be real meat. No way. No way. It's freaking kangaroo meat or something, man. Marshall D. Teach. Restock Romance Dawn. Yes. Yes. I plan to. Yep. Zeph. And we got Usopp. You've had kangaroo meat six for reals? You've had kangaroo meat? Why didn't they show it? I don't know though, Jeff. Is that really true? Because I got a large... Oh, that's a REM card. That's pretty sweet. Because, man, I got a uh, a large Sprite yesterday and it was, a do it was 99 cents. 99 cents. So, like, I don't know. 
I know soda is like pretty much free, other than the cup for them, but that's not that much. Okay, Smick, I'm not seeing a bag for you. Let me just check your past orders real quick. Six is a savage? Okay, cool, Smick. It looks like your other order was probably in the no-ship zone. Let's grab that up for you. I've had alligator, too. Wait, you've had raccoon? Ugh. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that one. You've had raccoon? Oh, man. Can you, can you call a raccoon a coon or that's like not right, right? That's not like good to say, right? You can't say that word, right? Cost of 10 cents. Well, dude, Jeff, the, the freaking cup probably costs a little bit too, right? The cup probably costs a penny or two at least, I'd imagine. But you know, like an 80 cents or whatever, like margin on soda just cannot be enough, in my opinion, to kind of quell the loss on other items. The fries are probably where they make the most money, bro. $5 for a large fries is criminal. Juanita says, want to date a lot. Almost grabbed your avatar, Juan. Down south would like to try out anything? Oh, no, Six. Let's not leave that up to interpretation here. <laughs> I'll try anything. I mean, I saw a video once of apparently, like, down south, some people, like, ride around, uh, highways and look for roadkill. To find some, like, free food. So they'll go around looking for roadkill. And I'm just like, man, so some people got lives that you just never could imagine living. Oh, nice, you got flair. And we got boba. How happy are you for the One Piece of Five Leaks? Uh, special rares and three mangas and the old guards are there's three mangas greg i didn't even know that all, all i know was the luffy manga there's three of them i didn't know that there's three of them coming okay well that's gonna be a brand new bag i'm hungry for a good hit <laughs> true aren't we all aren't we all They break even on the $1 menu and $1 drinks, make money on numbered meals. Well, right, but who buys the numbered meals? Those are so much more expensive. I don't think I've ever bought a, I mean, maybe like a Chick-fil-A, but other than that, like, I don't know anybody that buys numbered meals. Joe says 10 wild resurgence, no bulk. So Joe, I think last time you told me get any rid of anything that's an below an SR. So rare is in lower, right? And I think I did that for you, too. I made a note, and I did that for you in your bag as well. So, Joe, thanks for that. Let's grab you a fresh box. Which I have on handy right here, actually. There's two, and there's also a Lord of the Rings-style chase manga. Are drawn by Oda and Sign. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one that Matt sent to me. Yeah, cool. Two, four, six. You know what's funny is this is an SR. Okay, cool. I'm about to say, you might even want that box topper, then. Yeah, I guess that... Oh, no! Justin says, I'm one of the people that get the numbered items. Oh, goodness. Four, six, eight, ten. I mean, I guess that's true. Like, if you get, like, a numbered item chick like sandwich, it's usually going to be better quality than the num dollar menu stuff. So, I guess it makes sense. You got a, a more hearty sandwich. Man, that's crazy. So when you say Lord of the Rings style, you mean there's only one of them? Is that what you mean? There's only one of them? Drinking a nice beer. Hey, Captain Crunch, how's it going, man? All right, so Joe, let's get it, baby. So nothing below a rare is what you want, I think. That is a rare. Yeah, that's going to be hype. Rare. Three mangas. Someone told me earlier that apparently the Luffy is one uncommon, is one in 40 cases. Don't know how true that is, but that's crazy. Uncommon. Oh, here we go. SR Golden Frieza, Evolved Emperor.
one sword technique rare. Garlic Junior and another Garlic Junior. No, but it's like one out of five cases to pull it. Uh, I already seen someone pull one. The signed R Luffy supposedly one in five cases. Man, that's awesome. That's great. That means this new set's gonna be pretty hyped, hopefully. That's awesome. Bula. Power pull. Kind of sus. Oh, what do we got? And an SPR body resistance. Joe. That's a chase I can get behind. One in 40. Yeah, I mean, it sucks for a lot of people that are going to be chasing it. But I guess it does give you something worth chasing. Yeah, I mean, like, for instance, the Charger Hermosidian Flames is very easy to pull. So I guess it depends how you look at it. And then, Joe, I forgot to get you the free Booba, too. One, two, three, four. Koga. Shoko. Rio. And Mai. You ever think about getting all your subscribers together at a location and to get together to buy and trade? No, I can't say that's ever really crossed my mind, honestly. To be honest with you, I don't know if it'd be like a super big turnout. Because you gotta think, a lot of people might not be willing to travel hours for like an unsanctioned sort of trade event, you know? And the last thing I'd want is have some people travel long, long distances just to arrive and there's like no one there. <laughs> it's like empty. But I would, what I would most likely say is if you want to do something like that, just go to the next card party. Because I went to card party one, it was great. And I'm sure card party two is going to be even better. So I'd probably just say that. Michael N. says two Azor Lane, two Overlord, two of the random singles. Michael. Let's also grab you four boobas. One, two, three, four. Wow. Okay. So Logan, you're the next order in the queue. You're going to get the last booba. Cool. Two or random singles as well. Two Azure and two Overlord. There it is. The special rares are one per kit. Oh, nice. End of that Overlord box. Hang on. Yeah, uh, he's probably going to announce it when it's closer to it, for sure. All right, Mike. Let's see what you got. I'm going to have to pay to get that ship meow. <laughs> I can't believe I read it like that. Get that ship meow. Oh, goodness. AJ, what are you doing to me, man? What are you doing to me? Made intern. Get that ship right meow. Albedo. Some booba lane. Okay. Mike, let's see what you got. First up, we've got the booba free booba cards. And then out of the singles, we got a rare hot dogs, Japanese, and amazing rare Zamazenta. The hot dog. What's up, bro? I'm just playing Diablo 4. Oh, nice. Yeah, do you know, I've never actually played any Diablo games. Believe it or not, I've never played any Diablo. Which sounds silly because it's such a big game. Such a big game. Sorry to hang out with Stella too much. Dude, I should hang out with Stella more, if anything. Ooh, Logan with a hard gold soul silver. Three in the slab. Oh, wow, Logan. Thanks, dude. Holy buckets. Two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. So, Logan, 12 packs remain. Let's grab you three spots in the Slabby Patties. Or the Slab Gauntlet. This one. So, if you want to pick a pack, Logan, let me know. And I'll give you some spread numbers. I'll give you 11. Give you a 23. And 20. Logan says, you pick? Oh, man, Logan. 
We're gonna go doo -doo -doo, right in the middle and go with the Suicune. All right. So, Logan, you let me know. Way, no way, secret way. You let me know. In the meantime, let's look at your booba. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Got Sora, Rio, and Shoko. Nice. Okay, cool. So, those are for Logan. That is the end of all of the free booba that we got courtesy of the homie Tommy, who sent those in to be given away to you guys. So, Tommy, thanks again for that really, really generous uh, act that you did, man. And they are now officially done. Okay, cool. So Logan says, just rip it. Logan? Man, I feel like I, feel like I don't want to be wrong here, but there's three, right? Yeah, three to the front. Yeah. So no one here wants to trade for my booba. <laughs> You're already trying to trade it, man. You just got it, dude. Oh, I got a good feeling about this, Logan. I don't know why. I got a good feeling. Hopefully I'm right. Cheerleaders cheer. Plus power. Cedra. Cheruby. Natu. Ryolu. That's a nice one. Chin Chow. Vulpix. And oh, 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 and it's a Crobat Prime. And a Nine Tails. Nice. Oh man, that looks cool. I mean, it looks cool and creepy at the same time, right? <laughs> that's kind of the allure of it. Nice. Hell yeah, Logan. That's going to be our third Prime out of the box. Crobat Prime. Nice. Ooh, and that Ninetales rare is pretty solid too. I like that, man. We got a Ninetales and a Vulpix in the pack. Hell yeah. Pedro says six cents. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling we had one because, I don't know, you can just kind of tell sometimes. I have to explain, but you just kind of tell by the way the pack looks. Has anyone kept seal packs from the box? Yes. Maybe like four or five seal packs of, are, are still there for people, yeah. Was the credit I went earlier from you or did someone dono? Yeah, I, I it was from my pockets, yeah. If that's what you're asking, it was from my pocket, yeah. Hey, Trent, how's it going, man? Ooh, Logan, thanks so much for picking up in Heart Gold Soul Silva. And that was awesome. Joshua says five Scarlet and Violet. Drop the base. Joshua. Rip it like a vet. What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Hotham? I gotta warn warn any females that you're getting with Hotham. What the heck? You said rip it like a what? Great tusk. Six is anything works for me. Cloth. Hey, Robert, how's it going, man? And a full art spy ops. Rip it like what a vet? No, he did not say a vet. <laughs> he did not say a vet. And Quaquava. Joshua. And then Josh, you don't want your bulk either. Thanks so much. Josh with the Scarlet and Violet drop the bikes. Josh. Man, you know, I really should look in to see if there's any Japanese Shining Legend packs that have been graded yet. That might be pretty nice. Abraham with the last order in the queue says two Booba Lane and two Pokemon Waifus. Abraham.
All right, so Abraham, I'm going to give you a choice. Abraham, would you like me to shuffle these or just give you the next ones coming up? Because I haven't shuffled these tonight. They should be shuffled from last night, but... In case you're the first person to grab some right, Abraham, do you want me to shuffle these or you just want them as is? Ryan, chop liver over here? Sheesh! Why you chop liver? Shuffle. Okay, you got it. All right, so here we got your nice shuffle, two Pokemon Wifels, and two Booba Lane. Scarlet and Violet getting dusty? Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> yep, you're not wrong. Scarlet and Violet getting hella dusty. Okay, nothing crazy out of the booba lane. Let's see your Pokemon waifus. Oh, nice! Bro, you got a Marnie. Nice. And a cute Lily. All right, not bad cards there, Abraham. Nice. Yeah, I don't know, Abraham, if anything will ever compete or beat this one. Man, this is still probably my favorite card we saw out of all of them. There's a couple cards in there that are really nice, but that one in the front of your bag is so good. So, so nice. Cobra, you probably got like 10 apps running on your phone right now. Doesn't everybody, though? Doesn't everybody? Man, I wish the list was about 10, 15 deep. It's nice knowing there's a bunch of stuff about to be ripped. Dang economy. Yeah, Brennan, I agree. Yeah, I agree, but it's all right, man. Not every night can be like a, you know, fire gone crazy night. It just can't. That's all right. So what, Game Freak said they're slowing down on game releases? Are they going to... Did they say that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, to be honest with you, I haven't played any of like... I haven't really played a lot of the more recent Pokemon games, but I just feel like they haven't been the same. I don't know. Maybe I'm an old school person, so they're kind of hard, but... Yeah, I don't know. But I heard that, uh, their, didn't their latest Pokemon game, like, break the charts? I thought, like, the latest Pokemon game, like, sold the most copies, like, ever. Or something like that. Whoa! Cardboard, really? Cardboard just bought six ten packs of Obby Flames. Whoa. All right, six. These are for you. Coming in from Cabo. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Wow. All right, six. This is coming in from the boy Cabo. That's big. <laughs> His PP is working. It is. It is working. His PP just shot out $50. It is working. <laughs> Togekiss. Tyranitar. So I don't know what people are really that excited for coming up. I I'm personally very excited for the new One Piece set. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. 151 in about a month as well. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. I'm really excited just to crack a shit ton of UPCs. <laughs> I want to do it already, man. I want to crack a bunch of UPCs. I wish that during the celebration UPC time, when it was actually easier to get them, a lot cheaper, I wish I bought a ton more to rip. Because those Charizards, I know they're hard to grade, but in a PSA 10, those Charizards are going for an absurd amount of money. Like back then, you could have just ripped it, sold the Selly packs, you know, had the promos out of... You know, you still have to pay for them. You're not going to get your money back off the packs, but... Man, and then even if it grades like a 10, you're looking at huge returns. 9, you're looking at a big return. 8, you're looking at like a break even. Oh, here we go. CX with the fire energy. Nice. Norman says, come on, Zod. Houndour, Maridon. I 
I'm buying Sword and Shield wherever there are good spots. You mean singles? You talking singles, John? Or you talking sets? Like sealed sets. Togekiss. All right, so those are going over to Six Corrupted Art. And that was from Ka to the board. I think 2024 Mark will settle down with all the Scarlet Violet stuff. Yeah, I think the sets being a little, a little bit worse up, up, on top of MSRP going up by 50 cents, which honestly is pretty big. 50 cents times the whole booster box is $18 increase in MSRP. That's quite a bit. Yeah, I think it definitely hurts a little bit for Pokemon for sure. Oh, Brian! Brian, how's it going? Oh, Brian, save the stream. Brian wants a booster box of Kingdom of Intrigue. All right, Brian. This is where I throw my money. Well, how's it going, man? Uh, we got a couple gauntlets going on right now. Uh, this list right here is for three Japanese vintage packs, three winners off this list. This list is for this old art Rayquaza PSA 10 Japanese Blue Sky Stream. And this list right here is for five multi-hit, five PSA 10 slabs. Brian, you were just in time to save the stream, homie. How you doing today, man? If you like to pick, Brian, right, oops, right or left, you got to pick the one with the manga in it. Brian says, should we go left or right? You know, if you ask me, Brian, I would say go left. Reason why I say that is because the left box has a little like dent over here. And in my experience, like no joke, the boxes with a little bit of damage on them, like always somehow have the massive hit in it. I don't know why, but it always kind of turns out like that. So my, my, my advice would be left because this box is a little dent in it, but it's up to you. I'm pretty sure the only cards that I have graded this year have been from your stream. Oh, wow. Well, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. Let's do left. Okay, Brian, you got it. All right, so what do you guys think? Manga? I, pay, I put 30 bucks on whoever pulled a sign card and no one took up my offer. Man, those Unaga promos are really nice. I'm, I'm debating if I should just open up a bunch and grade them all. The white bear in the set is pretty nice. Dude, we've opened so much of this. I think I might have seen every card so far now besides the manga. The white beard is pretty dope. I know exactly the card you're talking about. It is pretty dope. White beard is just a dope character, period. You know, he's just a dope character, period. Hey, Chris, how's it going, man? Yeah, Whitebeard is an absolute champ. I got a Mewtwo Blight play today. Someone traded bull kits at the card shop. They wanted $40 for it. And I just checked TC Player and LP is going for 74 There you go. Yeah, bro. I don't know who the hell would sell a Mewtwo for $40. They're out of their minds. One pack of Shining Legends is like 30 35 bucks, And they sold the top hit in the set for $40. Unless it had some very clear damage on it. That person is silly. In my books. Brian, let's see the manga. Man, you know, I always say it, but these manga cards are no joke. Only ever pulled one so far. So it's been brutal. Hey, Satori, how's it going, man? Which Mewtwo? I'm pretty sure he's talking about the Mewtwo from Shining Legends, the Mewtube. The Mewtwo in like a test tube. Rebecca. Dude, it's just like, it looks like someone sat on it on the front. I uh, was meant 
has some writing, then he said 40. Oh, so it does have a little bit of whitening. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, dude. That's still pretty That's still pretty cheap, though, man. $40 for that card seems like a crazy price. I know PSA 10s are like hundreds of dollars. I guess it depends how bad it is, you know? Oh, awesome, brother. How was Japan, man? I've always wanted to visit. How was Japan, dude? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, that would be awesome. Yes, Corgi, that would be fantastic. Yes, I'm for that. I'm all for that. Jimbei. Yeah, I am all for that, honestly. Ooh, very nice. Vivi for the secret. Beautiful. It was great. Really hot and humid, though. Did you do any, like, you got any, like, card shops? Treble. That's not bad, Brian. I like the Vivi. Not bad. Ulti. Rock return slabs are so expensive, I'm browsing right now. Yeah, well, dude, because Rocket Returns is a crazy, crazy set. Boxes are so expensive. And from what I hear from other people, uh, you know, EX, the EX arrows weren't very popular. Like, back in the day, they weren't very popular. So they didn't really make much of it. So they say. I don't know if it's true or not, but so they say. Hey, Chip, how's it going? Oh, nice. Uh, my Japanese guy just sent me the tracking for my One Piece. So that's awesome. So, yeah, hopefully we'll have One Piece by, like, Monday. Monday stream, hopefully we'll have the new One Piece set. So that'll be really cool. Ooh, Nico Rubin. Man, I really like this art for her. And Frankie! I actually hate Frankie. Yeah, I, I'll say it. I hate Frankie, man. I do not like Frankie. Sorry for all the Frankie lovers in the chat. I just do not like Frankie. I never really did. And and especially with his English voice actor, it makes it sound even worse. So I'm not a big fan of Frankie, personally. I hate him too. Thanks. Yes, thanks. Six. I'm glad you, you said that because, oof, I don't really like him. And when I say that, people are like, you don't like Frankie, really? I'm like, yeah, man. Brian, not a bad box, Brian. Also, thanks for picking up a box tonight. Sorry I have no more promos to give out for free anymore. You ran out of them. But not a bad box with the Vivi. Yeah, yeah it's funny because it looks like she has a tr like a train track for a necklace. You know, Corgi, I think you were the only person to pull an Eevee. Yeah, I think we pulled more Umbreons than we pulled Eevees out of those promos, funny enough. Ramirio, this is five obsidian flames. Yeah, well, it's funny, Corgi, because you literally asked for it and you were the only person that got it. Only person that got it. And you might, were you like one of the first packs too? I think you were. So you really like kind of hit it, hit it out the park, because you know only one out of thirty is quite quite low. All right, Ramirio's going in for a snipe. It seems will it pay off? Toxtricity. But yeah, Unagaba promos will be back for sure. Already got a bunch ordered on the way, and I'll probably try to order more because I kind of want something to open myself as well to grade. And, ah, nice. The gorgeous Ninetales. Dude, like, if you were walking through a forest, like, here in America, and you saw this in the forest, bro, you'd be flabbergasted. You'd be like, oh, my God, that's a mythical creature. Looks so nice. Okay, Ramiro, not bad. Ninetales is a pretty nice card still, so it's not bad. 
Last one in here, cookie Nagra set. Yeah, I believe the Umbreon goes for the most. I don't even think Eevee's like that expensive. So the fact that we only pulled one of them is kind of crazy. And then Korean Eevee Heroes, I think, is scheduled to be back in stock tomorrow as well. I know a lot of people are waiting on Korean Eevee Heroes as well. Cardboard says not enough hits. Five more for six. Oh my god, Cardboard, you are balling on a balling out tonight, man. Jeez. I feel like the Naga uh, promo sets, you have to get Central 10s. You know, Mike, you're not, you're not, you know, you could definitely get nines, but yeah, I hear you on that. Like a sequ sequential tens would be awesome, but the, the Unaga promos are pretty easy to grade. A lot, the pop on the tens are really high. Scizor. Is Cardboard sniping right now? Well, Cardboard is sniping on behalf of six, it seems, because Cardboard bought these packs for six. Villain. Plato. I was looking at comps on some of the Unagaba stuff. Man, dude, I saw a Beckett Black label go for like $700. And to be honest with you, I feel like those cards are pretty easy to get a black label in. They're like pretty, all of them are really nice made. So, I don't know, dude. Maybe I ought to send a shit ton of them to Beckett. I haven't graded to Beckett in, like, years. Damn, six! I don't know what to say, six! Got Reverum with his tongue out. Yeah, that was tough. I don't know. That was kind of tough. Jamie says one Japanese Scarlet and Violet and Clay Burst and Snow Hazard. So we got Scarlet. I think we need a new box of Violet. Yeah, we got Snow Hazard here. Do we need a new box of Playbird? Nope. Okay. So yeah, let's get you a new box. Awesome. All right, Jamie, you got it. We're going to grab a new box of, uh, Scarf. Not in order of the card numbers, so no, I... Ah, yeah, that's true, Mike. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about that, but you're right. You're right. I guess in theory, you should grade them, like... On re in release, like Pokedex order, basically. Okay, Jamie, let's see what you got, man. I like this. We got one of one of everything, really. Going for a snipe, hopefully. One clay burst. One snow, and last but not least, one violet. That box is prime six. How much is left? Well. About half a box. So maybe like 16 packs or something. Hey, Jennifer, how's it going? Happy Thursday. All right, Jaime. Jama, Jaime, Jaime. Assistant, she pulled a sig. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. Mobestive. What gauntlets are happening? Ah, uh, Jen, we've got a multi-vintage Japanese gauntlet, multi-slab gauntlet, and an old Dark Rayquaza. So I'll show them to you right after this. And Arboliva. Jamie. Jamie.
Pumped OnlyFans? Pumped OnlyFans. So, Jen, you'll notice that I actually now have printouts for the list, so that's really cool. It's no longer just my chicken scratch. Uh, but this is a PSA 5, PSA 10 gauntlet, so five winners off that, 27 spots. And here are the slabs, PSA 10 Steelix, Magnemite, Magneton, Jumpluff, and Rockets Hitmonchan. So some pretty nice cards in here. So that is the 5 PSA 10 Japanese Hollow Gauntlet. That's this list right here. Five winners. Then we've got the Old Dart Rayquaza out of 30. Seeming there's like less than half the spots left. So that's pretty nice. And then the 3 Vintage Japanese Gauntlet. Which is Fossil, Neo Genesis, and Rocket. And three winners off that list as well. And that's out of 34. Those are the three gauntlets. And then tomorrow, we have our Japanese Shining Legends box break, which is going to be $85 a pack. And that's going to be tomorrow. Lionel says, let's grade the Umbreon Unaga promo. Wow, okay. Lionel, you got it, man. Oh, and Lionel also wants 10 of the random singles. Cool. So, Lionel, let's get your Umbreon ready to get graded first, and I'll grab your singles. How's everyone doing? <laughs> We've been waiting for you, Jen. You did just miss some Kingdom of Intrigue that we opened up. Got a Vivi. Awesome. Okay. Slano, you are all set. Umbreon will be going out for grading. Let me just make sure I quickly add you to the spreadsheet. Awesome. Okay, cool. Slano, you are all set. Umbreon going out for grading. And let's get you those singles. Single. Apollo, yeah, that's right. The Hitmonchan is really nice. Out of the last pack, too. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We also opened up a head. We opened up two heavy base set packs today. Got a Magneton. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Steelix, Heatran, Rowlet, Zashin, Kingler. Indeedy, a Sfeel from 2012. Okay, cool. I don't even know what set that is. Maybe like St Plasma Storm, maybe? I don't even know. Rayquaza. Oh, Lionel! This is a nice one. That is from EX Team Rocket Returns, and that is Rockets Me Out. Okay, that is a sick one, bro. Whoa. That is really nice. Rockets Meowth from EX Rocket Returns. That's a big one. Lionel, that's a big card, man. That actually should have been in a top loader to begin with. That is really nice. Woo. You love to see it, baby. Ivan, what's up, dude? Yeah, I want to say like about 16 left. Let's also send a message back to this guy and just say thanks. Thanks for the tracking number. Uh, no, Meowth card is not a hollow. Nope. Up next, Brandon T's in the house. Five pillars of strength and four random singles. Brandon T, you've got it. You got it, dude. Brian says, but more to come? Sheesh. All right, so Brandon, let's get you those four random singles out of here. Bro, I swear Sunfan about to pop in. Sunfan might be here, but he's been watching a lot of One Piece. <laughs> he's been watching a whole lot of One Piece. Wow, everyone in the queue is getting Obsidian Flames. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. Piranhas, I tell you. Piranhas. Okay, Brandon, let's get something nice. 
So Pillars of Strength, we're looking for the Usopp. And let's try to get it. Ezo. It's probably taken from me. Obsidian Flames is so cruel. Yeah, it's gonna be sad if the next orders or two just snipe the Charizard <laughs> for sure. Spittle, spittle. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Koro Koro Django. What's going on with only flames? Uh, not much. Just a couple of bad, bad packs so far. As people are assuming the box is really hot, which it could be. Oh, what do you got in this one? Bleno and Krieg. I'm old Greg. <laughs> I wonder if anyone in the chat remembers that or watched that as a kid. I'm old Greg. The little like swamp guy. I'm old Greg. All right, I'll stop saying it. And four of the random singles. Oh, Dolive. Alchemy. Nick it. And, oh, energy. Ooh, here we go. Brandon T sniping an energy. So, Brandon, that could be any of these cards right here, my friend. That could be any of these. All right, let's see what you got. On the energy, Brandon T sniping the Raikou. Nice. So, that is a Raikou Hollow from Japanese Neo Revelation. That is amazing. Nice. For five bucks, that is a steal and a half. That's literally a steal. Nice. Old Greg is where I got my Scale Man fish. Oh, there you What's up, Scaly? I'm glad you know about that, bro. I used to watch that like more than I care to admit. I'm Old Greg. That was really, really funny. I'm Old Greg. That one, there was uh, Candy Mountain, Charlie. Candy Mountain. They stole my liver. And then, of course, you can't forget later on, we got Salad Fingers. There's some other stuff, too. Yeah, exactly. YouTube in its rise. I agree, bro. This was back when YouTube was, like, still fledgling, you know? Kind of crazy to think about that. Ramirio says four obsidian flames. Yeah, the pony uh, with like Charlie. They, they had a couple episodes too with that with the ponies. A couple episodes with that. Happy Tree Friends was another big one too. Here, try to quickly move some cards off the table. Let's see what's inside of your obsidian flams. Crack fox hunts. Crack fox. Oh. Oh. Oh, this could be it. This could literally be it. Oh, and it's the Gita. S I R. Coming in for Mirio. Gita. I want to go for a split to go into a box of obsidian. Sheesh. Palmot. <laughs> yeah, hot to stop it, cardboard. Thunderous. I don't know, Jesse. I think there is a way to tell. I think if you do like at somebody and then if their name pops up in the chat i think that means they're here i think so i feel like there is a way to check i can't verify that but i feel like that is true if you like do at their username and it pops up that means they're here i think if it doesn't pop up that means they're not here i think could be wrong though nice ramirio sniping out the gita hey pokejean what's up pokejean says good luck Hato says, I'll take five obsidian. Hmm. 
All right, Hotham. Let's see what you get. Five Obby Flames. Hey, Pug, how's it going? He says, Bob, Batman, Spider Man. Do I remember that? There was definitely some like Spider Man, Batman thing going on as well when I was a kid. I don't remember it very much though. There was something like that. And date. Sun fan hasn't donated in a few streams, so as his best friend, I have to try and make up for it. No, not at all, dude. No, not at all, man. Don't think like that at all. Belly bolt. I remember gifting subs to Rusty Chat a while back and caught you lurking. <laughs> That's possible. It's definitely possible. I mean, I watch TCA whenever I can. Thing is, is usually when he's live, I'm also live. Like, so like, you know, he'll be live and then I'll be go live like 10, 20 minutes after usually. So I'll be there like like the first like five, 10 minutes as I'm getting my stream ready, but then I got a dip. So yeah, definitely. TCA is the man, bro. I used to watch TCA gaming before I was even like really into Pokemon. Like, I remember, like, finding my old cards and trying to do some research, and TCA... So, TCA, Gem Mint, and SM Pratt were, like, some of the three YouTubers that I, like, started watching when I first got back into collecting again. So, I'm... This guy's... You know, he's massive. He's basically, like, a Pokemon celebrity, if there even is one. Trevor! Says number 17 on the PSA 10 gauntlet. Okay, Trevor, you got it, man. Thanks for joining. Number 17. Then we've got Jennifer, who says, Can I get a spot in the Vintage Pack Gauntlet? Can I choose a number? Yeah, sure, Jennifer, for sure. If you ever want to pick a number, Jen, you could just put it in your note. Uh, but for now, just let me know which number you'd like on the Vintage Pack Gauntlet. So that's this list right here. See, I don't know. Maybe I could edit it to where there just is no numbers down here, so there's nothing to cross out, but it was easier just to make, like, a template, I guess, and cross them out. 24. Okay, Jen, you got it. 24. Six is up next with four only fans. Oh, six. You're hopping back in it. Four obsidian flames. But yeah, the other thing too, Justin, especially like, like I said, like if I'm like getting ready to stream or something or I'm working on shipping, talking in people, other people's streams can just not be a good idea because <laughs> then you get sucked into a conversation when you really ought to be like working, you know? So yeah, I usually lurk. I'm a lurky lurk stuff. THC? <gasps> Jennifer! You smoking that devil's lettuce? Toad screw. <gasps> she said THC. <laughs> Gita. Oh, six. Come on, man. What is this? What is this? Going in for the homies, six. <laughs> That's my girl, Jen. Jamie says for two Scarlet, two Snow Hazard, seal. Oh, okay. So you want two Japanese Scarlet and two Japanese Snow Hazard, both seal. All right, Jamie, we can do that for you. Auto type, right? Right, but your phone will generally, like, you know, use some sort of, like, AI to, like, kind of, based on your past messages, it'll try to autocorrect to words you frequently used. So that means Jennifer has been putting out THC in her phone a lot. And I think Jennifer told me she runs, like, a bakery or something like that, or some food business. So maybe, maybe Jen's out here making infused desserts. Maybe. <laughs> All right, Jamie, you got it, man. So we got you two sealed of each going into your bag. Jamie.
Cardboard says Hotham's a grouch. Credit for a members only giveaway? Bro, Cardboard, why are you giving away so much money today, bro? What is going on? Cardboard, what is going on, dude? Robert M says two, ruler of the black flame. Cardboard, are you are you being uh forced into all these giveaways, bro? Or what's up? I gotta like ask. I gotta double check. Are you okay? Are you drunk? Are you being held hostage? What's going on here? I love Star Universe, bought a whole case, my wife is gonna kill me. Well, I mean, if you got it at a good price, it should be a good hold, man. Like, every special set that's ever came out has done really well. Like, Tag Team All-Stars, I remember buying those for $60 a box. They're now $600 a box. Literally went up by freaking 10. 10 times. Then, um, Shiny Star V is almost at, like, $180, $200 a box. That's been going up a lot. Uh, VMAX Climax is kind of following the same trajectory. So, you know, they're all been doing really well. How many are left in that box? Not much, Robert. We've got... Five. Five left in this open box. I have all the ARs and V-Service are set. Oh, wow, Piazza, that's really dope, bro. Yeah, that's sick. That would look really nice in a frame, yeah. That is sick, actually. I finally paid myself in the lounge for three months, feeling good. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, cool, yeah. Well... You know, I'm no tax advisor, Cardboard, but, you know, generally what people try to do is live off your business kind of like through the right means, and then all the money you make, you don't actually pay yourself with. You just use it to buy more stuff for the place. That way it's like tax-free money anyways, but I I'm not the right person to talk to about that. Maybe talk to CPA, but I don't know. Ramirio says two, ob oh. two Obsidian Flames. It was gathered tips. Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. 1.7 and there's 20. So like 85 or something a box. It's not bad. It's not bad. But speaking of bad, Ramirio ending off that box with just some bulky. All right, so let's go ahead and let's quickly do our $25 members only giveaway. This is courtesy of Cobbled, and he just sent in $25 to re-gift to one lucky member. So to sign up for this credit, all you gotta do is make sure that you are one, a member to the channel, two, that you're subscribed, three, that you've liked the stream tonight, and then four, put a BR in the chat. That sounds like a lot of steps. Sub, like, be a member, and put a BR in the chat. That's better. No legend. No legend yet, Soren. Nope, no legend yet. Three primes, zero legends so far. Three primes, zero legends. Yo, John! Damn, John. Thanks, bro. Whoa. Damn, son. John, that was very kind of you, John. Very, very kind of you, man. Thanks for the five gifted, bro. Legend might be in someone's sealed pack, shake my head. It's true. It's true. But the last time we did a Heart Ghost or Silver break, it was Heart Ghost or Silver Undaunted. And I know for facts that we pulled two legends. And I and, and I know for a fact it was either four or five primes. So four or five primes and two legends out of one box. So so far, we've gotten three primes, and that's about it. So there could still be two legends and another one or maybe two primes lurking in like what? Ten packs? Two, four, six, eight. 10, 11 packs left, yeah. I don't know, I feel like the odds are pretty good, honestly. For some reason, I can't join this. That's right, Isaiah. Unfortunately, this giveaway is members only. Yeah, members only. 
Alrighty, guys. Good luck. What is this for? Streams made it for me. This is for $25. $25 store credit. I think you might understand that, even though you're muted. Is it gonna work? There we go. Alrighty, guys. Good luck. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Wordle Justin B. All right. Hey, Kern, how you doing? Don't lock the window late at night. You might catch a gnar. Dude, especially with that beard gnar, you might scare someone, dude. <laughs> you might scare someone. Awesome. Okay, so Justin, you've got yourself a $25 store credit courtesy of Cardboard Robot. Oh, we got Ronald in the house with two unbroken bonds. Holy buckies. All right, Ron, this is kind of nice. Let's do it. We don't see unbroken bonds very often. Rainbow Charizard. Man, I missed the actual battle because I was taking a taking a, a bathroom break. <laughs> a bathroom break. Hackens, Misdrevious. And we got the Wiggly. The Wigglinator. Come on, unbroken bonds. Ratata. And, oh, gold. Ooh, what the heck is this? A beast bringer? All right, we'll take it. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that supposed to be like a, uh, like a land trap or something? Like a bear trap? What the hell is that? You have exactly six prize Pokemon card remaining. If your opponent activates Pokemon GX, Pokemon EX is knocked out. Take one more prize card. All right. Beast Bringer. We'll take it, though. That's a goal. We'll take it. For my own Ronald. Ron says, I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing. I mean, it's a gold, right? Golds are pretty hard to acquire. That's not bad, actually. Not bad. Lionel says, 10 brilliant stars from the bundle. Oh, cool. Lionel, that's good. So, Lionel, if you pull an old art out of these packs, four, six, seven, I will grade it for you for free. That's the awesome thing about the tins. Let me grab you some more, because I do need some more. more people don't hop on the bundle packs the grading your old darts deal i think is just so good it's hard to pass up so i'm surprised not well it was really popular at first i don't say it anymore but two four six seven that could be why but yeah the tin bundle packs are a great deal you pull an old dart you get it graded for free 
Because I normally charge $50 to get it graded through value. You pull one, you get it graded for free. Four, six, eight, ten. Okay, Lionel. All this talk about free grading. We got to pull you an old star for that to be the case. Let's do it. How does this crown thing work? Well, if you're a member of the channel, you get a crown next to your name that like evolves the longer you've been a member and your name gets put in green. The actual crowns, the currency, uh, is just how many stream points you have and you can use those to buy new avatars. Okay, Lionel, show me something sweet in YouTube. Lucario. Dredagon. Yeah, I mean, dude, if you keep it sealed, I, I think you'll see, you'll be happy about this. Is this missing a reverse? It sure is, Jesus. Tornadoes. Derek says, getting shafted. Yeah, right now we kind of are, unfortunately. More Peko. Come on, Lionel. We need some of that Umbreon luck. Bro, what's going on? A couple of these have been missing a reverse. That's terrible. Especially on a set like this. Because the reverse actually matters. Because you can get trainer gallery cards in the reverse spot. Ice Q, Haxorus. Honestly, boost? Yeah. I mean, you're, you're right in that train of thought, bro. I think so as well. Yeah, I think so as well. Hard to say, like, the time frame on it, but... I think so as well. All right, so Lionel, that was kind of bad, and I feel bad because some of your packs was just error packs that were missing a reverse. So I'm gonna do for you, Lionel. I'll throw you one more for free, just because I feel bad. Two packs are missing a reverse is kind of unlucky. So I'll grab you one more, the Hail Mary, and it did not help out. Oh, I tried, Lionel. I tried, man. It's the thought that counts. I tried. else i guess you know i mean i've seen people pull two old darts in 10 packs i've seen people pull zero old darts in like 20 packs so they're just like really random really really random brian a says one more because why not brian so brian we got you another box of the one piece let me know if you want to pick your box right or left Do I have Box of Fusion? I do. Yes, Justin, I do. I do. So, Boost. This is a really good example of not last year's, but like three years ago this set came out. Right, so it was V-Star, uh, V-Max Climax, Shiny Star V, and then Tag Team. So, four years ago. This was the high-class set for the end of the year, Tag Team All-Stars. I used to sell these for like $100 a box. Now these are like $600. And it's only been like four years. So, you know, I mean, I don't know, bro. It's a, it's a good idea. If you got the extra income and you'd rather put, you know, like two grand into like a Pokemon seal case, I think that's a, I think that's a good choice. All right. So Brian is going with the right box this time. Are you sitting on seal prod yourself? Of course. Yeah, of course. One of those packs? Well, a booster box for that now is like $500 to $600. There's only 10 packs in it. So, you know, you're looking at like $50, $60 a pack if you were to buy the whole box. If you were to buy like one pack loose, probably pay a premium compared to buying it in bulk. But yeah, so those are expensive. When I look at something for collectability and investing, especially, you really the number one thing you got to think about is are people going to want to open this? That's the number one thing. Because yes, it's true that most Pokemon products do go up in price over time, but just because it goes up in price doesn't mean you're going to find a buyer, right? 
Like, if you look at, like, Sword and Shield base boxes on TCG Player, yeah, they're, like, almost $200. But they only sell, like, oh. Ooh, an alt art crocodile. That's kind of cool. I like the sand effect there. Nice. But, you know, if you look at, like, uh, base, you know, only, like, two boxes, if that, sell a month on TCG Player. So, it's like, there's not a huge buyer pool for that set. Even though it's gone up in price, you know, there's not many people looking to buy a Sword and Shield base box. So. Crocodile. Any thoughts on different Korean sets besides EV Heroes? You know, I'll be honest. I, I don't think the Korean sets are super investable. I think the reason why, you know, people even are opening up Korean sets in the first place is because English just got into expensive. But when the next English set rolls around that's a lot more affordable and has cool cards in it, no one's going to want Korean anymore. So Korean kind of only serves the purpose of, you know, filling the gap between, like, enjoying opening cards and not paying an arm and a leg for it. And as soon as another option comes that's affordable with great cards in it, no one's going to open up Korean anymore, is, is my thought. So no, I wouldn't be super, uh, super excited about investing in Korean boxes myself. Jimbei. A lot of people actually enjoy VMAX Samax. Doing very well. Yeah. Well, Boost, the nice thing about them is they come with God Packs. So, like, pulling a God Pack in those sets is just unreal. Unreal. Yo, Miguel, what's up? How you doing, Miguel? We got baby. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can't really think of any other sets that'd be really cool to carry in Korean. Uh, I carry some Yu-Gi-Oh! Korean stuff, like LOB, that's pretty sweet. I would say even then, the gap for that's kind of closed now because the 25th anniversary is available, which kind of makes a little bit more sense now. Those Pokemon 151 Korean? Nah, I wouldn't even bother, bro, because English, English 151 is a month away. So why even bother with Korean 151, you know what I mean? At least that's that's how I look at it. Because one month's time, no one's going to want the Korean. Because now you have Japanese and English available. And English is going to hopefully be pretty pretty available, I hope. I just think Korean's really fun to rip. I don't think Korean's like a super crazy niche investable market, you know? Big Mum. Anyone else got any questions in the chat? I'd be happy to answer any questions. If you guys get any random Pokemon questions, real life questions, uh, give me them. Give me some questions. Cavendish. Want to battle the Brilliant Star bundles, 25 each? I think if we did the bundles acid, I would appreciate it if we did at least 10 packs a person. Because those bundles are meant to be sold as 10. Sabo. So, like, if people wanted to do bundle battles, I'd be happy to do it. But it'd be 50 to enter, 10 packs a person, and I will still grade any and all ult arts for free for the winner. Which is pretty nice. You think Koreans like buying Korean cards? I mean, I would assume so, but you know, you're not in, unless you're in Korea, it's gonna be a harder market to kind of get into. Let's sell it on eBay International, you know what I mean? Did you stock up on those Silver Tempest God cases? I did not. No, I did not. I just didn't think it was really necessary, to be honest with you. Especially because if you buy a, if you buy a case of the tins and then the packs inside are not God packs or whatever, like, you know, God Silver Tempest packs, and you just wasted a bunch of money, <laughs> to be honest. So unless I have, like, a confirmed source that are guaranteed to be, like, the God tins, then I probably wouldn't bother. Unless it's a, too big of a risk. 
Shipping in for matter. Uh, just depends, boost. Yeah, it just depends, man. How big it is, how heavy it is, how many boxes in the case, what service you use to get it shipped. Depends on a lot of stuff, so I have no clue. I just pay the shipping, whatever the guy tells me. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna argue the shipping with him. Brian! No manga, baby! I wanna, I really want a manga so bad, man. John says, one fusion tin using my credit for the remainder, please. No bullet. Can we put the 151 EX Zard from 151 in my grade bag? One fifty one Charizard in my grade bag. Let's see, is it in here? Well, let's see what's in here first. So this is the grade bag right here, John. Mewtwo, Penny, Merriam. Wow, you got some nice stuff, John. Raichu, Charizard, Magnemite, Ditto. I hope so. It's been a lot of cases, Brian. We are like on our like fourth case, I think now. It's getting deep and still no manga on King of Intrigue. It's kind of tough. But if we can pull the Steamboat Willy, then I'm sure we can pull the manga. Just need some more time, you know? Gotta prime it up a little bit more. He says, Charizard EX from 151. Not in this bag. I think Japanese Obsidian Flames. Well, let's see. This is the last bag. I haven't come across yet. This, is... this one? I'm moving to Korea. Oh, are you really? You're moving to Korea, man? So, John, I think you're talking about this one, right? Honestly, Panta, I don't even know how to do that, brother. I honestly don't even know how to do that, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how to raid somebody. I don't. Okay, but then, John, let's get you those 10 fusion using some of your credito. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, I don't actually know how to raid somebody on the YouTube side of things, because I know you can raid somebody and have it auto-direct to their channel after the video's done. Don't actually know how to do that. But I'm, I'm okay to learn. I'm happy to learn if someone knows. Man, you're moving, you're moving to Korea from where? So where are you now, and you're moving to Korea? Double toxicity. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, John. Is this it? Ah, oh, full art Genesect. Damn, that was kind of close. Damn, that was kind of close. Snom. Cinderace. Oh, so, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, it's super thick. Super, super thick on the left. No, but if I did, I would start slanging some... Cr oh, another shot. And wow, he does it. He absolutely does it. Nice, John. There you go. Eh, not too bad. It's a little bit off center, but not by much. That could still probably slide as a 10. Yeah, a little bit thinner on this side, a little bit thicker over there. Nice. So, John, that's really great. So, if you want, I'll grade that for you for free. If not, I'll give you $25 store credit instead if you want, or I can grade it for you. Nope, Alex, no gauntlets have run yet. Nope. Do trio. Ever watched Megan? No. I don't think so. And Yveltal. 
All right, nice, John. Not bad, man. Old Art Celebi basically means you you did really good on the order, man. So just let me know what you want, John. I could grade that for you for free, or I'd give you $25 or a credit instead of grading it. Whichever you choose. So also, John was the last order in the queue. If anyone else would like to get anything opened up tonight, feel free to place the order if you guys want. If not, though, we'll start doing our Enderstream giveaway. And maybe I should... Can we swap? Yeah, sure. John, sure. Do you know what card you want to do, John? Any Unabas? Hey, Brayden, sold out. Yeah, we sold out of all of them tonight already. I am going to get another restock of them, hopefully by Monday, though, so I'll have more pretty soon. So yeah, John, just say the word and we'll swap it, alright? Man, that Magnite's, that Magnemite's pretty damn dope. Yeah, it's a tough call. I don't know. Um, Marion might not be bad. Magnemite, Charizard's a pretty good choice, too. It's a little bit off-center, though. Kind of thick on the right side, I'd say. So maybe Charizard will be a 9. I don't know, man. Maybe I go Magnemite, dude. I might go Magnemite. Personally, I go Magnemite. Charmeleon, really? Okay. I realize I probably can't join the stream tomorrow. Can you keep my Shadow Legends pack sealed for now? Yeah, yeah, Alex, for sure. For sure. So, John, you're positive you want the Charmeleon. I guess you could always switch it out if you like. But for now, I guess we'll get you a grade ready. For the kid. Okay, cool. John, sounds good, man. You got it. All right, so Charmeleon will be going out to get graded on your behalf. Nice. Yeah, John, no problem, brother. Congrats on the old art, man. Yeah, like I said, the, the whole tin bundle deal is insanely good. So I don't know <laughs> how long we could do it for, but I'm going to do it as long as we can. Why not? All right, so John, let's get your name down on the spreadsheet, and you are all set. Awesome. Okay, cool. John, there you go. Cam Whoa, Cameron with a box of the V-Star. Holy buckets, Cam. How you doing, Cam? All right, Cameron. I haven't seen you in a while, Cameron. Let's get it, baby. V-Star Universe, if you want to pick your box. Okay, we do actually have a bag for you already. We're just going to add to it. I remembered one night back in 2016 when I dreamt of Celebi having an evolution as hot and feminine as Gardevoir. Boy, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you said that you remember a night in 2006 where you had a dream that... Anyways, anyways. Yeah, anyways. We'll leave it at that. All right, Cameron, let's do it, baby. Speaking of God packs, can we do it? <laughs> I remember one day back in 20, 2001 where I dreamt that Marnie was actually not 18. Can you believe it? <laughs> can you believe it? I had a dream that Marnie was actually of age. Can you believe it, guys? Samurai. Hey, Grant, how's it going, dude? Man, I really wish, I really, really wish that my Shiny Legend box got here today. So for those who don't know, we are doing a Japanese Shining Legends box break tomorrow night. It's $85 for a pack, and I am super excited. I have not opened up Shiny Legends Japanese before in my life, and the box looks sick, the packs have a sick art on them, and the cards are just very cool too. So hopefully tomorrow night we'll pull a Mewtwo, which I think is like a $2,000 card in a 10, so hopefully we'll do that. Oh, here we go! 
And Articuno into the Samurott Secret Rare. Samurott. I just got back over from the bar. There's an incredible thing. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Grant, sounds like you had fun, man. Hell yeah. Free Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> you want a Scarlet and Violet base? Girl, but I feel like we can make that happen. Maybe another month, though. How about that? You got to keep enabling a little bit longer to get it. <laughs> Garantina. <laughs> Do you get discounts with PSA rating, raring based on your customer tier? No, Ward, I get no discounts from PSA. I think the only way to get a discount from PSA is to be an official PSA middleman, like on their website. But to be honest with you, I don't grade enough cards to really do that or to have that. So no, I don't get any special deals from PSA. I pay the same price anyone else would. Oh, here we go. And, ooh, okay, we got Mrs. Jugs. Cooking up some pancakes. Very nice. What a triplet pack right there. That was nice. Mrs. Jugs. I can actually remember a lot when I was younger. Garber was my one of my childhood crushes, and so did a Celebi Evolution that I dreamt of. All right. Well, it's each their own, I guess, right? What are the barcodes on PSA for? You can scan them, and it basically is a barcode of their serial number. So, like, some people that have a lot of PSA slabs, they inventory them by using a scan gun, and they just scan the barcode, and it, you know, will pop up the number in, like, Excel or wherever the hell you're trying to make a list in. So, it's just a certain number, but in a barcode. Get Athena. Nice, Cameron. That was a pretty good box, bro. I know we didn't get a god pack, but we got three secrets. The energy, the trainer, and the samurai. So that was good in my books. I like that. That was a good box. Do a box break of Darks of Blaze that said it's better than evolving? Brayden, I know you're straight joking right now. I know you are straight joking. No way you're saying that with a straight face. No way. Cameron. Japanese more expensive than English or Shining Legends? It sure is, Dan. Yup, it sure is. Nice art. Yeah, of course. Of course. Cameron, dude. Thanks for the order tonight, man. Of course. Ward says 10 fusion, 10 brilliant out of the tins. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. All right, Ward, let's see if the Ultar luck will strike again. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ward. Darkness of Blaze is dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. We got an upside down Shaman. Yo, Trent, have an awesome night, man. Trumpet. How's it going? Hey, Jake, what's up, man? Granble. So, Ward, I'm sure you already know. You pull an old dart out of any of these 20 packs, and I'll grade it for you for free. Free, free, free. Flareon. No, Jake, the Neo pack break has not gone off, and I know you've been waiting forever. So, Jake, if you do want to swap, switch out of it, I totally get it. Let me know. We can do that for you if you want to wait longer. But it, it, no one's joined it for like a week or two now. So if you want to swap out of it, man, you have every right to. Ooh. Rainbow Kindler. Any more sleeves? Did I send it twice by accident, Sauger? Had an error the first time. Uh, well, let me see. I think I only saw one Orphan. Let me check. Yes, Ward, I do see two orders from you, Ward. Yep, I do see two orders. So you have another one, Ward, that's the same exact order. Yep. Trubius. Then okay, Jake, sounds good, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'll try to I'll try to do a better job of advertising for it, because it's been a while. I'll do a 151 box battle if we have four players. We could do that. We could do that.
or er, Shifu. You know what? I'll keep it. I'll see you now. Feeling lucky. Oh, okay, Ward. Sounds good, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, Ward. Appreciate that. Because every time I got a refund in order, uh, I don't, you know, PayPal just keeps that fee. Oh, oh, what is this? Nice, Ward. That is sick. Now, that is not an old dart, so that does not get you free grading, but man, oh man, that is a nice hit. That is a very nice hit. Love me some Umbreon. Yeah, so it'd be four players, five packs each, $55 for a player. Four players are needed. All right, not bad, man. 10 brilliant stars. I get you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Sheesh, bro. That was good. All right. Now let's move on to Fusion. We got some good pulls. We need an ult art. You know, I got to say, I feel like Fusion's been hitting a lot more ult darts than the Brilliant Stars has been. So Fusion's definitely the, the one. Genga! The band was called Chu. Achoo! Levani. Parade seem broken. Yeah, well, I guess you also gotta consider that Brilliant has that really nice trainer gallery, so some packs you actually get two hits in, which kind of makes up for some lost packs. Metapod. Into the Butterfree. You guys, hey, Jonah, how's it going, man? Chandelier. These are still the tin bulk minus the EV packs. Yes, Ward, that is correct. Yep, these are all coming from the stacking tins from Costco. A co actually, two people separately on the Discord, I guess, bought out their Costco. <laughs> they took the evolving sky packs, sold them or did whatever the hell they want, opened them, whatever it was, and they were like, hey, I got so many fusion, so many brilliant left over. Will you just buy them from me? So I was like, all right, why not? The price is pretty good. But as a result, yes, these are not from booster boxes. They're just from the stacking tins. And I think one of the guys said he had some from the other. Some sort of, they're all Costco products. So some sort of Costco product these all came from. But yeah, I didn't open these myself, but I got them from two people in the community that I've known for a long time. So I'm sure they're all legit. And we pulled tons of old darts out of them so far. So no reason to believe they're like tampered with or anything like that. Not bad, Ward. No old dart, but not bad pulls, especially out of the um, Brilliant. The Brilliant run is pretty good. We got in here. Oh, nice. You got the Eevee and a gold Garatina. Nice. From the Shenandoah. Lionel says another try with the Brilliant Star Tin Bundle. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Lionel. Ten. Okay, Lionel. Offer still on the table, of course. You pull an old dart. I grade it for you. Claw Fable. Oh, suddenly the tin packs are hot. Oh, very nice. There we go. Sylveon from the Trainer Gallery. That's a really nice pull. Not an old dart, but a very nice pull. What's the most common behavior of aging dogs? Ah, uh, getting lazy, I guess. Getting lazy, perhaps? Honch crow. It seems Brilliant is hitting. Yeah, so Brilliant has been getting us a lot of hits, just not ult darts. Fusion, not many hits, but more ult darts than Brilliant. So kind of weird. Brilliant, more overall hits, but Fusion, more overall ult darts, it seems. Urshifu. Another Urshifu and the Mimikyu. Nice double banger there. I'm not really a big fan of Urshifu. Nothing against him, but not really the coolest. F 
Oh, and fetched. Come on, Lionel. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. Lionel! No, dude. No. All right, all right. Full art, Raichu. Still a cool pull. Not an old dart, though. God damn, Lionel. These are a lot of hits, my guy. Calm down, Lionel. Leave some for the rest of us. Shaman. Raichu's a good pull, though. It is a good pull. But, you know, the whole full art, old art lookalike thing got me with the blue balls. And, dude, you might have got more than 10 hits out of your 10 packs. This is nuts. What the heck did I just look at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hits out of 10 packs, Lionel. What the F, dude? <laughs> what? Jesus Christ. Yeah, Brilliant is absolutely slapping. Just waiting for a nice ult art. I mean, I don't know. The more hits you get, you would think the more, like, chances you get at an ult art. But, man, that was crazy. God tins? Kind of seems like it, man. That was really nice. Nine hits out of ten packs, bro. What other set is that happening in? None. None of them. We should do a quiz again. Oh, the quiz is a lot of fun. We haven't done a quiz in a while. I would be down. I would definitely be down. Up next, we've got Brayden. He says two clay burst, two Rula, and a 151. Uh, hey, Curtains. Uh, we have a chilling rain battle that John is in. Although, I'll be honest with you, I don't think that's going to fill tonight. Doesn't seem very popular. That's $36 to enter. And if people do want to do any other battle, I'm more than happy to start a new battle as well tonight. Your mail's already here? Oh, wow, Max. Nice, bro. Make sure you crack that puppy open, dude. You had some really, really nice slabs in that package. So make sure you crack it open. Make sure everything's all right. Because you had some beautiful stuff in there. Ton, tons of PSA 10 boobas. Where are all the battlers when you need them? They retired, Cardboard. They retired, man. Okay, come on. Brayden? Dud? Dud? Oh, come on. Nidoran? And Chansey. Oh, God. <laughs> Brayden! Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! You hate to see it. So let's go into here and let's grab you some extra freebies, Ellie. Let's grab you two. I grabbed Paris right out of its sleeve. We'll give you the Paris. We'll give you one more. And a surging strike from... Is that a flesh and blood? I think that might be a flesh and blood card. But now that it's your flesh and blood card. The year is 2025. Still waiting for five players in the Chili Rain battle, which is now $120 for entry. Well, I'll tell you what, even if the entry somehow went up, John, uh, you would still be locked in, grandfathered in at that price. So I guess that's kind of nice. Ward with a 10 more of each. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, Ward, running it back. John, I'm not, I'm just not interested in chilling rain. Maybe in six months. Ult art incoming on my non-refunded double order. I hope so, Ward. I hope so, man. I really do. Come on, buddy. I just don't, I don't get why Chris Rock got memed at as what Smith did was unforgivable. It was just a joke. 
Well, I don't know if you know this, but the the most viewed video in one day on YouTube was was Chris Rock getting slapped. So the most viewed video on YouTube within a 24-hour period since upload was the video of Chris Rock getting slapped. So it was a pretty big moment, man. It was a pretty big moment. We got Schoolboy Q. I can send it for a chilling ring battle, but it won't fill. Yeah, Grant, I hear you on that. I guess the only thing I would say is the more people in it, the more likely someone is to join. So there's that, but I hear you. You might, you might be right. Frostmark. Ward's getting a full art. I called it. Absol. Chilling Rain set just doesn't interest me. Sorry. Hey, I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. Greet it. Shroomish. Delix. Wow, okay, so that was the 10 fusion. Only three hits out of the fusion, no ult dart. But now we got the brilliant stars, and I'm pretty excited about these because these have been like slamming. These have been absolutely slamming recently, so let's see. Halucha. If I was Mr. Rock, I, would, I wouldn't ever forgive Smith and get my revenge on him. I don't know, dude. I feel like, if anything, Will Smith kind of got the shitty end of the stick from doing that. I feel like, if anything, Chris Rock kind of just got more popular because of it. He handled the situation pretty well. He got slapped, took it like a man, and just said, wow, this guy really just slapped me. But I think he handled it pretty well. So, I don't know. I think he's all right. I think, if anything, Will Smith is the one that has a really bad rep now. Kingler. Carablast. Tornadus. Got another gold. We're seeing a lot of these Earth foods come out. This issue is a long time ago. This happened, what, like a couple months ago now? Might have been longer than I think. The whole Chris Rock getting slapped thing. And the Hound Doom. Damn. All right, Ward. No ult dart, unfortunately, out of either order. But we did get at least a decent bit of nice hits in there. These packs are drier than my Gran. How do you know how great, how dry your Gran is, huh, Philip? That's weird, Philip. How do you know how dry your grandma is, bro? That's weird. That's weird. That was rough. Yeah, so 20 packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Dude, the last guy got nine hits in 10 packs. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Lionel Sin there, like, yes. Grant says a box of Attack on Titan final season. I says, plus a spot on the Rayquaza Gauntlet. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Grant. I think you might have overpaid. Final, final season's $4, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, yeah, Grant. Final season only has 16 per packs per box. So, one box is only $64. Really, really cheap. And then one spot on the Rayquaza would be 25 putting you at 89 And you sent 105 meaning you have 16 left. Okay, cool. So yeah, you must have just thought the packs were a dollar more. They're only four bucks. Only four bucks for the final season. They're really cheap. So yeah, Grant, you've got um Yeah, you've got uh sixteen dollars left. So Grant, let me know if you want something else, my friend, but I don't want to short you. You got a whole box and extra some extra too. Heard, just credit. Okay, Grant, sounds good, man. So, Grant, let me get you that $16 credit. Yeah, final season is really, really cheap. Uh, mostly just because I have so much of it, and it's 
not really gone up in price, unfortunately. But Grant, you are all set. You got 16 bucks in credit now from your order. And if you want to pick right or left, let me know. Let's get you a spot on the Ray Ray as well. And he says, right, okay. Order Burning Shadows. All right, so Grant, let's put you on 16. All right, Grant, let's see what you got in your box. Good luck. Yeah, so we've got uh, Alex and Wavy that are in for the battle. That's about it. So we need two more players for a full box of 151. I just joined the 151 battle. Oh, cool. All right, Ward. Sounds good, man. Thanks. So if Ward joined, that means we only need one more player until the battle is full. So the reason why this set, in my opinion, did not do very well is un and unlike most sets which have like three to four sign cards per case, I believe Attack of Titan Final Season only has one sign card per case. So one sign card per 18 boxes, which is kind of crazy when usually it's like one in six boxes. So this set just made it extremely hard to hit a sign card. So I think people didn't like it for that reason. Levi. Yeah, thanks to Cardboard's lobbying for sure. Cardboard helps out a lot with the enabling. So Cardboard, I appreciate it, man. Double Aaron. So are you stuck on an island and you have to choose between opal and food? Which way are you going? Bro, I'd go opal. Because I could just eat opal out. Isn't that eating? Right? That's like eating, right? <laughs> okay, I take it back. That was kind of goofy. I could just eat opal. Jaw Titan. Mate just pulled double SIR Zards from a booster bundle? Wow, that's nuts. A $200 booster bundle, bro? <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy. You a free soccer. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, hot them. Is that, is that the move? You love the freaks? Connie. Armin, Hanji. Man, so Overlord Volume 2 is coming out, like, I think in like a week. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Historia. Alright, nothing too crazy so far, Grin. Nothing too crazy thus far. Show me the juice, Zeke. English? Yup, yup, English. Yeah, English Overlord Volume 2 is coming out in like a week. And it's supposed to have sign cards in it as well. Oh. And we got an SR Sasha eating her one of her last meals. Ah, Sasha. Sasha and Armored Titan. He says, oh no, goodbye funds. Yeah, I'm hoping, um, I think they might have put in a different rarity in it too. I just hope they didn't screw up the, the set because they've been doing that a lot recently where they're like adding in these like random ass rarities and lowering the sign rate. And I don't like that. I'd rather them just keep the sign rate the same and forget these other rarities because no one wants them really. Grant. Not a terrible box, Grant. We did get you the Sasha. Hot dog says four Booba Lane. Man, I am almost sold out of Azure Lane. And I don't know if I should pick up another case or if I should just wait. Because I think September is when English comes out. So might make sense to just wait for English. All right, Hotham, four last ones in that box. 
How was the board? I think I decreased the, the clearance on... Yeah, so it'd be 11 times 16 for a whole box, basically. 11 times 16. Oh, something. Oh, what is this? Yo! Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Hotham with a nice-looking SR. Sheesh. Got another case, is Andrew. So it's August, September is about a month. Yeah, I feel like we could go through a case before the English comes out. Yeah, maybe I will do that then. I like Azure Lane. It's got really nice booba in it. That's not like super crazy to where you're like embarrassed to show people. You know what I mean? <laughs> like some of the booba cards, like you wouldn't dare show anybody. But like the booba cards from Azure Lane, they're like classy booba. So you could like, you feel okay showing other people it. Some of the goddess story stuff is just like meh. So you get embarrassed when you get in Bunko. Hey, what's up, Max? I actually ordered another case of it. I don't know the exact day it's coming, but it's already on the way. So I'm hoping like at the latest, maybe Monday for it, the new case of Sneaker Bunko. Alex B says a four player battle of 151. Do me, do the, so the thing is, Ward, is I've already dropped the price by $16 for the whole box. Let's see, so it's 11 times 16 is 175. Ward, my, my lowest would be 170 if you want it, right? 170 would be me working out a deal with you, okay? If you want it. But, you know, I bought Disney. It's been pretty expensive. And even if it has gone down in price, you know, my acquisition price has not gone down. So Alex is in for 151. And Wavy is in for 151. Ward is in for 151. Wow, okay, so I need one more player. Wish I did not get the same energy, but I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, cool. Switch mark those is done as well. Uh, what do we say? We need two more to join up, chat. Yeah, so one spot left on the 151 battle. It's $55 to play. If anyone wants to sign up, just let me know in the chat. Jared says six evolving skies, a spot in the Ray Ray Gauntlet, only keep V Maxes or better. Oh, okay, Jared, sounds good. Jared, thanks for joining in for the Ultar Ray Ray as well. Number 17. Did you say Azure Lane is sold out? No, I think Azure Lane, I have a couple of boxes left, just a couple. So one, two, three, actually one is still available too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 spots left on the Rayquaza. Nice. Dude, Stefan, brother, thanks so much for the 24 months, bro. That's a long time. Wow. All right. Jared said, I don't even want the V cards anymore, man. Jared's on a whole different level. I sent the demo for the... Whoa, Kearns. All right, Kearns. Thanks for joining, man. So the 150 battle is also full now. So Kearns, man, thanks for filling it up for us. Metachum. There goes my hero. Ooh, that... He already got the V-Cards. Stormy Mountains. I wonder what how it happened if Brock flirted with every girl endlessly without Krogunk, Misty, or Max around. Probably get rejected even more. Come on. All right, nice. We do get the gold ray gun. Kind of looks like the ray gun from Call of Duty. Toy catcher. 
And last pack magic is the Gorgeist. And we're gonna eat that, keep that energy up. So Jared, I know you don't say you don't want the V cards, but I feel like I might as well give it to you, unless you really don't want it. In which case, what we can do is we can actually take the Metacham and we can toss that in the extra hitbox for someone who has some bad luck. Somewhere in there. But then it feels bad, because Jared, now you only just get one card for that order. <laughs> which is kind of like tough. And Matthew K got the last spot in the 151 battle. What did I do? I heard Max. Um, I don't think I said anything, Max. All right, so Kearns is in. We've got a full box of 151 up in the battle. And it's going to be probably either the Secret Rare or the Master Ball that will determine our winner, most likely. So we'll keep our eyes on those. Everyone's only going to get five packs. And let's shuffle them up. So what's a card we haven't seen in a while? Man, we know we've been pulling a lot of Zapdos, a lot of Muse, have not seen an Erica in a very long time. And we even got a God Pack not too long ago, but haven't had an Erica in a super, super long time. If Boost loses, expect another battle. Well, that's only if other people want to play against him, right? I mean, just because Boost wants to do it doesn't mean it's got to happen, unless he's got opponents. Jesse with the four months says, make Booba great again. All right, so let's just get a nice little hand shuffle here. And let's see who takes it. Alex B, Ward, Matthew, and Wavy on the last stack. Okay. So, Alex, you are up first. Let's just quickly move these over just a little bit. And let's see what you got, Alex. Five of the 151. It would be nice to see an Erica. It would be nice to see a God. Honestly, any nice SAR would be nice to see. Anything. Another nice Master Ball would be pretty cool. Like a Pikachu was nice. Onyx. Mewtwo. Ninetales. So my guess is that an SR is going to win the box. That's my guess. We're going to get an SAR and that's going to be the winning card. That's my assumption. Tentacruel. Damn. All right, Alex. I hate to say it, but I think you're definitely going to be a losing stack. Only real pull you got was the Ninetales. Ward is up next. <laughs> Alex says, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Ward, show me what you got. Venomop. Oh, okay, Charmeleon, definitely going to be beating the Ninetales, that's for sure. Charmeleon. Metawack. Come on, show me the SR. Ivysaur. And last pack. Oh, nice. You know, Pikachu is actually not bad. So Pikachu is the current leading card for sure. However, the ward, I would not rest easy because, you know, there still is a secret rare and even a master ball lurking in this box. So, Matthew, you are next. You got your five packs coming up. Still a secret, still a master ball available in this box. 
And if you don't pull any of them, that means Wavy's got both in his last stack there, which is crazy if he does. I'm not cat. Well, it could be like, it could be Ward where they get like a, a really shitty like Golem full art secret and then like a really bad Master Ball. So you could still win. But if you do win, then that means the box is pretty bad. Jolteon. Oh no, is Wavy gonna do it? Is he really gonna have both hits? Oh, here we go, Matthew. I knew we got an SAR, man. I can feel it. Here we go. No way. <laughs> All right, Kearns. Whipping out the S-A-R Charizard. Jeez Louise, man. All right, Wavy. I don't know how you're going to win this battle, brother. I don't know how you're going to win this battle. Uh, but I guess you would need, like, a Pikachu Master Ball or something. Unless Kearns gets the Master Ball here. And he does! All right, that's a GG. That has got to be a GG for sure, Wavy. I don't know how. Unless you maybe, like, get a God Pack or something. Uh, I don't know how you're going to be to Charizard at this point. Ooh. All right, Wavy. Aren't you glad you joined? That's right. Kearns has probably got to be happy right now. He's got to be. Dragonair and the Ivysaur. All right, do another bat. Yo, Cardboard, you were right, dude. <laughs> you were right, Cardboard. Caterpie. Great, you want to do a four-way or a full boot? Wow, boost lost. Now he's trying to up the ante, bro. Boost, is, boost, is this your... Uh... Is, is this your uh, way of uh, doing the Martingale strategy, man? This is crazy. My guy's out here doing Martingale on Pokemon. Chazad. Nice. So, Matt, I think it goes without saying, Matt, you are the winner for the box battle. Snagging a whole box of 151, winning with the SAR Charizard. Nice. Krantz talk dirty to me. <laughs> That was not a bad box, man. Pikachu in there as well makes it pretty good in my books. Nice. So, Matt, I do think that's going to be a, a first bag for you, Matt. So, I'm going to make you a bag. Just keep in mind, though, it is just $5 for shipping in the U.S., all right? And I think you are in the U.S., so we should be all set on that. But very nice win there, Matt. That was fun. Yeah, man, it's always fun when you win. That much I'll say. It's not as fun when you lose, though. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, Ward, you actually did pick up the Disney box. Wow, okay, Ward, let's do it, homie. So Ward is coming in with a box of the Disney. -na -na. So Ward, what are you thinking? Would you like right? Would you like left? We're looking for the Steamboat Mickey, a car that you actually told me you've already pulled. Now, I don't know if you'd be the first guy to own two of them, but getting another another Mickey would be pretty dope. Left, okay. Hey, Max. Max, 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 brother. Have an awesome night, dude. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. We have a pretty exciting break tomorrow. We should be doing Japanese Shining Legends. And that should be a lot of fun, hopefully. Ooh, we got Aladdin for the box topper. Man, you guys got boost absolutely fiending for a battle now, guys. You got boost hook, line, and sinker. Haku, what's up, man? I 
I can't believe we got that Zard. You know, I don't really, you know, the most often I see that Charizard's in a God Pack. You don't really often see it just pulled, like, on its own. Kind of funny. Yeah, you gotta call the Cardboard Hotline. <laughs> call the Cardboard Hotline. Boost is always on the edge. Just gotta give him a little bit of a push. Oh, man, this sounds really bad now, Cardboard. Listening to that, reading that, like, out of context sounds really bad. Oh, first pack. Oh, is that Zootopia's? Zootopia SR. I think that's Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so I can climb it, baby. Minnie Mouse, Pluto. Edgar, what's up, baby? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of battle they want to do. I guess they're trying to do a 151 battle, it seems, though. I don't need to battle, I want it. Chippendale. Man, now you guys are talking. Oh, what is this? Ooh, SR Captain Hook. Man, this guy got a big ass nose, kind of like me. I got a big nose too. I feel you, Captain Hook. I got a big nose too. Oh, nice. We got the Disney 100 as well, the Disney stamp. I think you get one of those in every box, guaranteed. I sent the Velma stream. Awesome. Matt, sounds good. Yo, and he gave me a $5 tip. Yo, Matthew, bro. I appreciate that, man. Matt, thanks, dude. So, Matt, I know you put your address in on the Venmo, too, but I need your email because your email is important because that's how you get the tracking number from me. So, if I get your email, too, Matt, that'd be awesome, all right? Because your email is how you get my, the tracking number from me automatically when I ship you. Unless you don't care for a tracking number, I guess that's its own thing, too, but you probably want the tracking number. I send the order in if you want to battle me. Oh my god, boost. Mickey. Oh, we got Mandalorian in there. Kind of a front-loaded box where we got a lot of the big hits right at the start. Iron Man. Email to you on Discord. Awesome! Currens, appreciate it, brother. Thanks so much, man. Howdy, folks. And Winnie the Pooh. Edgar says, I'm down for box v box. Wow. All right, man. The freaking late night battle crews arrived on the scene. Holy moly. Looking at my stamps, I'm almost at 2k. Man, I mean, I guess I don't count because I buy stuff like as a business, so my number is a lot higher, man. But I'll take over for Sunfan while he's taking a break. <laughs> shroomed out watching White Castle. Hey, what's up, Air? I'm shroomed out. Wait, what the hell? Ooh, hold on. Ward. I almost made a fat boo-boo ward. You saw that? I almost made a fat boo-boo. Wrong back. Yeah, yeah. I had your order on my screen, so when I went to go write it, I wrote your name, but you're right. Thanks for that. Glad I noticed that. Whoa. Awesome. And then, Matt, you are all set, my friend. I got your shipping and everything. So, Matt, thanks a bunch. And congrats again on winning that box. With the S A R Chazad. I was looking at it recently. I believe this in a 10 goes for $350. So that is a massive, massive hitter if it gets a 10 too, which it looks like it could get a 10. Grant says half a box of 151 to battle against boost. Shoosh. Sweet. 
So, Grant sent in for half a box of 151 for a battle. Half a box. Edgar sent in for a full box of 151. Holy buggets. All right, so Grant, I'm going to write HB for half box. And then Edgar, I'm going to write FB for full box. So I guess now we got two separate battles going on. Edgar got a full box. Grant got a half box. I guess now if you want a battle, you can take whichever one you like. Wavy sent in for half a box as well. Wow. You guys are really going to leave Edgar hanging? <laughs> All right, so Wavy, you want half a box, right? Yep. Evelyn, how's it going? I talk about like 45 minutes ago. I'm starting to feel nauseous. I really hope I didn't just get... No, Brennan, no. You think so? I hope not, bro. That would suck. I hope not. All right, so we got quite a few boxes here. I guess we'll figure out what you guys want to do. Uh, we could do the 1v1 if you guys want. Um... If you guys want, I guess we could like up, you guys could both upgrade and do a three way if you guys want. Edgar could downgrade and get a half box for that battle and a half box for another battle if he wants. Kearns is like, after that first one, man, you got me thinking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're already up a, a good amount, but hey, listen, it's up to you, right? So what do you guys think? So we have enough to do Wavy versus Grant with one box. Edgar is in for a full box as well, but he's got no opponent. I sent for a box Avatar 2, but I can wait. You and me boost. Okay, sounds good. All right, so let's show you guys this first box. We'll do the half battle for you guys. Another, another crazy idea would be if we did two boxes, Edgar gets a full box and both of you guys get 10 packs from one box as well. That way Edgar's is like, maybe not, maybe not. We'll just do this. We'll just keep it simple. Case versus case. I've only got one sealed case left of 151. I am kind of low on 151 now. All right, so I think that's okay, right? Wavy versus Grant, half box battle. Sounds good. And Edgar, you still got a credit for a full box as well. All right, so I'm going to shuffle it up. Wavy Grant, do you guys have a, a preferred side, like right or left? If you guys have a preferred side, let me know. Hard to shuffle with only two cards. It really is hard to shuffle with only two cards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Edgar says you can pick your side, Boost. Okay, cool. So, Wave, if you want to pick right or left, Grant is giving you the option. Let me go last if I pick. <laughs> yeah, you guys are funny. I don't mind. <laughs> Let me go last if I pick first. You're about to sell out of 151 like it's June again. Right is right. Okay, so Boost, you want right. Grant, you want left. I feel like that's kind of fair, right? Wavy picked first, so Grant should go first. I think that's kind of fair, Grant. What do you think? I think that's fair. So now the question becomes is, who's going to verse Edgar? That's the real question. Who's going to verse Edgar? What is this song? All right. Grant says he's down. Grant, this is your stack coming in hot. Bulbasaur.
Now, with the 151... Yeah, actually, let's just do that. Let's put all the hollows back here. You're looking for the SR or SA or the Master Ball. Speaking of Master Ball, we got Machoke for the first Master Ball. Taco Bell has the highest quality meat out there of any other fast food chain. They did a silent rebrand without letting anyone know. Is, is that true? Is that actually true, though? <laughs> Our buck. I mean, yeah, definitely better than McDonald's and Burger King, probably, but not maybe not better than Chick-fil-A. I feel like Chick-fil-A's got pretty good meat. Wow, and he gets the Erica, bro. It's over. It's got to be over, man. Are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah, I mean, he got the SR and the Master Ball Wavy. I mean, unless you, like, get a God Pack, I don't know what else is left, dude. I don't. I don't. He got Master Ball and the SR. Wazing. I don't know. Unless we have, like, I have seen boxes that have had two SRs in it, by the way. So it is possible. You could still have, like, an SR. Another one. Very uncommon, but it does happen. Oddish and Starmie. Yep, Master Ball is gone. You really only, I've only ever seen one per box with the Master Ball. I have seen some box with two SRs in it, though. Nice. Alright, so Grant, you are easily in the lead right now with the beautiful SR Erica. Wavy needs to pull out a miracle and either somehow grab a god pack or another SR making this a double SR box. The odds are definitely stacked against him. Is there an SR and a god pack in the same? I want to say I think so. Sneaker, I think so, man. I think so. Coming down single card price. It would come down to the best card in the god pack. Correct. However, I would assume, like, Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur, probably are more expensive than Erica, so... A God Pack would definitely win it, I'd assume. Mewtwo. No, it's not necessarily an auto win. Just the best card in your God Pack is your best card, right? Like any other pack. Oh, the Mewtwo! Grant says, I'd admit defeat for a god pack. Yeah, Grant. See, look at that. Grant's such a good sport, man. It might only be the Zar. Really? You don't think the Blasters or the Venusaur are better than the Erica? I feel like they might be. I don't know, though. It might be. Moltres. The reband was making people think the meat is high quality. Yeah. <laughs> right. But it's not actually. Oh, the Pikachu! It's such a nice pull. Won't beat the Erica, but such a nice pull. And Dodrio. Alrighty, Boost. Thanks for playing, man. But I think we can all agree that Grant easily wipes the floor with his SR Erica. Nice. Not a bad box there, man. I liked it. Grant with the dub. Venusaur and Blastoise are both sub-100. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, that'd be interesting. I mean, we didn't even encounter that situation, but man, yeah, that'd be interesting to see. So, I guess if you get a God Pack, you really want to see if the Charizard's in there. Because if you get a Venusaur Blastoise Pack, that's not too crazy. It's still nice, but not too crazy. So, Edgar is also uh, in for a full box battle. If anyone wants to join up against him, a full box battle. Edgar is waiting for an opponent. Grant is up next, though. And Grant wants to use the remainder of his credit to grab a full box of Avatar. All right, Grant, what you thinking? Right or left? Yo, Wavy signed up versus Edgar. Oh, man. 
Oh, man. All right, Wavy. I'm getting scared for you, bro. You're in too deep now, Wavy. If you lose three times in a row, man, you are in too deep. All right, so Wavy, you will be versing Edgar after this order for the homie Grant, who wants the left box. You ignore the V cards after a while? Yeah, yeah, I hear you, man, for sure. I try to open that like a Pokemon box. <laughs> Saka! I ain't picking this time? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll grab three boxes for you guys for your battle. I'll let Edgar choose if he wants to go first. And you guys can pick out of three boxes. How about that? All right, Grant, this is for you. I am hoping to see a secret rare. Because somehow, some way, we've not pulled one yet. Somehow, some way. Okay, what? What's up, Priya? So there's two secret rares. There's an Aang and there's a Zuko secret. If there is one to pull, Grant, it's obviously got to be the Aang secret rare. But at this point, I would happily take any secret, really. Because we pulled Zilch. Zuko. Off, Uncle Iroh. Do we have a third for the 1v1 battle? I do not believe so. If you guys want to make it a three-way and someone wants to join, I'm cool. Oh, nice. Triple rare. Skillful display. We got top. Nice. A three-way box battle if we have a third player, right? Only if we have a third player. I would love to the secret. Never seen them. Yeah, they look really nice. Hopefully, we'll pull one. Hopefully, because I think I have a couple boxes left and I'm sold out again. And if we go two cases without a secret, that would be tragic. Azula. Pass on the battle. I want to pull the Ang. I, I don't blame you, bro. That Ang card is sweet. I just want to see it in person, man. You know, I just want to pull it to see it in person at least. Because I'm a big fan of Avatar, man. I've seen it almost three times fully now. Edgar wants the loot. <laughs> yeah, Edgar wants the loot. Give me the loot. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. We got a regular SR Toph. Looking kind of cute, actually. Toph High Society. Azula and Katara. What's the battle? Ah, uh, Ward, they're doing a full box of 151. So Wavy and Edgar both bought a full box of 151. Wavy's on his third battle now. I like the Toph card, man. You got two Toph cards. Toph's a pretty cool character. How many avatars left? Let me check for you, Grant. Let me check. Not that many, I don't think. Let me check for you. Just five sealed boxes left. Five sealed boxes, and I think we have one open box. Yep. Yeah. 
So five fully sealed and one that's open with like almost full as well. So about like six full boxes left. All right, so Wavy Edgar. I don't know if we've got a third player to verse you guys for a full box. Do you guys want to just do a 1v1 or would you, what do you guys like? Just let me know, all right? What do you guys prefer? Far right box? Oh, okay, Edgar. So you guys are cool with the 1v1. All right, we'll grab some boxes. All right, so we got three boxes, and you said you want far right. So this one? 1v1 or 3, it doesn't matter. Does anyone else want to do a full box battle before we start? Does anyone else want to join? Yeah, it's hard, Ward. Yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard. Okay, so Edgar, sounds good. I think you're cool with the far right one then. So Edgar, you want this one. And then Wavy, he says, pick mine, I don't care. So Wavy, there's only two boxes left. Are you sure you don't want to pick? Right or left? Are you sure you don't want to pick? Hey, Vincent, what's up, man? Alex says, go left. Edgar says, good luck. Let the chat pick. So what do you guys in the chat think? What box should Boost get? Left or right? What do you guys think? When is 151 English? Uh, September 22nd, I think. September 22nd. All right, I see, I see a lot of lefts. I see, I think I see more lefts. We got one, two, no, one, two, three, four lefts, five lefts, one, two, three, four rights. Okay, so Wavy, you're gonna get left. The guy who won the coin flip against you? I'm pretty sure it was Bill that beat you, and no, he did not. He did not. All right. Hmm, who goes first? Who goes first? I feel like Wavy's got to go first, man. He's been going last all this time. I feel like Wavy, you got to go first now, man. All right, Wavy. First box. If I can even open it, come on. Boost says, no, 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 no. So, Boost, uh, I guess it's up to Edgar. Edgar, do you want to go first or do you want to go second? Because Boost did get the benefit of going last, like the last two battles. So, if you want Edgar, I think Boost has every right to go first this time, unless you want to go first. I, I certainly don't mind. But if you want to go last, Edgar, I think you're kind of locked in for it for sure because Wavy's been going last every time. So just let me know, Edgar, if you want to go first, uh, we'll do Wavy last. If not, we'll do him first. Sure, Boost can go. Okay, cool, Edgar. What you're saying is Boost can go last. Okay, cool. So Wavy, ready to open up your box? Let's we'll put your packs over there. Let's get Edgar's box open now. I'll go last. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, Edgar, here's your box now. You're last. Wavy, you are going first. Okay. 
We got it. Slowly but surely, man, we're opening these packs. Slowly, but we're making progress. All right, Boost. I know you've lost two battles in a row now, so good luck, my friend. Every battle is its own, like, individual, like, you know, luck, I guess you could call it, right? Just because you lost twice in a row doesn't mean you're less likely to lose that third time. They're all individual, independent events. Is Scarlet and Violet, is Battle Styles even that much better than Scarlet and Violet Base? I have a lot of both. Omnite. I bought a ton of Battle Styles like two years ago, and I'm still just sitting on a ton of cases. That never sold, probably never will. Got them. Hey, Vincent. Yes, we did fill the heavy base. Uh, right now, we got that old Dark Rayquaza in the back there. A 5 PSA 10 multi-gauntlet. Shelter for the Master Ball. Shelter. And we have a, another multi-gauntlet with three Japanese vintage packs in it. Alakazam. Ooh, Arcanine's kind of cute. Metawak. All right, boost. So far, one Master Ball. Still need to see what the SR is. You got War Turtle. What are the three vintage packs? Uh, Japanese Neo Genesis, Japanese Team Rocket, and Japanese Fossil. All three packs are guaranteed to have a hollow in it, too. Weezing. So this is how you get some cards. What's up, Kanessa? If you want to order any packs to be opened up live for you on the stream tonight, uh, you just simply send it in a payment through either PayPal, Venmo, or even Cash App. All the prices are down below in the description. You just simply add up what you want and just send in the order. And make sure in your note, you let me know what packs you're ordering. That's about it. Wiggly. Of course, this Master Ball Pika, that would be insane. Because we pulled two of them, like, last week. Another one would be killer. Oh, here we go. All right, Wavy, the dream is not over, my friend. This could be a massive... Oh, Alakazam. Nice. All right. Alakazam. Coming in as an S-A-R. Nice. So that's not a bad pull at all, Wavy. Alakazam is not the best SAR, but it's definitely a good one. So if, oops, let's leave the wrong card. So if Edgar uh, doesn't pull anything like super crazy for his SR or his Master Ball, you could still win this. You could still win this. Uh, I, I want to say I think Zapdos might be worth more than the Alakazam. We'll have to double check, but I want to say I think it is. All right, nice. So that is going over to Wavy. With the Alakazam being the best hit out of your box. Now we've got Edgar, who's going to try to take you down and pull something better than your Alakazam. <laughs> D Zapdos, definitely check price. Okay, cool. Yeah, I would assume Zapdos as well. Yeah. All right, what do you guys think? You guys think Edgar's got this in the bag or you think he's gonna let the bag slip, fumble the bag? What do you guys think? I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like I could see a God Pack coming out of this box. I really do. Timothy, what's up, man? Probably eBay is your best bet. Most of the time, eBay last sold is kind of your best bet. Vincent says SAR Blastoise. Boost says, I'm going to go to sleep after the cell. Oh, Boost, using that reverse psychology, huh? So there used to be a game that I played a lot. It was called RuneScape. 
And uh, in that game, ooh, Pikachu non-Master Ball. Charmander. There used to be this thing called the Duel Arena, and you could, like, stake each other with money and stuff. And every time I used to do that, I used to be like, oh, man, you won this easily. Like, really trying hard to use reverse psychology. Felt like it worked. Probably had no impact on it, but it kind of made me feel good. Dugong! Dugong for the Master Ball. Do -du gong. I know RuneScape. Oh, nice. Yeah, dude, I used to be huge into Rune And the Mewtwo! Yeah, I used to be huge into RuneScape. Alright, so the Master Ball is already been pulled. So at this point, Edgar, it all comes down to your secret, man. You gotta get a better secret than the Alakazam. Charmeleon. I'm glad I have a new hobby. Well, hey, Knessa, thanks for tuning in. And, you know, hopefully I'll see you a, a lot, hopefully. I go live Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and sometimes Saturday. So tomorrow I'll be live again. A lot of times I tell people if you're new and you're wondering, like, how things work, sometimes just watching a little bit first, kind of get, you know, then you kind of understand by just watching a little bit. Man, you know, Conker's Bad Fur Day was a really, really popular game that I never, ever played, man. Never, ever played it somehow. Out of book. Ooh, Edgar, it's coming down to the wire, man. Oh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Ivy. And, ooh, the full art Mew might not actually be that bad. All right, I think we got to go to our price checking now. These are these have got to be kind of close. Mew Full Art. I know it's not an SAR, but man, that's a pretty nice card. Mew. I'm currently playing Resident. Oh, nice. Yeah, I watched the uh, Resident Evil show. Hella nice. It was really, really good. Oh, Ward, not even just on the East, baby. The whole nation, man. The fastest opener in the U.S. Not even on the East, baby. The whole U.S. Maybe. Hopefully. Alexa. Mew takes it. Not positive yet. Let's do some research. All right, so these two boxes are going to come down to what is more, the Mew or the Alakazam. That is what it's going to come down to. So let's figure that out. I, I feel like I feel like Alakazam probably wins it, but you never know, right? So let's look into it. You never know, dude. Mew is a very popular Pokemon. Don't underestimate Mew, man. It's very, very popular. All right, so Pokemon 151, Alakazam. Let's put Alakazam. All right, so I see 46, 45, 45, 60, 40, 45, 50. Okay, so about like 45 to 50 bucks. And now let's check the mute. Twenty gold might have beat it. Gold would have beat it. Oh yeah, the full art. No, only twenty. Okay, nice. So boost. There you go, brother. You did take the dub boost. Nice. So boost. At this point, I'm sure you probably have all the common and commons, but I will send you all the hollows. Okay, I won't send you the bulk, but I will send you all the hollows and better. Not the bulk though. Okay. I don't know if you probably, you probably don't need it because you've gotten like two ETBs now full of it. So I don't think you need the commons, but the hollows definitely have some value. Send those to you as well, okay? Wavy. Wavy. 
Edgar, that was so nice, Edgar. Yeah, he said, I'm glad you at least got one dub today, right? Yeah, that was really nice of you to say that, man. Congrats, Boost. You took care of your lightweight. <laughs> yeah, he did. Edgar, he did call you a lightweight, man. Damn. He did say that. He did. Yeah, he did say that. Oh, wow. Ward picked up another box at Disney. Ward. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good, man. Perfect. All right, Ward. Box number two. Would you like to pick your box, Ward? I need the Spider-Man. Yeah, you know, they got a real nice array of SSPs in this set, too. It's pretty sweet, actually. Disney is, Disney is nice. It's funny because I like the Weiss Disney way more than I like actual Disney Larkana, which is kind of funny, right? Left. Okay, Ward, you got it. Can I have the other Hall of Battles? No, those went to the winners, man. Yeah, those went to the winners. My little bro wants a tattoo. Told him they better go through me first. You know, Eric, it's funny that you say that because when my younger sister wanted a tattoo, I, for some reason, was just like, no, you're not getting a tattoo. That's a bad idea. And she didn't even listen to me, bro. She still got it. <laughs> she still got it. So, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of the same way. My little sister wanted a tattoo. I was like, dude, don't do it. You're going to regret it. Don't do it. She ended up getting it. Now she has like three tattoos. So, yeah. Even a couple. Yeah, Ward, I've been saying that all day, dude. I don't think Lorcana looks good. I think the Lorcana cards are, I mean, they're not ugly, but they just don't look very appealing. And even like the enchanted cards, which are like the hit cards, just look okay, you know? So, yeah, I'm not even a huge fan of Lorcana. I'm kind of happy that I didn't overpay for some boxes, honestly. They respect me? Yeah, I guess I don't get... I guess my siblings don't respect me, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Captain Jack. Word, want to battle a box of Disney? Bro, you guys are... Boost! You need to calm down, Boost! Minnie Mouse. Is that odd? I feel like most people I know have tattoos. No, nah, man, you know, I, I don't really think tattoos are, like, bad. I think if you get, like, really invasive... Oh, Peter Pan? Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. That's an SR Peter Pan. I mean, tattoos are not inherently bad, but obviously, you know, depending on your work. Like, my little sister is becoming a nurse. So I was like, bro, you better not get any tattoos like on your face. Cause you know, if you're going for a nursing gig, you know, you kind of got to be a little, you know, you got to be a little presentable. Maleficent. Rakan is so mid and it looks like bolt. I agree. Yes, Miami. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm glad someone sees it like I see it. Cause it's, I get the hype. I do, but man, the cards are not even that crazy. <gasps> oh, nice. SR bad kitty. There's one in every family. that oh that's his whiskers cool why is disney on blue oh yeah disney like blau or whatever it's called yeah i guess it comes down to card sells in the next reprint right that's gonna determine if the price is gonna drop 
Ah, we got a frozen 100 stamp. Any Disney waifus? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, maybe some Disney waifus in this set, but they won't be like booba, booba waifus. How do your parents think about getting her tattoo? She didn't tell him. Yeah, she didn't tell him. She was like, I'm gonna tell you instead. And I was like, oh, I mean, if you tell me, you tell our parents, they're, we're both gonna say the same thing. It's a bad idea. But I guess she, she just wanted to tell me, so she felt a little bit less guilty about not telling our parents about it. <laughs> Maybe, Pluto. But, you know, I wasn't living at the house, so. Ah, I was like, whatever, man, you do what you gotta do. You know, you're in college now. You take care of yourself, right? You start making your own decisions. Lilo and Stitch. What was it? Uh, it was, um, I don't even remember what it says, but it's, it's some phrase. So she has three now. One of them, she won't tell me where it is, which is kind of concerning. Uh, but the first one, it's a ohm, it's an ohm symbol. It's like an Indian thing. So there's this, it's an, it's called an ohm symbol in India. It just kind of means like peace, you know, like peace kind of like, you know, let there be prosperity type of stuff. So she got that. It's an ohm symbol. It's just like an Indian thing. And then the second one is elephants. And I don't know what the third one is. I don't know what the third one is. Yeah, not ohm, like ohms of a, uh, like, you know, use ohm, I think, in physics, right? It's not like that kind of ohm, like a electrical metric or measure. I think that's what it is, right? Ohms or some like electrical measure. It was like ohm, like the symbol. Let's see if I can pull it up. And the name German physicist Greg Simon Ohm? What? Well, the thing is, is she got one tattoo and now she just keeps getting more tattoos. So it's like, all right, you know, if you're just gonna keep getting tattoos, you know, sooner or later, everybody folded them. Ah, uh, let's see. What does this say? Scabadoosh? Oh, there we go. That's the symbol right here. So that that's the symbol that she has. That's the ohm symbol. And I don't know. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to explain what it means, but yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. That's the first one, and the second one is elephants. So yeah, there you go. Taking a shot for you, Sucker. Thanks for the great shoot. Yo, Grant, bro, man, I would take a shot right now, but maybe we still can. Yo, Ward with another. Jesus Christ, War. Open some packs and stop waffling. Well, Foxy, you can leave. <laughs> you can leave. You can take your attitude and walk out this door now. Left, okay. No, Jen, I have no tattoos. Although I will say is like back in like middle school, high school, I did very seriously contemplate getting like a sleeve of snakes on my arm. Uh, but I decided it was probably wasn't the best idea considering I was going in the healthcare field, so I didn't do it. Winnie the Pooh. I think you need to get the Royalty Game Pokemon logo tattooed. I don't think I'd ever get a tattoo, man. I don't know if I'll ever get a tattoo anymore. Thank God you didn't. I know, Ward. I know. Imagine if I did, bro. Imagine if I did. Yeah, I'm happy that I didn't. But, I, you know, I think another thing, too, is, like, when you're, like, middle school, high school, you know, you're trying to fit in. You're trying to be popular. You're trying to, like, explore. 
So I feel like at that point I wanted it, not because I really wanted it, but because I wanted to like be cool. You know, I want to be that dude with tattoos, that tough guy, you know? So I think I wanted it more so for public opinion rather than my own genuine wants. Ooh, bonjour, the aristocrats. Bonjour. Picture perfect. If you're going to get, uh, if you're going to get one back, then what would you have got? Oh yeah, Jen, it would have been snakes. Yeah, I used to. I mean, I still like snakes, but I used to love snakes. I used to watch videos about them. I wanted a boa constrictor. Oh! Yo, SP Captain Jack Sparrow. Hey, there we go, Ward. Nice. Jeez, that's a sick stamp, man. Jack Sparrow. Wow, that's an SP. Very nice. That's an important distinction to realize. Yeah, for sure, man. I, you know, I like to think I'm, I'm a lot older than I, my true age is. I like to think at least. I don't think I missed the hollow. No, I didn't. Nice. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna top that now, Ward. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna top that <laughs> for the rest of this box. That's very nice. That's an SP stomp. Zootopia. Why invest in tattoos when you can invest in a children's card game? Well, you know, the truth of it is, is, uh, your tattoo doesn't really go up in value, right? What tattoo goes up in value? In fact, tattoos actually fade over years and you got to spend more money to get them redone. Whoa, SR Star Wars? Damn, this box is kind of loaded. Yo! Are they stolen 151s? I saw them on rattle. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean, Carl? I think I, I think I thought I know what you're talking about. Some stolen 151 UPCs. But this has been happening with every set now, man. Every set. Mini Mouse. Iron Man. This is pre-recorded. Oh, nice. Another SR as well. Minnie Mouse, be kind. I told my parents I want a tattoo. My parents said, son, you don't put bumper stickers on a Ferrari. That I you know, that's not a day. That's not bad at all, bro. I got to remember that. That's a good line. Yeah, I've heard that before too. Yeah, I, I think that's very true, man. I think that's very true. I think the one m stupidest, biggest mistake you can make is getting a tattoo of one of your, like, wife, even kids, even, fiance. I think all of that is so dumb. Because at the time, you might be like, oh, this is awesome. But then you guys break up, or your kid runs away and steals your whole inheritance or something. You know, things can change. And then you got their whole ass name tattooed on your body. Like, ugh. Yeah, I don't know why people do that. Or, like, more specifically, when, like, two best friends, like, get a tattoo that, like, matches, and then they're no longer best friends. <laughs> that That is also really bad. Tattoos might not gain value, but there's not many other things you'll carry with you until you die. The $10,000 cell phone lasts, what, a year? $3,000 shoes? Yeah, yeah, hey, Colton, listen. I have nothing against tattoos, brother. I tell you what you're saying, man. I have nothing against it at all. I know you're a tattoo artist for a living, so I know you're kind of more serious about it than I am, but yeah, I have no qualms with tattoos at all, man. I think they're alright. If you want a tattoo, get it. Tattoos are an addiction once you get... Yeah, I, I agree to that. Yeah, I feel like my little sister is a prime example of that. She got one, then she got two, then she got three. I'm sure in a couple years she might have four. You know, type of deal. I agree. Realistically, I should be getting 151 in two weeks before release. 
Carver, do you mean you're going to get it in two weeks or get it two weeks prior to the release? Hook me up. So is THC. Well, I mean, most drugs can become addictive, right? Even if people will say it's not an addicting drug, it certainly is, especially the habits you build. Caffeine can be addictive. THC can be addictive. Alcohol can be addictive. You know, even like something as silly as like melatonin can be addictive too. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so I think we might be done there. Yeah, I think so. If anyone else has anything else, I want those other cards for the kids too. Or are you talking about the 151 bulk? Or are you talking about these? Okay, cool. Sounds good. Ward, if you wouldn't mind, if you want to send $10 for your shipping, I'll get everything you have, including all the bulk, shipped out tonight. And if you want, Ward, let me know. Do you want them to go to Boston or to Rhode Island? And if you do that, I can have it mailed out for you tonight if you're cool with it. card mailed out too ASAP. Uh yeah, Floof, I do have evolving skies. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, Ward, no, I totally get it, man. I'd rather you have it than I have it, because I have no use for it for sure. So yeah, Ward, as long as you're cool as covering the shipping on it, man, I'll send you all of them. There's also some avatar in here too. You can have the avatar too. Why not? I'll just fill it up as much as I can. I don't know if it's going to be old Disney, but this is all the Weiss bulk we have from the last couple orders. And then just let me know too, Ward, because I, I plan on mailing it today because that's a lot of cards. Uh, do you want that to go to Rhode Island or go to the Massachusetts address? He says, nice, now somebody buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Send the kids from Azor Lane? Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I don't know about that one. But let's go ahead and let's start wrapping up and do our Ender Stream giveaway. So we got one Pokemon Go, one Shining Fates. And to sign up for the giveaway, simply make sure that you are one, subscribe to the channel, two, that you've liked the stream tonight, and then three, put a BR in the chat. Don't deny me bulk, I'm in the neighborhood. Yeah, okay. What's up, Ward? Yeah, yeah, dude, I'm not denying you, brother. I'm just saying as long as you help pay for the shipping, I'll send it to you, brother. No problem. No problems. But yeah, just let me know, Ward, it, which state you want to go to. Because I know you got the two different addresses. I just want to make sure I send it to the right place. That's all. Angel says, Do you have any slabs still? What's up, Angel? I do have a lot of slabs. Is there anything in particular you might like? Japanese, English, any particular Pokemon you might like? Because it might be easier to just try to find one you might like versus showing them all, because I got a lot. Alrighty guys, about another five to ten seconds to sign in for this giveaway. Just make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, you've liked the stream tonight, and put that BR in the chat. We need to see some more vintage openings tonight. I mean we saw two heavy base set packs, man. Looking for Charizard PSA 10s.
Alrighty, guys. Good luck. So, yeah, Ward, are we all set, Ward? Are you cool with that? Ten bucks for the shipping, because it's going to have to go in a flat rate, and I can mail it out today. And then you can let me know which state you want me to mail it to, because I have two addresses for you, right? So I make sure you're okay on that, to get that shipped out tonight. And if you already did pay $5 shipping for your bag, which I don't know if you did or not, I'll have to double check, then you can just pay 5 uh... Yeah, well, so you get Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle automatically. So, you know, it just kind of comes down to which one you automatically get assigned. Unless you picked your own Pokemon. So hopefully tomorrow the Japanese Shining Legends does arrive. It shows it should, so hopefully it does. And we should have our Japanese Shiny Legends box break tomorrow. It'll be a lot of fun. Kevin E. Nice. Kevin E. All right. So, Kevin, let's see what you got. Kevin E. Still waiting on my PSA return? Yeah. So, Ward, unfortunately, though, Ward, with this many cards, man, I just can't store these here for you. You know what I mean? There's just not really enough space for it. So if you want it, I'm cool with it, Ward, but we just got to ship it tonight, man. I don't have enough space to put all this stuff, you know what I mean, in the holders. Dragon. Right, Dragonite. Kevin E. Because, yeah, where the PSA return is probably not going to be back for at least another month. Maybe a month and, like, you know, week or two. So it's going to be a while. And I really just can't hold on to all these bags here. You know, like, take a look. You know? Like, this is the W section. It's just not all going to fit. It's just not all going to fit, you know? So I'd really prefer, if you want the bulk especially, just to get it mailed out tonight. That way I don't have to worry about the space. Yeah, Kevin, no problem, brother. No problem. Grats on the win. So, yeah, if it's okay with you, Ward, we can do that. If not, then I guess we'll just... I don't know. <laughs> not worry about it. I don't know. Commission check's gonna be fat? Fat as in a fat box of battle styles? But, all right, so, guys, that is gonna be all for the stream tonight. Six hours and ten minutes. We'll be live again tomorrow night, which is Friday, and hope I'll see you guys there, especially if you're bored. Come through, come on, hang out, and chill. We should have a cool box break happening tomorrow for the Shining Legends. And may or, maybe or maybe we might get our first edition rocket as well. So that might be cool if we get those in tomorrow as well. So that's about it, everybody. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. If you got to reach out or contact me, the best is through my Discord or my Instagram, both of which are linked down below in the description. And I'll see you guys again on the next one tomorrow night. So everyone, until then, stay awesome, stay safe, and most of all, stay silky smooth. Because you guys will again on the next one tomorrow night. Until then, everybody, peace out.